going to bow. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It's it's my favorite day of the week. It's Persona Day. <laughs> it's also my last extra bonus Saturday stream for a while because I definitely am streaming way too much. <laughs> But thank you guys for being here this morning. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Var, Fishface, Rub, Neo, Sat, Dante. Hello, hello, lurkers out there. Hope you guys are all doing well. Good morning. Hi. I'm excited for Persona 5, as always. I just want to... I... Okay, so I've been playing a little bit off stream. I didn't actually, like, do any days, but I farmed a lot of mementos because we ended last Persona 5 stream in mementos. So I farmed quite a bit. Let's do it. Maybe I didn't farm a lot. I'm level 39 now. And I also took a like I actually like went through because I feel like I'm sort of going a little bit fast trying to learn a lot of things in this game. So I like kind of had a sit down session with Persona and was like really looking at stuff. Um and different things, different equips that I had and everything. Yo, DD, welcome. And uh, I was looking at confidant stuff. I didn't know that you could see the next like ability that you can get from people. I didn't know about that. So I was like taking a look at this and I was like, oh, well, that's really cool. Cause then it gives you something to like look forward to ranking up. Like it, now I know that if I want to rank up Makoto for that ability, like I should do that. But what another thing I found out that's interesting is that Akechi doesn't have a thing and also um Sai Nijima also does not have a thing. Both of them don't have abilities. And I'm wondering, I'm sitting here wondering why that is. You know? I have no idea. But I think it's story related. Hint, hint, wink, wink. So, yeah, that was really cool to find out that, like, I can actually look at the abilities that I'm coming up to, which is really cool. Um, so now it's going to give me more of a focus on, like, leveling, uh, ranking up certain confidants, which is awesome. I wish I had known about that before. But yeah, so some revelations. I'm done with mementos, though. We did a crap ton of shit in here. I also got a ton of new personas and i'm pretty sure i am rich as fuck now because i've been just farming the fuck out of this place i think i have like six hundred thousand yen um i've <laughs> i'll just add this i think i did too much in this did you place your mind? <laughs> there's still some more personas that i'm missing though but I was glad I did that off stream because I I was like in mementos an extra like four or five hours off stream, which I don't think I want to do on stream. Dala Dala Yens, yo, I am so happy that I am so rich. Man, it's hot. That sounds really weird, but like I don't know, <laughs> to have money <laughs> feels nice. Mm. Oh, we were in the metaverse, so they're not gonna let me do anything. Fucking Morgana. And since it's underneath my camera and you guys can't see, I still have nine days left to spend. Nice. A whole nine days. Kill me. Actually, that's a good thing. I don't want the plot to move on yet. I feel like I still have so much more to accomplish. Um, I could make curry. I could clean for Soji. I feel like I want to clean for Soji, bro. He would appreciate that, right? Hey. He would appreciate that. Well then. Oh. Mementos is always so long. My previous times I've been in Mementos, I I went pretty fast through. I only spent like one or two hours in, and then I just dipped out. But I feel like I really needed to it farm it a lot. And not just for experience, but I needed to farm it a lot for um, personas because I didn't do a lot of fusing in this game so far. So I like collected a bunch of personas like over and over and over and over and over again. And um, I just took all of those and I just kept fusing and fusing and fusing and fusing. I like was fusing for hours on end. So I, I like, 
I really took the time to fuse as many personas as possible. So, yeah, I got the fuse fever, and I feel like that's the one thing I've been really lacking in this game. Um, uh, but yeah, Dante, don't worry about it, man. It's okay. If if you ever, like, backseat game, don't take it to heart. It's just, like, your comment gets deleted by me or a mod, but it's not, like, it's not like I hate you or anything. It's totally fine, because I, I do it all the time, bro. If I'm watching a streamer and I'm, like, super passionate about a game and I really want to help them out, sometimes it's so hard to, like, not want to help out. It's cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Who wants to hang out with me? Ryuji! Meet up and play some games together. Uh, I don't want to hang out with Ryuji tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. The game is a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to take it slow, man. I'm trying. Oh! Takaimi! Oh, she's so depressed. As long as you're healthy, bye. Hmm? Takami's having a rough time. Oh! Mm. Poor Takami. I also need to remember to give Yusuke hey. blank cards. How's my plant doing? Nice. Oh, Yusuke, do 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 do! Oh, I want to hang out with Yusuke so bad. How do I? Oh. <laughs> I want to cry. Oh no. I'm just gonna give him a blank card. I think I'll hang out with the doctor today. Oh, I want to hang out with you, Ski. Hmm. By the way, you know what? I can hang out with the doctor tomorrow. I see. Very well. Well then. Start the stream off right. Oh, you want me to actually hang out with you, Ski? First thing. I mean. The doctor, you know, she'll be around. Hmm. By the way. <laughs> okay, we're doing it. <laughs> it's been three days. Hey, John, what's up? Yes. Oh, we went back to Madarame's shack. This place has not changed in the slightest. Are you going in? Uh, indeed I am. I simply needed some time to ready my heart. <laughs> the heart again. It seems it will never cease to be our topic of conversation. <sighs> the truth is, despite my best efforts to convey the meaning of the heart, I am no closer to understanding it. Such a troublesome roadblock never presented itself to me while I was living here. As you know, I spent most of my young life in this very house. That is why we've come now. I wish to reevaluate myself within its decrepit walls. By, com by coming to this place, I may be able to rekindle the passion for art I once held. The passion of an inquiring mind on the hunt for pure beauty, before I learned of Madarame's foul nature. It won't open. No, I surely left it unlocked. How could this be? The door is jammed? I suppose it was quite an old door to begin with. It had begun to rust even while I was a pupil here. It seems now it is finally broken. Let's force it open. Hmm? I doubt you will be able to force your way through here. I, you must have a steady hand if you wish to fix it. I don't have enough proficiency? Proficiency has to be masterful? <sighs> This is a difficult problem. It seems we have no choice but to retreat for today. I just wasted my day with Yusuke.
Excuse me while I go into a pit of depression. Oh, cool! It doesn't- Oh, it didn't waste my day! That's great, actually. I thought it was, like, actually gonna waste my day. Whoa, what are you doing? TV crew. Who do you think will win? The Phantom Thieves or Medjet? The Phantom Thieves seem to be gaining support from the internet generation. However, this is a good opportunity to expose their major corporations that are doing wrong. Are you sure you want to say that? The sponsors will complain if they hear those comments. Don't worry, this will just make things more exciting. Be sure to edit them just so they flow together. Oh god, reporters. Blair, 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 Blair. A security system full of holes, network dependent companies face an unprecedented crisis. However, I, the Sun God, will surely save them along with my apostles, the Phantom Thieves. Sun God, please order the Phantom Thieves to punish Medjet immediately. No need to be hasty, I am waiting for the right opportunity, you fledgling. Man, this sucks. So I can't rank up with Yusuke anymore until I'm proficient. <gasps> I hate this. I need proficiency to rank up with Yusuke. This is a problem. This is a very big problem. Oh, I guess I gotta hang out with the doctor. Yusuke! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. We're not gonna do a clinical trial. I didn't contact you because I wanted you to come over. But if you want medicine, I guess there's no helping it. I'm so sad. I hope proficiency being masterful isn't rank five. If it's rank five, I might cry. I hope it's rank four. So what did you need to talk about? I thought I asked you not to come back here. Doctor, doctor, and you too. Yes. I wanted to speak with you right away. The hospital that was on the news is the same one you used to work at, right? The hospital on the news? Oh dear, I'm afraid everyone have, uh, was thinking the same thing, but I knew you weren't capable of doing those terrible things. What is it? What's going on? Oh my, you really don't know, do you? Chief of Staff Oyumaida turned himself in. He was manipulating things behind the scenes. Turns out he was the one who made that terrible medical error and laid the blame on his subordinate. Huh? Is that true? It's been on the news channels all over the country. We saved Takaimi. I haven't seen it. I just knew something didn't quite add up about that story. I never believed someone like you could have done something like that. Hooray, doctor! But what's a medical error? It's something that shouldn't be allowed to happen, I guess. What's the meaning of this? Is this all some elaborate joke? Oh, you might have surrendering himself at such a convenient time? Why? It doesn't matter, it's too late. It doesn't change the fact that I couldn't save her. Uh Miwa Chan is alive. What? There's no way. Wait. What? Did the news mention anything about the patient involved in the medical error incident? Oh, it must have been difficult for her too. I heard she's been moved to another hospital. Oh, Takaimi. This is such a moment. I see. So she's alive. It's not over yet. You're right. I have to finish what I started. Oh. Do you have time? You'll help me, right? I take back what I said. We'll resume development right away. Oh. I like her story. It's so wholesome and cute. And oh. All right. Oh. Sorry. That's so emotional for, like, any doctor, because, like, the reason you become a doctor, right, is to help save people's lives. That's so... That's... That's feelsy. We're gonna move quickly today, so you may experience some pain during the examination. It's for Miwa-chan. Thanks. You're a good guy. 
Once the medicine is perfected, I'll introduce you to Miwa-chan and tell her how much you helped. All right, get into the examination room you go. Oh God, this better raise my guts. Okay, it is. Give me guts or give me death. Still not rank four. We've been on rank three for a very long time. It just Take won't care. go up. I pushed you way too hard today, really. I'm sorry, but I won't waste the opportunity you're giving me. We're going to make up for our lost time. God, what was wrong with me? I can't believe I spent all the time moping, feeling sorry for myself. Miwa-chan was fighting all that time. I have to fight for her too. Anything else I can do? You really are a weird kid. You've done so much for me already. Now the rest is up to me. All we need are some fish finishing touches and the struggle will be ready. Anyways, get some rest today. Remember, you can call me anytime. Aww. We had a really good moment with Takaimi this time. That was, those were some good moments. Ah, you're back. Uh, all right, no crossword puzzle. Who wants to hang out tonight? The Shogi player. I think I might, um, Hifumi. I think that's her name. I do want to hang out with her. However, I do need to also go to the fortune teller chick. She's in Shujuku, right? Or is she in Kichijoji? No, she's in Shujuku, I'm pretty sure. Hey, Vetter, what's up, dude? Because uh, we couldn't get her as a confidant because she had a side quest in Mementos. So now that we did Mementos, I wonder what if we do can think? do her thing. Did her fate change? Tell her the result. Fine. Fine, let's hear it. Please sit down. Gracious! Her boyfriend stopped abusing her? I don't believe it. But I mean, look. What? The sequence of Arcana has completely changed. Death has moved far off into the future. Fate is not absolute. <laughs> no, no, no! This must be some sort of trick. What are you, a scam artist? You made a deal with her boyfriend or something, didn't you? I didn't make any deals. Then what did you do? Did you plunge him into Tokyo Bay? Or cram him into a metal drum and dump insects on him? You must have taken some sort of extreme measures. I'm not capable of that stuff. Well... You certainly do seem like just an ordinary high school kid. Yes, I am. But there's no way that could have happened without you breaking the law. I mean, how could an ordinary high school student change the course of fate? Fine. I'm just going to have to verify your power. The very power that reversed my tarot card prediction. Me too, Lunabug! I love them too! It's a serious situation for a fortune teller like me. I need to get to the bottom of this. Uh, no, DD. I have not played any Persona game, and this is also my first time playing Persona 5, so I'm new to all of this. You won't have to do anything. Just sit next to me while I tell fortunes. And if another unopposable fate happens to appear, then I'll test your power. I get nothing out of this. Well, that may be true. Oh, I know. I'll read your fortune. Ooh, what are you gonna do? Please? Tell me I'm gonna die? I'll even prioritize your readings over my regular customers. Besides, I'll be able to provide much more accurate predictions once I get to know you better. How does that sound? Is it a deal? Hmm. Otherwise, I won't be able to go on. Please, I beg you. I need to know if fate truly can be changed. I suppose you do seem useful. Oh, I am! I am! Okay then, I look forward to verifying your skills. Please don't blow me off, okay? We made a deal after all. So she's now officially a confidant. We should be going into the future now. Hey, Sainijimo. She's gonna be like, so you've been able to predict your enemy movements, I see, and you must have had some help with that from somebody. 
Unless you were lucky, there's no way you could have repeatedly done so many crimes. <laughs> or perhaps you had someone you consulted who gave you precise advice. <laughs> You're not getting away this time with just luck. I am thou. So it comes up with thou the most absurd thou. explanation she really does. Thou hast acquired and it shall be the birth oh. of the fortune persona. Yay! New confidant. Temporarily increases the growth rate of a selected social stat. <gasps> what? Girl, what? All right. Is fate really something that can be changed? If hmm. This girl oh, seems OP as fuck. Late. Let's close up shop for today. It's past your curfew. Don't smile at me like that. You still conned me out of a hundred thousand yen, bitch. Um. I forgot to get your contact info. Oh. Oh boy. Uh, you're pretty extreme. She liked that. Okay. Until next time. I also have to hang out with Mishima more. Good morning, sleepy burrito. How are you? Well then. Oh, <gasps> it's Sunday! Oh no, three texts. I've changed my hours. Oh, dude, that's actually really awesome. I can see the fortune teller in the morning. Oh my god! Oh, Pog! Nice. That's actually really cool if I, it's not like night exclusive because I feel like I got a lot of people to hang out with at nights. Um, Jan, thank you for the follow. Oh, that's, that's so cool. A drink set. Second made and water of rebirth. What? I don't even know what those are. Floral gift set, glass vase and a flower basket. I'm definitely going for the flower hey, basket. Hey. <laughs> you had help! Tell me who it was. Signy, Jima. Hmm. So, uh, now that I have a confidant with the fortune teller, I forgot her name already. Chi Haya, maybe? Is that her name? No. Where are you? Oh. Oh, I actually did remember her name. Chi Haya. Wait, no, I want to go over. So her next thing is temporarily increases money earned from battle. So this is, wait, wait, wait. Increases the growth rate of a selected social stat. So I have to select it, but how? It's implying that I have to do it. Oh well, I'm sure it'll come up later. Hi, Adriano, how you doing? And Nom, hello. How are you? You're just imagining it. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, so I guess we hang out with... I gave Yusuke a card, right? Yeah, I did. Oh. What happens if I call... Oh. Kawakami. I just want to know. Um, I'm busy right now. Save me, save it for Friday or Saturday evenings. Okay, whatever. I know that she can do my laundry, I just don't know when. I do it on purpose, Darkus. So some of the lines I skip. I know some of them are on accident, but most of them I skip on purpose just because it, I, if I know where the conversation's going, I'm just kind of like, eh, let's just get a move on. But I hope you're enjoying the streams, man. Welcome. Oh. Who did I say? Okay, Chihaya. That's who I wanted to go talk to. Wait, first? Uh, there's a couple things. We have to go see Yusuke. 
I don't know how long it takes for him to get cards done. Oh, thank you. You're the best. I love you. You gay. I love you. I see. You Very well. Well then. Oh, drink stand right next to him. Best boy. He's my. He's the best boy, man. I love him so much. <laughs> oh my God! A drink that makes me more proficient. This is for you, Skay. Let's go. Proficiency stat. I need this. And I get one. <laughs> I need to be proficient for you, Skay. Oh God! This is like a really big dilemma I'm having. Like, what do I do? All right, Chihai, uh, hello. You've changed your hours. We can start during the day since you're a student. We can't do it when it rains, though, since we're, we'll be outside. Come during the day for your fortune and at night for the test. That's complicated. Wait, so I can't go to her during rain time. But I go during the day for a fortune and at night for the time. Uh. Hmm. You've only been introduced to it from your streams? Aww. Dude, I love this game. I've been super obsessed with it. Oh, Kasumi, hello. I didn't know you hang out here. Wait, I can't talk to her. Talk to Kazumi. Hello. I have a solid bond with Kasumi. Um, yeah, we're maxed out with Kasumi. <laughs> so I don't really want to hang out with her. Man, that means, chat, that we're stuck with, uh, fucking fuck fuck. We're stuck with Ryuji or On. Okay, let's hang out with Ryuji, I guess. Darts in this game? There is, yeah. Hey. I don't, I haven't actually tried darts after I unlocked it. I unlocked the place, but I haven't been back since. But I think you actually do get to play it. I don't know how it works, though, because I haven't done it. I don't think my bond with Ryuji will deepen! Well, we're gonna hang out no. anyway. Yeah. So many places we can go to. What did he say that he wanted to go to? A food place. Yeah, we're not gonna go there. We'll go here. Yeah. Let's go. Ryuji's a simple man. On, I know. I think I have rank Whoa. five with On. I'm just not really interested in leveling, uh, leveling her confidant level much. The line's even longer than last time. They put an ad out or something? Aww, poor Ryuji. He just wants his ramen. There we go, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> and you totally fallen for this soy sauce flavor too I'm in love what can I say right <laughs> Ryuji's such a simple man I love it Tokyo's guys are all over this stuff anyway thanks for asking me here today I'm all cheered up now cuz of you come on let's get going there's tons of people waiting for our seats hey I got a ramen bowl gift? What? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Ryuji. What a bro. Gave me a ramen bowl. I'm nice of him. Uh, you're back. I want to verify you. <laughs> I want to verify you.
I do want to go to Chihaya, um, but I also want to max out my guy, who I can only see once a week. I would get max rank with the speech guy. I think I want to max him out and then... Just because it's Sunday. I'm thinking of telling you everything. All right, let's go get max rank with Yoshida. A weekly magazine reported that Kuramoto was the real culprit in the fund's misappropriation case. Old man Kuramoto will likely be forced to retire from the political world. The police can't do anything because it was 20 years ago. But he has a moral obligation. I hear his grandson, Benzo, resigned from the party as well. It could be due to Matsushita's influence, or perhaps it's just the party's way of atoning. Now it's all up to me and my abilities. When's your speech gonna start, Taranasuke? We can't wait! To think that people would be excited to hear me Aww. speak. The article mentioned I didn't want the real culprit to be named, even though I knew who it was. Apparently, people admire me for having quietly accepted a false charge for 20 years. I didn't intend for any of this to happen, though. Oh. Your true self will be revealed. I appreciate that someone like you, who's been watching me so closely, would say such a thing. What a wholesome I've struggled dude. For the past 20 years. But I can put that all behind me after the election. Oh, look at the time. I should get started. Today will be the last day I'll request help from a phantom thief. I don't intend to meddle. Everything I've told you has been based on assumptions. But if you're still willing to listen, then I think you should focus on your work. Because the time is now. I can't think of anything else to teach you. You are now an expert on giving speeches. I taught you all I know about the art of public speaking in return for you supporting a guy like me. And over time, you became someone who shared my beliefs. Thanks to you, I was able to overcome my crisis these last few months. I will strive for the royal road of politics, thinking of you as you walk down your own path. But if you ever find yourself in harm's way on your journey, I will be there to help you. We'll be comrades who reform the world together. Oh. How did he know that I was a phantom thief I member? I am thou. Thy bond shall become the wind. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the sun. I don't know how. How does he know? I haven't said anything. Allows you to form contracts with higher level shadows. Fuck yeah. All right. I feel like that's huge. All right. You can now fuse Asura, the most powerful persona of the sun. What? Oh, I didn't I'm realize sure that you, you could actually. You set out to do. Thank you for everything. All right, it's time so to begin. So if you, he's the first one I've maxed besides Kasumi. Yoshida's speech is about to start. I cut my date short so I could watch this, you know. So you get special personas from the ones you max out. That's good to know. Does anyone out there have something they aspire to do? I met a certain young man through a method that- Yeah, he's my first mine. one. He was trying to reform the world. I've been going to him and every you know, Sunday. <laughs> that is a very large mountain to cross. Unfortunately, I am unable to travel the same path as him. However, I will not say goodbye. Because we will surely meet at the peak. He really just said that he in public five feet away from everybody. <laughs> You're a phantom thief. So I encourage you all, please find what it is that you aspire to do. And I will support you. Hi, Gonzo, what's up? that is what I aspire to do. 
He's come such a long way. Way to go, Tyrannosuke! I believe in you! Oh no, more charm! I'm gonna be rank 5 in charm soon, I swear to fucking god, I just keep getting it! That was our last time we get to spend with Yoshida. That's it. Makoto! I do need to rank her up. She's only like rank two for me right now. I want to go look for a book. There's something I'm curious about. I'm going to Booktown in Jean Bocho. Can you make some time since it's summer vacation? I'd like you to I'd like you to help me look forward look for it. Sure. Um I'll hang out with Makoto tomorrow. She wants to go to Book Town. What a fucking nerd. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's probably the last place I would like to go. Hey, it's summer vacation. You want to go to Book Town? Excuse me. I'm interested in cognitive science, uh, the field Futaba's mother was researching. I doubt we will find any public information, but maybe an older academic journal may mention it. Let's get cracking. Thank you. I do hope we find something. I want to learn more about cognitive science while we wait for Futaba to regain her strength. If only we could understand it more in depth, maybe we could solve the mystery of the metaverse. It would make traversing it easier for us, too. Oh, you fool me! Oh, hello. Uh, goodbye. Excuse me, please wait. Was there something you wanted to say to him? Oh no, nothing in particular. I was just surprised to see him here. I didn't mean to intrude between you two. Um... No need to be so considerate. He's just carrying my books for me. <laughs> He's just my manslave! Is she a friend of yours? She's my shogi master. Master's a bit of an overstatement. We should just play shogi. We just play shogi together. Oh, she didn't like that. Fuck. Is she the professional shogi player you had mentioned before? The master strategist? I see. I admit I only know the rules, but I'm intrigued to learn how a professional shogi player thinks. Is that a book on shogi tactics? Oh, yes. I come here to purchase old shogi strategy books from time to time. Pardon me for asking, could you teach me some strategies? I believe this knowledge would benefit me greatly in the future. Oh, sure, if you like. Well, if it isn't about shogi, then... To attack, you will need to be creative with your approach and sacrifice pieces with no remorse. So, plan on enticing your opponent to focus on your sacrificial pieces so you can advance a counterattack? Yes. Yes, you seem to have a talent for this. Another strategy I, I enjoy is to use bait pieces to draw your opponent to your side of the board. They're going to be best friends. Hmm, I see. That way you can surround them and... This is useful information. Oh, I'm sorry. Was she... What she was saying is so interesting. I lost track of the time. I'll catch up with you later. Could you look for the book we had discussed earlier? <laughs> oh, God. You want to be VIP for the stream? You got it, dude. Got it. Shall we return home? Fumi's a cutie. Oh, why didn't it add it? Did I type it wrong? Oh, there we go. Don't abuse your power. Sacrifice Makoto? No, I like Makoto. So far, she's my favorite grill. Actually, that's a lie. Kasumi. Man, it's hot. Kasumi's a cutie. One more week until the deadline. Hey, you see the forum? Yeah, people have been telling us to hurry up and protect the civilians. They're just saying whatever they want, no, with no regard for the consequences. God, I seriously can't believe they're going on all about that. By the way, how's Futaba? At this point, <laughs> we are desperate for her assistance. She definitely mentioned Medjed back in the palace. I'd like to believe she's planning something. 
Even Makoto's gone over to wait and see Dark Side. We don't have much time left. I know it's frustrating, but there's not much we can do. Yo. Yeah, my Sunday box. Hey. Makoto Joker, can you carry 10 books for me while it, me, me and my fellow nerd are talking? <laughs> She's my show geek player friend. Oh. Fucking rude. I'm thirsty for info. A new idea. What, Yusuke? I need new inspiration. All we can do is wait for Futaba, but simply sitting around has me on edge. Is there anything we can do? What are your thoughts? Why don't you take Yusuke to that jazz club Akechi told you about? A date with Akechi to the jazz club? Or... Wait, did I say Akechi? Oh my god. Yusuke! A date with Yusuke to the jazz club or hang out with the journalist. The days left underneath my camera, it says six. We have six days left. Um... I don't think I'd get much out of hanging out with Yusuke at, like, for a date, even though I really want to. Let's go hang out with the journalist. This means we get to see Lala-chan. How long does Futaba have to be unconscious? Dude, she's been unconscious for 20 fucking days. I've been done with her palace for 20 fucking days. Oh, girl, wake up. Oh, honey. Oh, Lala-chan, hello. You sure come here a lot. I don't really mind it, but keep yourself in check, okay? Hey, hey! We have a target we haven't identified yet. Maybe you can gather some info while you're working? That's rough. Oh, I have to work here part time to get that mementos job. I didn't know that. Come on. Oh. Well, now I know what to do on another night. Is this weather a result of climate change? <sighs> oh yeah, we're acting as her boyfriend, aren't we, or whatever? You know what? Oh, yeah. Fuck you. I don't. I want to hang out with Lala Chan. I'm going to work. Hey. That's right. I chose work. Working at the bar will improve my kindness. Ooh. Hmm. I mean. Yeah, I'll work for Lala Chan. I did the palace in one night. Yeah. Oh. We actually did it with flying colors. I. I was. It seemed like it was bad toward like the halfway point but the latter half of the palace wasn't too bad so we were able to do it in one night okay then let me explain what you'll be doing here darling oh shit wait oh fuck i didn't mean to do that it's your first time so things might be a little scary but just try to relax it's easy work i'll need you to help with some chores around the bar washing dishes clearing tables the like I have to entertain the customers, so I can't do things myself. That's why you're here now. And there you have it. Explanation finito. Do you have any questions? Do I need to cross dress? Oh, honey. Are you interested? I could be a producer if that's the case. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I don't want to break any adult entertainment laws, you know? We were, <laughs> what you're wearing now is fine. Do you have any questions? Anything to be I careful mean... of? That's just one of me, so sometimes I can't pay attention to all my customers. Would you be on the lookout for those times? I'm sure they would. They want to talk to you, too. They're all great people, so don't worry. I'm sure it'll be a good experience for you. Do you have any questions? There's alcohol here. You know, we're not even going to ask it. It's all you. It's almost time for the customers to arrive, so could, I didn't know that I could work here. Hey, hey. I wonder how much I get paid. <laughs> I would love- I would have loved to see you all dolled up. Yo, me too! When does Joker cross dress? Nice work, honey. 
decent pay. I don't See need you. money though. <laughs> oh, all right, you should be going home. You're still underage and Shinjuku is dangerous at night. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you, we get a lot more customers coming in every Sunday. I'm guessing that they're trying to cope with the fact that they have to go back to work again. Boop, 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 boop. Please don't talk about that stuff, Mooing. I don't want to know if stat manipulation. I don't really care. I don't want to know. I don't like knowing differences between the original and the royal, so please. Hey, Muhammad, how are you doing? Anyways, just hinting that I'm going to need extra hands on Sundays. Any help would be greatly appreciated. You got it, Lala-chan. I will work for Lala-chan any day. Mm. Yeah, I have to work here another night, new. So this raises my kindness. Cool, I need that. Wanna head back? Nice again, well, welcome back to the stream, man. Yo, I've been looking into Yamachi lately. Thought I'd give you an update. Apparently, he's been hanging out at a Manja Yaki shop a lot. I heard he gets real drunk there and brags to his co-workers. So, perfect opportunity, right? If we can get close, we might get some intel out of him. Then he'd notice you. Right, that's where you come in. He knows me, so I ain't gonna be able to get anywhere near him. But he won't- he wouldn't care about you. I bet you could just sit next to his booth if you wanted. Probably. So, I'll let you know once I figure out what he's- when he's going drinking. Till then, we're gonna put a train hold on our training. Well, I'll be counting on you. Yep. Sounds like Ryuji won't be hanging out with you for a while. That's fine. I'll live. Nice. Do you have any plans? I can hang out with Makoto. I think she might actually be my only person. Maybe. Guys, please don't talk about other Persona games, please. I want to play the other ones. I haven't played any of them, and I'm gonna. Please take your time. I haven't been to the bookstore in a while. Oh, they still don't have more books. Of course they don't. So Ryuji's at the arcade. I still probably should go to the airsoft shop. I'll do that another time. You know what, Makoto? Let's hang out. Let's hang out with Makoto. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm so obsessed with this game that I all I want to do is play the old Persona games now. So after this, my plan is to play Persona 4 Hello? Gold, but I have to figure out how to stream it first because I don't have any of the systems or anything. All right, we'll hang out with Makoto. She's like a confidant that we've been neglecting to rank up. <laughs> You're in the same hole with Monster Hunter. I tried getting into Excuse Monster me. Hunter. I just couldn't get into it. You've been spending time in the red light district lately, haven't you? Both myself and uh, Christelle Kuhn. I still hate that she calls me Kuhn. Uh, based on where you were heading, we assume that you're working at a store called the After School Salon. How is it working there? What do you mean? It's just a normal cafe. They make me wear a costume and stuff, but that's it. Oh, and I don't have to do anything weird, if you know what I mean. It's totally legal. Hmm. hmm. So you're sure nothing strange is going on? Yep, yep. The worst I get is some weird old guys gawking at me. I see. Beyond that, though, why are you working there? How's your financial situation? Uh, fine. I mean, I could just ask my parents for cash whenever I want. Oh, I see. But they totally bug me about what I'd be buying if I did that. That's why I work at the salon. I get some good spending money, plus the guys who come in there, like, mega pamper me. Hmm. Mega pamper? It's nice having people treat you like you're special, you know? I'm sure a super honor student like you gets that all the time, though. Anyways, are you gonna tell on me? You even brought a witness today. 
Hold up, doesn't that mean you two were in Shijuku together? What's up with that, Miss Prez? So what if we're together? <laughs> oh, it's none of your business. You're right. He's not wrong. But allow me to at least clarify. It was nothing more than an errand I asked him to accompany me on. At any rate, don't mind him. As for you, I don't plan on telling anyone. Oh, I get it. So we're like protecting each other's secrets. Oh crap, and I just realized your boyfriend's that rumored criminal. You're a real badass, Miss Prez. Well, um... I told you, that's not how it is. I was just worried that you were getting wrapped up in some shady business. So I asked him here for support. Hmm, whatever. By the way, I was wondering, is that a Buchimaru-kun pencil case? Hmm? <gasps> you know Buchimaru-kun? I had like tons of Buchi stuff back whenever I was a kid. What a blast from the past. Wait, why is it so beat up? Well, it was given to me whenever I was still in elementary school. I'd like to buy a new one, but they've stopped selling Buchimaru-kun merchandise. OMG, this is too hilarious. The student council president has an adorable pencil case. My image of you has done has done like a complete 360 today. Uh, uh isn't that a full circle? Mm, I don't know, I'm just really surprised. You don't really look like the kind of person who'd be into that stuff. I mean, I always thought you were kind of like a robot, but I guess you I just had to get to know you better. Hey, uh, why don't we trade phone numbers? I really want to talk to you more about Buchimaru-kun and your boyfriend. Oh, um... We're everybody's boyfriend now. And all I want to be is Yusuke's boyfriend. Mm. Wait, he's not my boyfriend. And saved. Oh crap, is it it's this late already? I've got to get to work. I'll send you tons of pics of my Buchimaru-kun collection later though. Bye! So awkward. She was all over the place. Honestly, though, I'm in shock. She thought I was a robot? Beep boop. <laughs> oh, you can change. Yes. That's why you're helping me. <sighs> you know, I believe what Takao-san said about me and how others think as well. I thought how I, I thought I had changed after the incident with Kaneshiro, but perhaps it wasn't enough. That aside, it was almost inspiring to meet someone so distinct from myself. I'm gonna try to look at things a little differently from now on. Well? And well, I think that will help me break out of my shell. I hope you're ready. I'm gonna show you how useful an honor student can really be. That's cute. Beep boop. More negotiation right. stuff. Koto getting the digits. She is. I'll be interested to speak with Takao-san some more now that I have her contact information. Perhaps I can correct her misconceptions about you. And as always, I'll let you know if anything important happens. I'll see you later. I guess we're dating now. You still think Makoto's a robot? She could be. Who knows? Thanks for sitting with me today. It really did help. I got a message from Takao-san earlier. She said uh, she turned out to be quite a fan of Buchimaru-kun. It was crazy to see a picture of her entire collection. She even has a bunch of Buchimaru-kun emoticons. Sounds like you two get along. Yeah, I guess you're right. I didn't expect to bond over something like this, though. I'm pretty shocked, to be honest. Though I'm still a little worried about that store she works at. I'll try a little harder to get through to her about it. I might come to you for more advice later. For now, I'll let you go. Talk to you later. She's so cute. Hello, Nick. How are you? Man, it's hot. Hot night. You're a natural. What a compliment. Hello. I really do want to hang out with Hifumi. But... Chihaya has some really badass ranks that I want. Go right away. I'm doing pretty great, Nick. Thanks for asking. Although, let me save my game. So this is... I have five days left. We're almost there. 
I placed my shop on the street so I can see people walking by, but I'm about to melt. Well then, what would you like to do today? Do a verification touch. Thank you for the bowl, girl. <laughs> Are you enjoying the game? I'm obsessed with this game. Good evening. I'm so obsessed that I never want to stop playing. But I have to, because if I just keep playing it, it's just gonna get progressively worse and worse and worse. Oh my god, Kuro, thank you so much for the raid! And the, the host, I really appreciate it. Welcome on in, everybody. If you're new to the stream, hi, my name is Crystal, and I mainly play Final Fantasy XIV, but lately I've been more of a variety streamer, and I'm really obsessed with Persona 5. Oh no, my Nightbot filter, fuck! <laughs> thank you guys for the follows, I really appreciate it. Welcome on in, everybody. Let me disable it for a second. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry! You're good now, you can spam. I really should just turn it off. Yo, Takaishi, how you doing, man? Welcome! Welcome on in, everybody. Curl, thank you so much for the insane host! How was your stream? How are you? Welcome, everybody. So, for those of you that are coming here for the first time, which is a lot of you. I have never played Persona, any Persona game, a day in my life. So this is my first time playing Persona 5. And I'm brand new to the story, I'm brand new to a lot of things, so I'm just kind of experiencing things for the first time. I just unlocked this new confidant, and she seems really OP, so I've been trying to hang out with her a lot. <laughs> also, that emote is terrifying, what the fuck? <laughs> that face. Welcome, everybody. Oh, thank you guys again for all the follows. Who is this boy? I swear to God, if Chihaya says that he's my boyfriend, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind because everybody in this game thinks that I'm, I'm their boyfriend, except for the one person that I want to think that I'm their boyfriend. Ugh. Is Makoto best girl? So far, as far as like girls go, Kasumi's my favorite, but um, I have a very, a very hard crush on Yusuke. <laughs> I wish, I want Joker to go gay for Yusuke so bad. <laughs> I'm really obsessed with Yusuke. Anytime that I basically have a chance to, I, <laughs> I hang out with Yusuke. Nervous laughter. <laughs> I love going out on dates with him. He's my favorite. I don't know why, but I just love him so much. It went well, thanks for saying my face is scary. It's just, it's only scary because whenever there's like a wall of that face, imagine just like seeing a wall of that face. It's a little bit terrifying. Yeah, but not saying that your face is scary. <laughs> oh my God. Yusuke is your favorite too, dude. I'm obsessed with Yusuke. He's so great. Oh God, I love him. I, my thirst for Yusuke is really bad. <laughs> Oh man, all right, I missed what she said before this. Oh, okay, we're just an apprentice. You can think of him as a human-sized stuffed animal. I mean, look how fluffy his hair is. Oh my God, she just called me a stuffed animal, bitch. Wait, so he's okay with working for a woman even though he's a guy? Excuse me, what? <laughs> Something like that is just unthinkable in my line of work. Um. I take that to mean something else has happened with your job? Yes, a male coworker of mine was given all the credit for a successful project I poured my soul into. And do you know what my boss told me? He said it was just the natural order of things because I'm a woman. Oof. Ouch. That's why I'm thinking of leaving and starting up my own business. I've actually been planning for some time. I'm not sure if we'll be able to hold, uh, to find, su find a foothold in the market though. Here we go. In that case, let's ask the tarot. Show us the truth, oh divine power. You're gonna die. Just kidding, you're not gonna die. The cards have appeared in reverse. In other words, it seems as though your business is doomed to failure. Oh, what should I do? I'm sorry, but in this case, it appears your fate is inescapable. Ouch. What are your thoughts? Were you even listening? What shall we do? What can we do to help this woman who is so oppressed by the savagery of a male-dominated work environment? Change her boss's heart. I'm a phantom thief! Mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure I understand what you mean by that. As such, I would suggest you think of something else. I have the power to curse you permanently, you know. What a bitch! <laughs> She's so fucking sassy! I hate her. Encourage her. What? <laughs> what would you say if you wanted to encourage her? Overturn your fate. Uh, overturning fate? That's right, I don't have to follow the rules of this oppressive society. I can do it. I'll reshape every aspect of my antiquated industry. My mind is made up. I'm gonna quit my job and set off on my own private business adventure. And even if I fail, at least I won't be wasting away doing work for that sexist bastard anymore. Thank you, young man, if you'll excuse me. What? The cards will surely back me up on that. Leave it alone! What? It seems the sequence of cards has changed. Her financial future is now appearing as extremely successful. What did you do? Are you a psychic? Did you use your powers to change the order of the cards? My divine power is capable of sending people like you down to the depths of hell, you know. That has to be it. That's the only way this could happen. Fate cannot be changed. Fate is absolute. That is how it must be. Open your mind to change, girl. That may not be such a bad idea, but if that possibility were the truth, how would I keep my holy stone business intact? Oh my god! Give me my 100,000 yen back, bitch! I'm so mad about it still! What a fucking con artist. Ugh. You've changed the flow of destiny twice now, both times coming before my very That'd eyes. Be it seems this verification process is turning out to be much more meaningful than I expected. <laughs> bitch took 100,000 yen from me, and I want my fucking money back! Her confidant rank better be fucking worth it. She makes me so angry. Goodbye. It's the only reason that I want to rank up her confidant levels is because I spent so much money on it. Uh, of course I'm standing in front of my house. That's exactly what my reading told me. Fate is absolute after all. If everyone could reverse their fate as easily as flipping a table, life would be easy. This is why I believe I need you to conduct these verifications with you. So please promise me you'll stop by my booth tit again. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Ugh. The only two characters I hate in this game, Chihaya and Akechi. Matthew Mercer is a great voice for Yusuke. Yeah, I don't know much about um, Matt, Matt Mercer other than like he's the critical role guy because I don't watch it, but I gotta say, uh, if he's used game, then I love the guy automatically. I do, I have 600,000 yen now. We're so rich. Good Whoa. morning, beautiful. Aw, thank you so much for the dollar 42 cents. I appreciate it. Oh, Dr. Takaimi. Dude, we're gonna max out her soon she thinks i think she's like rank eight or nine now oh my god did you ever equip the sp adhesive yes i did um ferro yo my guy thank you so much for the host i appreciate it i was actually gonna take like a 30 second break so i feel like i need to get up and move right now yo nick knock what's up dude matt mercer is a voice actor for like literally everything i keep hearing his name around everywhere I don't know him that well, though, but I feel like I should go stalk his shit now. Pharaoh, I, I was working in your stream earlier while you were doing, um, X-Death, because I realized I actually have never done Neo X-Death myself. At minimum item level, I should say. So I got- I was learning from your stream, Loki. <laughs> I hope the runs went well. Oh lord, they coming! The fucking smug... people. <laughs> what do I call them? Oh, Little Legs too! Oh, another stream I was working in this morning. Hey, Little Legs, how you doing, man? Welcome in, everybody. So we're playing Persona 5 for the first time. 
And I am obsessed with this game and I never want to stop playing. Yo. Oh, Little Legs raided you and then you guys came over. Oh, that's so cute. Hi, everybody. It's okay. I've done that way too many times where I've raided somebody and they were finishing. So like the raiders just kind of like rioted the wave of raiding. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I hope both of you had a good stream, though. I was lurking in both of your channels this morning. I'm so proud of you guys. Oh. Soji's kicking us out. Okay. Oh yeah, Pharaoh. You're flying home. When's your flight home to UK? What are we doing today? On keeps texting me to hang out and I feel so bad. <laughs> Cause like I wanna hang out with her, but this is okay to guide me though. I gotta go see the leg doctor. Ugh. Bum, bum. On Monday, you have a 10 hour flight. At least you got a flight home, Pharaoh. I'm glad that you were able to get it worked out for three plus months. <laughs> Pharaoh, I know the feel all too well. The moment where Dom and I weren't, uh, weren't long distance, it was like one of the best feelings in the world. And I hope you guys can have that moment soon because we were long distance for the first, uh, year and a half of our relationship here before I decided to move to Canada cross country you guys got this all the data specimens and sample medicine they're all inside that case let me know if you need anything else based on what I read in these finding summaries you sent me the results are truly amazing we'll perform one final exam with our equipment and we'll be ready to treat Miwachan with it You spent your lawyer money on an emergency plane ticket home. Oh no. Yeah, just save up again. And if there's any way I can help too, Fair, just let me know, seriously. I 100% get it and how that feels. Your country extended lockdown to June. Yeah, there's a lot of places. I know where I live too, it's on lockdown. I think until June 30th is our date. I think that's just restricted to no big gatherings though. I think it's like no big gatherings over 200 people for, until June 30th. But I think businesses will open way before that. Not sure. Do it by the end of May. Oh my god, that would actually be really awesome if you could, Pharaoh. <laughs> He's my little guinea pig. Oh, we're the guinea pig of Takaimi. You certainly walked a dangerous line, but I'm sure you implemented the strictest of safety protocols. Please put some thought into the offer we discussed, will you? All right, I'll call you later. What is that about? He's the doctor treating Miwachan. Oh, he just so happened to be a year ahead of me in college. I told him everything since I was so close to perfecting the medicine. Thanks. I have to thank you again. All of, all of this is thanks to you helping me with the clinical trials. Uh, don't worry about it. I couldn't wait to visit my girlfriend either and travel to from her country is banned. God, oh my god, are you in a long distance relationship too, Kuro? God damn. Everybody on Twitch with the long distance relationships. For me, um, I met Dom on Twitch. My boyfriend Dom. I met him a year and a half ago, or no. I met him three years ago uh, on Twitch. Three and a half years ago now is when I first met him. And then I decided to immigrate to another country for him. Japan to Poland. Oh, wow. So which one of you? So are you like immigrating to Poland or vice versa? I always get interested in those stories because I didn't realize how popular it was on Twitch. See, I'm from the United States, but I'm immigrating to Canada right now which really sucks because now my immigration process is delayed, which means I'm stuck in this country longer. So I've been stuck in Canada, unable to like go home or leave. Cause whenever you're in the process of immigrating, uh, you can't leave the country, you can't travel out. So I've been stuck here for two years and now it's like even longer. And I was looking forward to my process being over soon and going to see my parents and my family at Christmas this year, but I don't think I'll be able to go home for Christmas again, which I'm really upset about, low key. Hey, Fatality, how you doing? 
<laughs> late raid. Hey, better late than never, man. Welcome. From my tour of their medical facility and discussions I had with their development team, I'm confident that this will be, be a success and they'll complete development on schedule. The final result will be out of my hands, though, if I don't accept their offer, that is. Hmm. I was recruited. Oh, he offered me the position of head of research and development at his hospital, which means I'll have to close my practice. Dude, all of these stories are like... I love the confidant story so much. Hers is almost over. Uh, I start first thing next month. Unfortunately, Takami Clinic of Internal Medicine will be gone. And your patience? I really hope it goes well. It's actually been going really smooth, Kuro, my process. But now, obviously, with everything going on and nobody's working, it's like, I don't think that... I think my process is a lot delayed a lot, which really, really, really sucks. I just want to go home and see my family. Takami looks like she could break you in half. She can. <laughs> but she's not going to break you in half physically. It's going to be through her medicine. She's going to break you in half. <laughs> I'll urge my patients to transfer to that hospital and I'll be sure to give them priority there. You seem flustered. Are you really that troubled by it? Just kidding. The part about being recruited is true, but I don't intend not to close my practice. I kind of like being a general practitioner. I'm still, I'll still work with them to develop new medicine, though. Once the medicine's perfected, I'll be able to save Miwa-chan and receive my reward. Her smile. Aww, that's so cute! I need to give you your reward, too. I'll think of something to give my little guinea pig for holding up his end of the deal. Aww. That's so precious. Oh, rank nine. We only have one more rank with Takaimi. All right. Oh no. It'll all be over soon. Anyway. You were supposed to visit her in Amsterdam as I am in Japan, but everything got canceled. You can't send stuff either. You can't even send packages. Oh my God. Oh my God. I hope you guys get to see each other soon. I know that feel, it sucks so bad. Uh, but there's always a light at the end of the tunnel, though. I know for us, uh, even like after a year and a half of being in a long distance relationship, it was like toward the end of it, it was getting really hard to keep it going because it is it is really hard after a while, right? And I was also not in a good mental state because I was living with my mom and she was driving me absolutely nuts at the time. So things weren't going well, but what helped uh, for our relationship was like having something to look forward to is always I think the number one thing to keep things going So we looked into like how I would move to Canada immigrate there We started looking at apartments and where to move to so like once we figured out like how we were going to be together long term That's whenever Things really uh, started feeling good because long distance can kind of like feel like such a drag sometime but once you have like a plan and you're like, okay, well now we know how we could be together and we know how we're, we're where we're gonna move and we're gonna move into this apartment together and figure it out, like having a destination you're going to is I think is really important and helpful. Hey. One of the common complaints about Persona 5 is about the confidant story, so I'm glad you like it. Wait, really? I really like the confidant stories. I think they're so cute. So far, um, I don't think any of them haven't been something I dislike. I, I don't know. I think all of the stories are adding something to all the characters and I've been really invested into them. So we just got rank 10 with the politician guy and his story, like even though we, it seemed like a pretty basic story, I, I enjoyed the politician story a lot, just seeing like the development of a character through personal interaction. And even Takaimi's story is really, really cute, and I like it a lot. It, it's just, I don't know, it's nice to see the personal growth in all these confidant stories. I really enjoy it. Why don't you tell me the truth about why you kept coming to me? Oh, I wanted to see you. Really? Why did you want to see me? Don't tell me you're in love with me or something. Uh, oh. <laughs> wait, I don't actually. Oh, God. Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> wait. Oh 
wait. Why is this an option? I'm not doing it. I, 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 I like her, but like... What do you think? <laughs> I can't do it. I'm not doing it. Hmm. You're surprisingly indecisive. That did put a smile on my face, though, so thanks for that. It's getting late. You should get going. Come visit any time. <sighs> I don't know what would have happened if I would have, like, confessed my love, but, like, uh, I don't want to with Takaimi. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I've got my drug in the hands of someone I trust. Everything's on track for the cure to go through. And something tells me I never have to go I never have gotten this far without you. Thanks for doing this. You stuck by me even when one of those side effects could have killed you. You really are the best guinea pig I could have hoped for. I feel like this could have been a really cute relationship and I just denied her. I wanna date Yusuke. I don't know if this game's gonna let me, but I wanna date Yusuke. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm glad we saw it through. It still needs some tests and adjusting before it's ready for actual treatment. Still needs a lot of work. But I have faith that someday soon it'll help me with Chan's smile again. And I haven't forgotten all you did to help. I'll make sure to bump up your compensation a little. What? bump up my compensation, huh? Oh, boy. I don't know what that Rain, means. Huh? Just a few degrees cooler. So she complains about the weather every night. Dude, we're really running out of time here. People are getting even more restless online, too. Are we done for it? We Are we done for if we lose here? I don't even want to think about how that possibility right now. Indeed, those are once revered as heroes now seem reviled us. Calm down, guys. Sorry for messaging all about weird, such weird stuff. It's okay, we all feel the same way. I'll try and make sure I don't blow my cover, as should we all. It sounds like everyone's starting to get anxious. So we have three days, I think, left, or four? Four, three days until Med Jed's thing, so we're just wrapping we're up the how fourth palace the arc. Closing in. The best thing we can do for now is stay calm. Futaba's been in a coma for like 20 days. Yamachi said he's gonna go drinking at that manja restaurant. You'll go with me to help investigate undercover, right? Oh god. I don't know if I want to hang out with Ryuji right now. Oh? I don't know what I want tonight. I could hang out with Ryuji. <gasps> A crossword puzzle! Chat, you ready? Give me a time, give me a moment to figure it out first, though. What the fuck? This is so vague. This so oh god. A border between air masses is what's underneath of my camera. For those of you, since you guys can't see it. A border between air masses. Um. What's that called? Um. <laughs> fuck. Hold on, give me a minute. I like trying to figure it out first. Um. It's five letters. A border between air masses. Isn't that like the ozone? Ozone? Wait, is there a Z? No. I feel like I should know this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to read chat because I feel like someone has the answer in there and I don't want to read it yet. Hold on, hold on, let me think. A border between air masses. I'm very bad at crossword puzzles, fuck. A border between air masses. I feel like I should know this. <laughs> I should know this word. Hmm. 
calculating. Nope, I don't got it. You're so bad at these two. <sighs> Some of them I get, I feel like I've gotten half of them and then the other half I've needed chat's help. You're horrible at crossword puzzles, bro. I can never get them. Like, what is this? Checked daily? Weather. Oh, weather! Wait, hold on. Maybe that'll help me. Who says I check the weather every day? Bro, I don't go outside literally ever. You think I check the weather every day? So if this is an R, a border between air masses. I'm just process of elimination here. Wait, a front? Wait, this is this is my only idea, a front. Wait, no, I keep <laughs> Oh, we got it, shit! Oh, cool! Oh, sweet! Process of elimination worked! Oh, sweet! That's a sense of accomplishment right there. Oh. All right. I, I never get that. those. I'm so happy. Oh. I am not a meteorologist, no. <laughs> we did get it, though. So, uh, we have four days left until we need to stop Medjed's plan before they leak all of the information. So Futaba better wake up from her fucking coma that she's been in for 20 goddamn days since her palace has been down. Um... Ah, fuck. Sorry, I don't wanna go to you, Ryuji. I really wanna... It's Kawakami Day. Sorry, Kawakami's more important. Oh! Hi! Hi! Aw, oh, our bond's not gonna deepen yet. It's okay. I'll call her anyway. Hi! Becky here! Then I'll head over! <laughs> God, so great. Trophy, thank you for the follow, dude! Can I give her a gift? No. Thank you for using Dang our it. service. She didn't like my last gift that I gave her, so she doesn't. She doesn't want another gift from me. Whatever. Makoto's been troubled. It's been various things. Studying daily life. Do you think we could meet? Yo. Makoto is having a midlife crisis. Quarter life crisis. She's not. Quarter life crisis. What's below quarter life crisis? <laughs> hey, hey! Poor girl. <laughs> Becky. <laughs> Dang. Just rip Becky a new asshole. <laughs> Being a teenager? Yeah, she's just a teenager. She's just having a teenager life crisis. So Makoto is my only option right now. Well, I guess we're hanging out with her. Fifth life crisis, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that. <sighs> Poor Makoto. She's gonna be fine though. So my exam had a practice entrance exam. Oh my class! Oh my god! My class had a practice entrance exam, and my score was significantly lower than last time. I'm concerned. Uh, is Thieves' work distracting you? No, I wasn't sure. I was sure to set aside an appropriate amount of time to study. Actually... The truth is, recently I've started questioning the entire point of my education. What do I stand to gain from getting good grades and living up to the high expectations my sister has set for me? I spoke to Aiko about this matter as well, but the answer hasn't become any clearer. Aiko? You don't remember? Aiko Taiko. Oh, that's her. Oh, okay. 
We asked her about the job she has at the salon in Shinjuku. Anyway, we've been calling each other every so often since we exchanged contact information. Oh, Makoto has friends. Because of those calls, we've actually grown somewhat close. When I voiced my concerns to her, she asked me how I would benefit from going to a top university, but I couldn't come up with a good answer. As for Aiko, her grades are not the best, but she claims that she doesn't even think about that stuff. Apparently, her parents can use their connections to find her a job. Hmm. But isn't that a little irresponsible? It's nice that she can rely on her parents, but this is her life, not theirs. I guess that's just a different way of approaching things. Even at that, her vision of the future is still clearer than mine. Hmm, don't you have goals? Hmm. I used to think doing what others expected of me was the best way forward. I was going to major in law, just like my sister did. And after that, I would simply have headed down whatever path society had made for me. Oh, but... But everything changed when I joined the Phantom Thieves. I've realized now that there are more important things in life than being a prim and proper honor student. Honestly, I would have looked down on Aiko's line of thinking in the past, but I know better now. Makoto's come a long way since this game has started. <laughs> she must have known I was talking about her. Lately, Aiko's been telling me whenever she buys makeup or finds cute new outfit. That reminds me, she asked me the other day what hand cream I use. I sent her a picture and it's apparently the same brand that they use in the nurse's office at school. You're not very ladylike. That's adorable. That's... Not so sure about that. She told me I'm like a middle-aged man in the body of a high school girl. <laughs> Regardless, that stuff works wonders for dry skin and it's great value too. Actually... <laughs> My father used to use it all the time. Did I ever tell you he was a police officer? He detested the corruption in our society and worked tirelessly to bring it to justice. She's mentioned that a few times. Despite the rough exterior, he was extremely gentle deep down. That reminds me. When I was little, I told him I wanted to grow up to be a police officer, just like he was. He was glad to hear me say that, but quick to point out that he didn't want me to do something dangerous. I had completely forgotten about that dream, to be honest. I like a woman in uniform. Oh my god! <laughs> what happens if I say that? I almost want to, but I don't want to. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, <laughs> I can't do it! I don't want to! <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I only barely remembered it just now. Either way, after everything that happened, I have no intention of working with the police. Besides, they're trying to stop the Phantom Thieves. What am I supposed to do? Arrest myself? I think I need to re-examine what my goals for the future are, outside of just plain as studying. Thank you very much. You know, it feels like I remembered something important today thanks to you. I guess you could say my viewpoint has been broadened yet again. I feel like I should have tried to say it. I pussied out. All right. I should have just said it. Hey. When I met Aiko, I realized how narrow my viewpoint really was. I only just recently learned that I that a chemist is now called a chemist. Oh, y yeah, a camisole and a button-down sweater is a card. Oh my god. Why does the same thing have to have multiple names? I guess in the end I'm just becoming more aware of how little I really know. She knows nothing. So please help me keep fighting back against that ignorance. She's so cute. I'll see you later. I almost want to keep hitting on her because it's so cute. <laughs> Not enough guts to say that. I pussied uh, out. I will back. admit, I did pussy out. I need to hang out with Soji, bro. Mm -hmm. What do these guys have to say? It's almost the 21st. Do you really think something will happen? Oh, what were they called? Medgen? You should be really ready for any crisis. That's why I installed all this new security software. Me. I don't need new security software. <laughs> Yo, Emerald Knight, thank you for the 10 bits, man. I appreciate it. Uh, journalist or fortune teller? Dude, I- fortune teller. All the way. Thursday evening. Three days left until Medjed does their shit. Good evening. This is your first time coming to my stand, yes? 
Yo, Winterheart, thank you so much for the tier one sub, dude. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yo, Pog, can we get some peepees in the chat for the brand new sub? You're downloading a 14 gig update right now and you can't you can still watch a stream? Hey, that's good. I wish I had good internet like that. Just kidding, I do. But like, my internet's really unstable right now. A colleague of mine recommended you. He said you can fix my problems, is that right? Yes. Fate is absolute. The thing is, I'm engaged to be married. Next spring, I'll be tying the knot with a friend I've had since all the way back in preschool. <laughs> that's wonderful, congratulations. So what's worrying you? Is it the date, uh, the day of your ceremony or perhaps the location of your honeymoon? Uh, no, it's not like that. The problem is I'm not entirely sure we'll be able to get married. The truth is the president of one of our major business partners has offered me her daughter's hand. What? So this is what it means to be weighed down by societal obligations. Do, uh, do you think it would be bad if I declined that president's offer? Please relax, the divine power will bring us your answer. It's probably gonna be like, you're gonna die. Your life is gonna suck. Is this? It seems you will face financial ruin if you decline. This girl always brings bad news. Does this mean breaking off my engagement is the only option? Um... This may be a good time to demonstrate your powers. This man is bound by the fetters of societal obligation. How should he move forward? Follow your heart. <laughs> I guess anyone could have come up with that answer. <laughs> Sorry. Incidentally, what would you ha what would you say to make him choose his childhood friend? Marriage kills individuality. She'd be sad if you break it off. Thieves may steal her away. What? <laughs> I guess guys would line up to date such an amazing girl. Well, I'm not gonna let that happen. The only one who can make her happy is me. I was a fool for hesitating, even for a moment. I'm gonna marry her. Thank you so much. It's happened again. <sighs> so you have altered fate once more. His fortune now states he will be quite successful. I had questioned your powers, but this is the third time. I have no choice. I must accept that fate can, in fact, be changed. You've proven that to me. <laughs> and as a sign of thanks for showing me the truth, I'll provide a special fortune service for you from now on. Bitch, you better. Temporarily increases money! Hell yeah. All right. She's the best. Um... I never thought it was possible to change destiny. Are you perhaps a psychic? Who knows? Actually, no, such wonderful people do not exist in this world. You may oversee changes in fate, but purposefully altering one's destiny is impossible. That is why I'll forever be a monster. Ooh. That just got deep. I should start packing up for today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. So she's a con artist, but she also... ...considers herself a monster? Two more days! Wow. Dude, I'm nervous! Futaba, she better wake up. If Futaba doesn't wake up, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Let's do it. Sometimes whenever we get to like at the end of these deadlines, at the end of these arcs, I just get very nervous. Like, what if something doesn't happen? What if I did something wrong? Let's do it. What if I get a game over? Okay. So the only person to hang out with is on right now? Everybody else is like dead. Kasumi's in Kichi Joji. What if I just go to the temple instead of hanging out with On? Maybe I should just hang out with On. I've been neglecting her a lot. Uh, all right. I guess I'll hang out with On. Now. Oh yeah. I don't think my bond with On will deepen yet. What? Yeah. Okay. 
Damn it, on. Wait, where does she want to go? Too bad. Wait, I, I, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. To I read it and then I forgot where she wanted to go. Oh yeah. She likes the park. I think I'm supposed to take her to the park. Yeah. Okay. Somewhere popular. She wants to go somewhere popular. I honestly don't remember what Harajuku is. Wait, what is this? Takenoko Street. Okay, let's get going. Okay, she likes that. Hey! Man, do I have to? I like On. I do like her. She's just not on my priority list of, like, confidants to rank up right now. Do you usually come alone? Hmm. Gio was always busy with volleyball, so I didn't get to ask her out very much. And I mean, things are half as fun if you don't have anyone to share that fun with, right? I wonder what all these people are thinking about right now. Some of them might even be sad beneath those happy exteriors, and we'd never even know. Hey, don't you get fired up when you're thinking about helping them out? Ah, never mind. That's not what we're talking about. That couple's in a big fight. The girlfriend's totally going going for the knockout punch. Ooh. Oh, yeah. They were handing these out, so I took one. Are you interested in this stuff? You can have it if you want. I got an idol poster. Oh, thanks. Yusuke? Yusuke for me is rank 5 because I can't rank up Yusuke anymore because my proficiency level needs to be masterful. I don't even know what masterful is. Rank 4 or 5, I don't know, but I'm crying about it. I got cock blocked, man. I can't go on any more dates with Yusuke. Actually, no, I can go on dates with Yusuke, actually, but I can't rank up his confidant level. Uh, Alright, so On wants a girly gift. I have a lot of girly stuff, like lipstick, and I have a Sakura fan, I have a glass vase, uh, a bath of roses, I have a flower basket. Uh, let's give her lipstick. Thanks. Oh, apparently that wasn't the best, okay. To strip for him? Yo, I've offered to strip for Yusuke multiple times. And he's accepted it every time, and then he's like, oh wait, we probably shouldn't do that in public. <laughs> I love him. All right, just a few degrees cooler would do it. Oh God, Soji. Oh boy, Soji. Let's see if we can call oh. Kawakami. Hi. It takes longer for all my laundry to dry up. Um... Hey! I don't know if I want to call <sighs> Kawakami over... Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? Oh! She's the one texting me! Okay. Yes. Okay. Kawakami. Yes. Oh. Come over. Hi! Hi! Hey! Do your laundry? No. Thank you so much. I love you, master. Oh god. <laughs> hey. Oh. I want to provide more services for you. Come and call me. What do you stop? Stop, 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 stop. No, where is this going? Oh god. Um, do I accept it, Chad? Do I be like, yeah, that'd be great. I need those services. <laughs> that would be great. I'm really good at giving massages, meow. I'll massage you anywhere you like. What is this game? Well, how was that? 
<sighs> the thing is, I talked to my boss about picking up more shifts, but he said that he prioritizes younger women. How old are you? You can't ask that, Joker. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, um... How rude. Seriously, he didn't have to say that right to my face. I mean, age has nothing to do with cleaning a room. It has everything to do with other services, though. And I look damn good for my age, if I do say so myself. The girls in my neighborhood always tell me I'm pretty. And the latchkey kid who lives next door always asks me to tie up her hair. Thanks to that, I'm an expert with th these pigtails now. See? So I'm damn good for... Wait, don't tell me I'm the only one who thinks this way. Master! Would you please give me your honest opinion? I look pretty good as a maid, don't I? Uh... Uh... <laughs> yeah... Tom's listening from the kitchen, he's like, it just got full Japanese. Oh, well, that's his game. Oh god. Um Yes, you're great as a maid. <laughs> really? I'm gonna take your word for it. You go out of your way to request me, and all I do is sit here and vent to you. What the heck am I saying? You're my student. My double life as a both a teacher and a maid is so exhausting. Maybe I let my guard down because you know both sides of me. The more I come here, the more I feel like I can relax. Oh boy, I don't like where this is going. As a maid, I'm supposed to help my master relax, but instead I'm the one who's being helped. Sorry. Sorry, I'm such a terrible maid. This is, uh... This is quite the weird relationship going on here, but I really appreciate her confidant level, so w w I need to keep hanging out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Uh, so... I have to confess something. I lied about the reason why I need to make more money. I don't have a sick sister. All that stuff about the fees and charges was a lie, too. I already knew that. Um, why did you lie to me? I didn't already know that. Why did you lie? I can't get requests unless I make up those types of stories. See, you understand now, right? Nothing good will come from involving yourself with a terrible person like me. It's a good lesson learned. Let's just put an end to this. She, I feel like she's doing a cover-up of a cover-up. I don't know. Th this is weird. One day until Medjid! Oh, God. Ooh! Um, um, um. I just wanted to call Becky again, you know. So the doctor wants to hang out? That would, I think, make it rank 10 with her. So are we finishing up the doctor's story? One day until game over. Oh no, don't, 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 don't. I hope I don't get a game over. I hope everything's fine. I did the palace, it should be fine, right? Don't pass out, okay. <laughs> Oh, our bond's not going to deepen yet, so we're not going to get max rank. Please head to the exam. It's okay. I feel like she'd be delight delighted to receive something a desk worker would enjoy. I do have desk worker things. Um... A black mug. Do you think she would like a mug? I, 
think that's the- oh wait, I thought I had more desk things, but maybe I don't. I'll give her a mug. I'm grateful. Oh, nice! Perfect! Yay! So next Bye. time we see the doctor, we're gonna finish up her story and it's gonna be max rank with two people. Oh boy. Well then. You made a promise with Futaba, right? I'm sure she'll pull through. She bitch, she better. I swear to God, Futaba. How is Futaba? Uh, I'm worried about her. Dude, this ain't even just some normal oversleeping stuff. Our deadline's tomorrow. If Futaba's not up by then... But can she really do anything even if she does wake up? Honestly, I'm not sure. Either way, our only option is to put our trust in her. We're so powerless. <laughs> yeah. If she's been asleep all this time, do you think she's having some kind of long dream? Hmm, dreams are said to be the sorting of memories after all. She surely needs ample time to face her troubled past. Her past? I think she's really facing all that shit right now? If that's the case, she would probably need a great amount more time to do so. But considering how she has us wrapped around her finger, I feel as though she'll be able to pull this off. I believe in Futaba. I have to agree with Makoto. Who knows how this might turn out? Oh boy. The night before Medjed and all... This is... this is very stressful. I, I, mm, Shogi practice or Becky? Becky two nights in a row? Becky two nights in a row! She looks mad. I told you that the story about my sick little sister was a lie. You know you're being used for money and you still request me? Who's the master here? <laughs> God, these answers. I want to know more. What good would that do? You really are one strange kid. I'm a mediocre teacher and a mediocre maid. And yet you listen to everything I have to say. You're the complete opposite of me. I don't even pretend to uh, properly attend to my students' needs. So... The money is actually an apology. There was a student named Takase at the school I taught at before Shujin. Takase-kun was considered a problem child since he had the lowest grades and skipped school a lot. So I, would put, I was put in charge of guiding him, or rather pushing him to transfer to another school. But when I got to know him, I realized that he wasn't a problem child after all. In fact, he was working several part-time jobs just so he could cover his living expenses. His relatives took him in whenever his parents died, so he had to make money to support himself. He couldn't attend school every day, and he was motivated to study, and that's why I decided to tutor him. After I started working with him, his grades started to improve slowly but surely. But I was told that it was wrong to only help certain students and not others. Then a strange rumor about him being a juvenile delinquent began to circulate. And on top of that, I got called into the principal's office. He threatened me, saying that it, I'd be dismissed if I continued to tutor Takase-kun. How terrible! Yeah, but you could say the same about me. I got scared of losing my job and of, of having rumors spread about me, so I canceled our upcoming tutoring sessions. Takase-kun was on his way to one, uh, to one of his part-time jobs when I told him. Out of all the days, it was New Year's Eve, and he had been, it had been pouring down rain all day, and he died in a car crash. Oh my god! That story just went full 180. He sounded so depressed when I told him that I couldn't tutor him anymore. Well, uh, but then he said that that was no big deal because he had to work anyway, so I wouldn't feel bad. If only I had kept my promise to him. It's not your fault. Takase-kun was exhausted from the tutoring sessions and working at all of his part-time jobs. His guardians blamed me for the accident, saying it was all my fault that he was so tired. 
They said that they were going to sue me and take the issue to the media and board of education. And I would have been accused of a crime if it were, if, but if word had gotten out, the school would have been done for. I wanted to continue teaching no matter what, so I ended up paying them the apology money so that they wouldn't sue me or anything, or say anything. You okay with that? It was my indecisiveness that backed him into a corner and I blame myself every day. I know paying them isn't going to bring him back, but it's the only way that I can atone for my sins. It seems like his guardians are satisfied with our arrangement, so... See? Nothing good ever comes from getting involved with me. I have to keep my distance to avoid hurting others so I don't meddle in my students' lives. I've been coming here because of a random twist of fate, but we should say goodbye as well. What about our deal? I want to see you again. That sounds so weird. Hi, DJ. How are you? What about our deal? Becky. You're really not the type to back down, are you? I guess we're in this together now. Now that I told you you're now that I told you the whole story, right? Yeah. I'll see what I can do about the other teachers so you can get free periods with them too. I look forward to continuing our relationship. What? She's going to give me more free time in school? Becky OP as fuck! All right. Holy shit! She's gonna save me so much time. Girl, I love you. Alrighty, time to clean. I'm gonna put up more energy into it than usual today. Hi, Mythic. This shabby, I mean, chickness of this room is truly its charm, so let's keep it as is. What? Excuse me? You want to say that again to my face, Kawakami? Thank you so much! Is this Master? Thank you for using our service today. Oh, that is so soul-draining. I'm just gonna talk normally. No point making sales calls this way in anyways. By the way, I wanted to ask, but do you live in the cafe right now? There's always this nice curry smell around the place. Do you get to eat that place's curry every day? What do you mean? Of course I live in the cafe. You literally have to walk through the cafe to get to my room. You do this literally every time. Curry is all I eat. Wow, lucky you. Meanwhile, I'm over here with discount side dishes from the supermarket. Uh, but I'm not jealous. Nope, no envy over here. Sorry, I can't seem to shake this cough. I've been so busy lately. But I'll always be ready and waiting for Master to request me. Okay, don't stay up too late. Night. <laughs> Kawakami, Master of the 0 to 180. This girl got zero chill. So today is the day that Futaba needs to save our asses and do something about Medjed. And if she doesn't, we're fucked. The plot is gonna thicken. Today is the day. I'm excited because I want the plot to move on and I have no idea where it's going. It's game over day. Don't say that. <laughs> no, I don't want it to be a game over. Isn't today our deadline for dealing with Medjed? Yeah. Futaba's still asleep too. This won't be good. Soji, wake up your goddamn daughter. Hey. How's Futaba? Same as always. She's still sleeping? Wake her up! Today's the day Wakaba passed. I do this every year. Here, I've got a cup for you too. Taba reminds me so much of her mother. She's a smart girl. Doesn't just go with the flow, either. Wakaba, your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? That reminds me. 
You saw me talking to that prosecutor, and I mean, that woman in the suit, right? Sai Nijima? I remember you were real bothered by it. She might come back, so I guess I should tell you about it. That woman was trying to get information on Wakaba's research out of me. That's what we heard in the palace. You don't need to know what the research was about. Just know there was some trouble around it. Obviously, Wakaba got dragged into that as well. Now, they ruled her death a suicide. And I've got my doubts. Doubts? Could she have been killed? Supposedly, there were people who wanted to take her research and use it for their own benefit. Spicy. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't have a lick of evidence. That's why I haven't told Futaba any of this. I don't want to cause her any more trouble. It sounded like she had suspicions of her own based on what she said in the palace. Still, there's one thing I regret. It was right before Wakaba died. She told me, I think I might die. I brushed it off thinking it was just a joke. But if I had just taken her seriously... <sighs> That's another reason I took Futaba in. Redemption. She went through such horrible things. Those heartless adults just yelled at the poor girl. Hey, how do you heal emotional scars? They'll heal on their own. I agree. I'm waiting for it to happen, but... Futaba? Oh! She's awake! Oh! Pog! It's cold. Uh, uh, huh? You can't sell this. Uh, no, no, she's out mind. of her room! How, how did you get here? She walked. Uh, I walked? <laughs> You're okay? Was that bad? Th that's not it. I'm just shocked to see you out of the house. Uh, I'm sorry oh. I worried you. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. By the way, what's the date today? Uh, it's, uh, it's the 21st. She's only been I asleep for like 20 I'm goddamn days. Something. Uh, you know, the cleanse. Remember now, Majed. Let's take care of it now. Come. Thank you, Futaba! Guys, we got saved from a game over. We did it. Thank you, Futaba. You're the best. The ATMs have been hacked into. Ooh. my turn to help out. <laughs> Medjed. Now how do we cook them? It's up to you. Roger that. Hey Futaba, we don't have much time left. Are you sure you could do this? The, the kitty talked? Oh yeah, it's her first is time. Is this a dream? I'm going back to sleep. No! It is not a dream. Get up! Say something! He's a talking cat. Right. <laughs> now hurry it up. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's get cracking. You're just tapping away over there. Are you sure this will work? Mm -hmm. Hey, Futaba. <laughs> She's in her own world. I don't think she can hear me. Talk about intense concentration. This place is so messy. I'm surprised she could focus at all. Let's take Futaba. out her trash. You should really clean your room a bit. Huh. <laughs> She's not listening. Oh well. Just waiting around is boring. Let's clean the place up. Joker is way too good for this world. Dang! Whoa. It looks a little better now, don't you think? Well, Futaba, we're done on our end. Are you finished yet? We really just cleaned her room. 
She can't hear a word I'm saying. <sighs> Guess we'll just have to keep waiting. Uh. <sighs> I'm done. Uh, what's up? What did Something she happened? do? It's finished. Finished? What is? <gasps> it's so clean. Why? She didn't even notice I was we cleaning. We cleaned it. Anyway, is it true? Did you really take care of Damn, magic? girl. I handled them, and someone else handled my room. I don't understand, but this is good. Futaba? Hey, Futaba, what's wrong? <sighs> She's sleeping. Well, it looks like it's been taken care of. I guess we should get home and sleep, too. She does have an entire server wreck. That surprised me, too. Damn, girl. Holy shit. Well? Are the police taking action? Ta they're ignoring it? Seriously? So, uh, what's happening now? So, Futaba's awake? Awesome. And has Medjed been taken care of? Uh, more importantly, how's Futaba doing? She's in her futon. She's back asleep. Seriously? She must have been exhausted. I can't say I blame her at all. If Medjed's been affected, it will surely make the news. That should be enough to confirm whether or not the deed's been done. Then why don't we all watch the news together? Yes, we should meet up at LeBlanc as usual. See you tomorrow, guys! We should be in the clear now, right? I hope so. Stay in for today? Fuck you, Morgana. Nice. Mm. <laughs> I can still go down here. So is Soji still here? Okay, so we could clean. We could also make curry, possibly. Hmm. Maybe I'll make curry tonight. What do you want to do? It's either that or I level up proficiency to hang out with Yusuke. Maybe I should level up proficiency to hang out with Yusuke. Okay. Perma pick? A tool that can open any number of locked chests? I need 10 things of liquid mercury. Where do I get liquid mercury? Whoa. There's some new stuff in here. I didn't even know this stuff was in here. I need four nice. or five, I don't know. Either way. Oh! I got an extra one. Well then. I wonder if that was because of uh, the fortune tellers thing? Might be. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. What's up? What's up? 
Hi, Ryuji. So Yusuke, hi. Uh, don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. The Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. You all smirking about Duh. something great happened well stop it you're gonna drive away all my customers we're just laughing sojiro after the commercial break we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events but there ain't any customers ryuji can it my customers are on summer vacation too oh crap i just realized our break's almost over Oh, I have to go back to there school. There's still 10 days left. I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futaba-chan alone. Some things still concern me too. Like that research. There's so many things. Oh, did you just get up? Good morning. <gasps> it seems she's cautious of us. She's hiding behind hey, Joker. Uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. Wow. Soji, bro. The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. That fucking asshole. I hate him. <sighs> What do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. Uh... Oh no. I don't know what's gonna happen from here. So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura, and Mejid was in turn defeated by her real world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other metaverse user that Matarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? How self-centered of you. <laughs> the Phantom Thieves tamper with people's hearts without asking consent. How is that different? <laughs> Well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? 
Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. This is so weird. All right. I don't get it. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will Isn't be Isn't that serious. the director? I'm sure you understand no. why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? His name rings a bell. Thank you guys for all the follows, I appreciate it. A cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves at the castle or the walking ATMs. Hmm. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only the always spoils. The environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, abuse of cognitive science can he lead to like death. like the director of a company you're working for. to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey, Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? Uh... She is quite difficult. Uh... That smell. Come on, no fair! Hey, can I snag a bite? Meanie. <laughs> Why don't we take a short break? <laughs> She's so awkward! <laughs> I've been thinking, even if Futaba <laughs> is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Medjed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Um, what do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep, it was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the Hacker of Justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Uh, so Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? Uh. You should have told us from the start, Futaba. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Ah! Just like that? Okay. This may even ensure our investigation of the mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Futaba-chan sure is unique. Girl! Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very <sighs> least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. What should we do? Let's get to know her. How? First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. I see. We do have the time she's the best. for the summer vacation. I, I have no reason tomorrow. to think that she's the best Let's right go now. To the beach. There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea. I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. 
I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else depending on when they're free. Okay! Can I really do this? Good luck! <laughs> Why me? What, Morgana doesn't like being pet? Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. How can I stay calm about this? Fucking a catchy. I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And on top of all that, Please the stop Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their so side. Doing so many soft spoiler Don't stuff, it's annoying. Laugh. Measured was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. Hmm. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. Uh, Akechi will one day suck my massive pee-pee, I swear. Oh, Futaba's in our chat now! Hey, I heard some people talking about us on the train home. They were saying how awesome they think the Phantom Thieves are. I've heard things too, I've become, uh, it's become a huge topic of conversation. To be fair, the casualties from a medjet attack would have been massive. It's no surprise that they revere us for preventing it. Ooh. There's no for real. Bro, we haven't had a for real in literally 10 hours of gameplay. I am shocked. Like, I don't think Ryuji's the same person anymore. It's really all thanks to Alibaba. You were a great help. It was nothing. Oh, that reminds me. Remember that stuff about ATMs and banks just stopping? That wasn't Medjet, was it? Nope, that was totally separate. So people were overreacting to mere coincidence? Either that or those rumors were never true to begin with. Hmm, you seem to be quite talkative in these conversations. Is that so? I'll shut up then. <laughs> she talks in emojis and shit, oh my god. She's like, oh, she's a true introvert. She really is. She just can't talk to people in person. She's all about texting and stuff. Is this really going to be okay? I'm worried about how things will be from now on. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. <laughs> Training Kutama is going to be a lot more, a lot of work. More than stealing someone's heart. Woo. I'm glad I'm not the only one who, I mean, why would, okay, you would be fucking crazy if you played this game at this point and liked Akechi. There is no reason to like this guy. He's literally going to rat your ass out. He's too smart. Ugh. Yo, coconut, thank you for the follow. <laughs> your emojis kill me. Oh, uh, yes, only Yusuke, exactly. He's not that cute. Have you seen Yusuke? Yusuke's pretty cute. <laughs> now that's my Phantom Thieves! I knew they'd pull it off! This definitely proves the justice of the Phantom Thieves! Are you sure? There's no doubt about it! I mean, they took Medjed down! Even the guys who had been criticizing the Phantom Thieves basically have to accept them now. The news has been spreading like wildfire, too! I'll give it an extra boost on the site as well. I bet the approval rating will be through the roof tomorrow! Look forward to it! Why is he, of all people, getting excited about this? Well, the news really did draw a Mishima's lot of attention. Mishima's a precious boy. I can't wait to see what happens. Oh God, Mishima. Nice. Hello, Mystica. How are you? Oh boy. Oya is thirsty for info. Aren't you always? 
I really should hang out with Soji bro. I've been neglecting him so much. You got time right now? Our bond is still not good. We're only like rank four with Soji bro. Next time then. You got time right now? I really do want to hang out with them. Not the only thing Oya is thirsty for. She's also thirsty for them sweet dank drinks. I oh, know. I really don't mind it, but keep yourself in check, okay? Hey, hey! I do want to work for Lala Chan. Is this weather a result of climate? But this bitch just keeps bugging me. Let's go, let's go! Wait, did she just say Operation Secret Lovers? Oh god, please! I'm everybody's boyfriend! Oh, there's a cute little ship over there and a factory over there! Oh, isn't this just wonderful? Going on a date is so much fun. Oh god. Yeah, totally! I'm so glad that you're such an attentive boyfriend! Hmm. Then again, I don't think the chief would come in all this way just to spy on me. Well, I told him you're my boyfriend, so I guess I'll just use this as evidence. So come on, act like a boyfriend, but don't forget to keep feeding me the info, too. I bet my mom would cry if I went back to the country. Thanks so much. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, no! Igor! Your rehabilitation is going really well. You're gonna meet your foe in Memento soon. In, in the other- in the metaverse, you're gonna meet him soon. I hope you're prepared. Our master would like a word- It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. Yes, Dad. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. <laughs> Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. He just laughed whenever I asked. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down. Otherwise, you may get swept off your feet. Bruh. I just realized that he blinks. He does, yeah. All the characters do in their like little portraits. Alright. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. I'm really confused. He doesn't answer and just sweeps it away by advancing your confidant. That's all he does. Like, bruh. My Akechi rank is uh, as high as it can be because every time he texts me, I hang out with him. I think it's like five or six. I hang out with him every time he texts me. Begrudgingly, but I do it. Because I feel like it's okay. important. I have a certain hunch that tells me it's important. But chat, you better not fucking say anything. Or I'll ban your ass. Because I have a feeling. But this guy is like the key to all my problems. Makoto and Yusuke are all are scheduled for today. I haven't seen them. What happened to them? Futaba, can you open up? Open what? The front door. Why? Won't you come too? We're in front of Futaba's house. 
I want to meet here. You want to meet here and not at LeBlanc? Isn't that more comforting? You never mentioned this. It would be nice if you could hurry down soon. It's scorching hot out here. You demon. Um. She's got a corner Futaba. That's how we hang out with her, get her to talk. School's coming back soon, and I have to, like, what the what fuck? Is that supposed to be? Don't worry about it. Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? You can't tell me that Yusuke is not the goddamn best. <laughs> I love him. What do you plan on doing? <laughs> I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. <laughs> that is the basis of true communication, after all. Yes, you must be well versed in speaking when you are student council president. <laughs> Think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. She makes it sound like organic ones like organic people. That wasn't exactly what I meant. Uh, let's try a different topic. How about the weather? I heard that this heat wave is showing no sign of stopping. Makoto's trying so hard. Then I'll, I haven't been out. Oh, right. Makoto's getting overwhelmed. Talk about computer it, stuff. This is odd. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? Actually, yeah, what has he been doing? Oh, superb. <laughs> Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. They're all mixed up, Yusuke! You can't do that! <laughs> my children! What, what have you done to my children? <laughs> <laughs> but they appear to be quite shoddily made. <laughs> They're from Phoenix Rangers Neo Featherman. No, yellow and pink's heads and red's been hacked to bits. You escaped the way you came. We just did. Fault. Inari. You know Inari Sushi, the tofu <laughs> things foxes eat in the old stories. What kind of fox doesn't know that? Inari. Oh, they were in the perfect oh, poses God. too. It was so much work getting them set up just right. <laughs> you wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari. Uh, how dare you say that to me, of all people? <laughs> Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. <laughs> it's just so good. Yeah. <laughs> I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic oh, scene God. you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Oh my God. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Huh? Oh. Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. It seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. Oh. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes. When do we go to Yusuke's she room? That's what I want to know. To leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. <laughs> Don't set the bar so high. Give it a try, Futaba. Oh, I can't stand this gung-ho way of doing things. I've left Tamara to on and Ryuji. He'll be there as well, so you'll be okay. Oh my Can God. I wear my mask? I think it would be best if you didn't. 
There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. I'm dying. Boom boom. Don't talk about the other games? Yeah, please don't talk about the other games. It'd be much appreciated. Because I am going to play them. And I haven't played anything in Persona ever. It's my first experience. Dude, people are so pumped. They're talking all about how the fan thieves took down Medjed. Mishima's website has a shit ton of comments flooding in too. The news coverage has been pretty insane as well. Yes, they have only spoken of the Phantom Thieves for the entirety of today. We're, we've been getting attention all over the city. So how's the one who helped take helped us take down Medjed down doing? Butaba-chan? My Phoenix Rangers almost met their demise. <laughs> it was Yusuke's fault. We were just talking. Anyway, things didn't go perfectly, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Tomorrow's goal will be to spend time in somebody else's room. Futaba is a difficult personality to handle. Good luck, you two. Shut it, Inari. Oh, is that Yusuke's like permanent name? All right, it's our turn next. See you tomorrow, Futaba. We have so much to talk about. Oh, I can't wait. Lady on and Ryuji I didn't want to call Yusuke out. Me. But I guess we'll see what they can do. I couldn't. He's my boyfriend, man. I can't just, you know, sell out my boyfriend. I can't do that. That's illegal. <laughs> Journalist Chihaya. Oh, I gotta go to her. Tuesday night. I don't think I need to do anything. Let's hang out with her. I'm shocked that Yusuke still has his hands messing with her figures. Um, Yusuke is going to do whatever Yusuke wants. I'm going to shrivel up. I placed my shop on the street so I could see people walking by, but I'm about to melt. Well, then. Oh, our bond's not going to deepen yet? Well, too bad. We're going to hang out with her yes. anyway. I feel like she'd be delighted, delighted to receive something that's the latest trend. So she's trendy, right? What would she like? Maybe she would like... Maybe a, a maybe a Sakura fan. It's the only thing I can think of to give her. Oh, a star mirror for a spiritual someone. Yeah, but she doesn't. I don't think she wants that. I don't know. either the star mirror or the soccer fit. You know, let's give her the star mirror. I don't know. Thank you. Oh! Hell Goodbye. yeah. Star mirror, that's it. Hell yeah. It's like I, it's basically like, oh my God. We went up 20% on the fan site. Holy shit. Hmm. You seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There are no customers. Yo! We're here! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry we're late. We were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Well, summer vacation's the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Yeah! And eating snacks is the best part of that. You're gonna get fat, you know. Uh, shut it! Hey, where's Futaba? You know you what? I ship well on and Ryuji. Just saying. 
Shit freaked me out. Uh, hey, you Futaba? Yep. Welcome. Why are you wearing that? Habit. Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Sheesh. Looks like today is going to be another noisy day. For real, it was freaking amazing. Finally! Oh my Wait, god. You don't believe a word I'm saying, do ya? Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. But what was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. <laughs> Plus, popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that stuff to other people. Damn! I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. I do. Yep, I'm not getting married anytime soon. Can we please talk about something else? Wow, sorry, Morgana. You know, Futaba's fine having conversations. Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is, but if this is it, I'm happy. Oh. I totally thought you were going to be some weirdo, but <laughs> I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm relieved, too. Ryuji's a bro. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? How about we have her try helping around the cafe? That's perfect! It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. Eep! Nope, nope, nope! Eep! Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode! You don't have Eep! to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back. Uh, oh. Don't push yourself. I... I... I can do it. I'll show you. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Uh, you're all gonna pay for this someday. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Gotta put a ring on Yusuke? Uh, yep. I do really want to. But I have to be proficient first. <gasps> A popularity is through the roof. You guys gotta hear this. This cute chick said she wants to go out with a phantom thief. But not you specifically, huh? Not surprised. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Damn! She says it not once, but twice. Futaba, holy shit. You don't gotta say it over text, too! What in the world were you all doing today? Girl talk at LeBlanc. Or more like chatting and snacking, really. So she's completed her objective for the day. Next up is practice going out in front of people. Wait, what? You'll be fine. Crystal will spend time with you the whole- will be with you the whole time. We want to ease you into it, so your first test will be helping out at LeBlanc. Only me and Futaba tomorrow. We have a one-on-one -on -one date. We got it. Thanks for your help. Hey. This is a cute character development. We're just spending time with Futaba trying to get her to be like... Okay. Normal. I'm trying to help out her social skills. I keep ignoring Hifumi, but like, I really like hanging out with Becky. She got some great confidant shit, but so does uh, Hifumi too. But I usually always choose Becky oh. over Hifumi. I'm sorry. Hi. Hi. Even on a hot night, I'll help you cool down your stress. Oh, it's you. It's so hot. Your house doesn't have air conditioning, does it? Oh well, I'll endure it if you're gonna request me. Oh, we're not gonna. Mm. We'll do it anyway. Hey. How did you get out of the potential romance lock-in for the girl? For Takaimi, you mean, Kayla? We had, yeah, we almost confessed our love for the doctor, but I refused because, I mean, I like her, but Yusuke. I'm trying to go gay for Yusuke, man. I'm trying to max Becky. 
She seems to save me a lot of time and I like her. But we're not gonna then I'll head over. rank up this time, but it's okay. There was someone who was like, hey, you're not in love with me, are you? I think that was Takaimi who said that earlier. I'll see you later then. Hmm. Well then. Today's the day we're having Futaba try and help out at the cafe, right? This will be a stressful turn of events. Hopefully not. <laughs> oh, I hope we're gonna be okay. Do you want me to let Futaba help out around the shop? Yep. But I've never had her do anything like that before. Is she gonna be okay? Oh, I forgot to raise the time. Oh, the, the 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 thing. Oh no, for real. Hold up. Sorry. There we go. I'll be there for her. This isn't the same as taking care of a cat, you know. <laughs> Don't worry. I did graduate middle school last year. I'll be fine if I just think of this as my first summer job of high school. She's well, that young? In that case, uh, how about you wash the She's... dishes? Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? I don't think her age has ever been revealed. Hey, are you alright? The usual boss, extra strong. Uh, sure She's thing. 14? Keep an eye on Futaba for me. Girl be hacking. What? At her age? Jesus Christ, Japan. Yo, Curl, thank you so much for rating and like hanging out. I really do appreciate it, man. I hope you have a great night. She's the youngest of the Phantom Thieves. She's, uh, uh, she's really young. I'm very surprised. Uh, don't freak out. She a new part timer. Man, smooth as always. What number Bond girl is this, boss? It's not like that. You usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural you'd want someone younger sometimes. It's like the Guatemala Peaberry coffee. Its acidic sweetness is akin to a breath of fresh air. Sorry, we're serving a blend today. Hey, snap out of it. Hurry up and bring him the coffee before it gets cold. <gasps> Yo, here's your coffee. When in the world did she... Hey, Futaba, haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? And... And be more polite when you're bringing something to a customer. <laughs> hey, here's your coffee. Oh, good. Sir. <laughs> Thanks. Did you see? I did my job right! You did great. Huh, turns out this is pretty easy. <laughs> to think Futaba go out and talk to a customer herself. The mask aside, I'm impressed. Looks like people really can change. Sojiro, want me to bring coffee to more customers? N mask off first. Oh, I'll think about it. <laughs> How did she sneak that in? Girl got methods. I'm starting to think she has more than one. Did anyone here sh uh, uh, share information about our real identities? Like hell we do that. Why the question? I overheard someone in the city saying they are our acquaintance. Talk about false rumors. But hey, at least we're famous enough to have rumors about us. We, even, we might even break into the news online or maybe TV. Yeah, if we aim bigger, if we get caught. Well, yeah. By the way, how did today go? I served coffee to customers! She did good. You better get used to it fast. You can't be a phantom thief if you're scared of people. I'll try my best. We're on a roll! And then there's Ryuji. It's like he doesn't have a care in the world. He's gonna get in trouble somewhere down the line if he keeps this up. He definitely will. He's gonna get in trouble. Yo, gamer boy, welcome. How you doing, man? Man, 
again. Oh boy, how's my plant? Nice. Still looking good. You have a request. Uh, I mean, I guess so. I have nothing else to do tonight. Honestly, I still believe in the existence of fate. I mean, the fortunes I see have an extremely high accuracy rate, but I suppose my divine power isn't completely absolute, huh? You only realized you want to test it again? Well, of course, but I'm not sure that would I'm sure that would only end up in disappointment. You know, I've wondered in the past whether fate really can be changed. But I always concluded that it was something beyond our control. Almost like the laws of nature, eternal, impossible to defy. And yet, there exist people like you who can ignore those laws and impose their own upon uh, their own will upon the world. Um. How can I become one of those people? Strengthen your will. My will? Do you mean to say I'm too easily influenced by my own fortune telling? The city keeps finding ways to subvert my expectations. There was somebody like you back in my hometown in the country. It was a small traditional town deep in the mountains populated almost entirely by older people. That sounds peaceful. During the winter, it's practically inaccessible due to all the snow. That alone should tell you volumes. The youth there always are forced to be strictly obedient to their elders at will. Not explicitly, of course. And there's a small shrine in the center of the village. There, I... It doesn't matter anymore. I left that place to come to this city. It means nothing to me now. After I arrived in Tokyo, I found comfort in this stone. It came from someone who dared to care about me, even though I'm just a monster with strange powers. That's why I sell holy stones. I want to help those who suffer from inescapable fates similar to my own. However... But now I wonder if they really do much of anything. Well, mine broke! Ugh, so mad. After all, you managed to change the destinies of my clients without one. Is it truly possible to alter fate with nothing more than mere words, attitude, and passion? If that's the case, I won't be needing this. I'm going to confront fate head on with my own strength. Although the chairman would be really mad if he found out. The chairman? Oh, um. Don't worry about that. Just forget about it. Unless you want to suffer my curse, that is. Anyway, if fate can be changed, maybe even mine can be corrected, right? It didn't work for me before, but perhaps this time... I think it'll work. <laughs> I look forward to our continued exchange, at least until I can manage to change my fate. Oh, and I'll make sure to put some extra effort into my fortune telling for you. She's coming through. She's coming through. All right. Just gotta keep ranking her up. Well then. Until next time. The Holy Stone only cost it us like a dollar. <laughs> only a hundred thousand yen. It's fine. It's totally fine. I'm calling because I wanted to thank you once again for earlier. Thank you so much for today. To be honest, I'm still feeling a bit lost. But talking to you about everything is helping me feel a little bit better. I'm glad to hear that. I guess, in, a, in the same sense, Becky is also pretty expensive, too, to level. Like, Chihaya has, like, the upfront money of 100,000 yen, but Becky, we have to call every time, and it's 5,000 yen every time. So she's also pretty pricey. In the end, probably costs you about, like, 70, 80,000 yen. That's pretty pricey. Got some expensive confidants over here. Yo, Rob, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Bruno. I appreciate it. Hog. Thank you. That Akechi is all talk, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Give that man a bad rep. Do we not have anything planned? Imagine having a day without plans. 
I'm out shopping with Makoto. We'll head over when we're done. Honestly, I wanted to bring Futaba along with us. We can't just take her out into crowds like that, though. That'd be way too soon. Sometimes drastic measures are necessary. Such spiky words. You know you'll need to do this someday, right? Actually, Queen's clothes have lots of spikes, too. They'd probably pierce my hand if I touched them. I have honestly considered that possibility as well! <laughs> Yusuke, come on. Not you too, Yusuke! Hey, this sounds like fun. I want to join in. We're talking to Futaba. This doesn't involve you. Note, An is cold to Ryuji. Don't take notes on this. Anyway, look forward to come, us coming over. My heart's pounding. Hmm. Hmm. They're having a girl's day. A catchy is a sketchy. He is. I've spent a lot more on Becky. I had at least like two or three calls with her, I think, extra that haven't ranked up. So 50k would be the minimum, but still, she's she can be pretty pricey. Today's the fourth day already. You getting a little better at dealing with other people? Uh, I don't know. Can't really tell. People cannot change their deep-seated habits that easily. Well, let's just say you've made some progress for now. No! Stop it! You're gonna blow my cheeks off! Man, those girls Look at her evil late. smile! Who do you think they are making oh, us wait like this? Oh god, it's so creepy! Uh, Stop! Please excuse us. Apologies for the lateness. We were looking at multiple items and weren't sure which to choose. Looking? Looking at what? Yes, we are a keeping a for real count. I reset it at the beginning of chart. every stream. The swimsuit? Oh, a swimsuit? You don't have one, do you? No, but... Okay. Let's have you try it on right now, then. No, 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 now? <laughs> you can't go to the beach if you don't have a good-fitting swimsuit. We don't have much time left, you know. Uh, but, um... I want to see uh, Futaba in a swimsuit! You know what'll happen if you try and look, right? Oh, wow, it's perfect. I'm amazed you were able to eyeball it with such accuracy on. I know, right? There we go. It's on. What the? This barely covers anything. That's normal for a swimsuit. Now, we just need to push these a little more this way. Yeah. Push. <laughs> Are you supposed to move them with that much Of course, force? Ryuji would pick up on that. Now put some oomph into this stuff. <laughs> there. Good to go. Whoa, even I'm impressed. I wonder what they're doing up there. They're having her try on the swimsuit, right? What else could they be doing? Futaba in his swimsuit, hmm? I suspect that would make a great painting. <laughs> Perhaps we should ask Makoto about it. <laughs> Re what? Yusuke is not a perv! Sounds great. Don't do it. It would really suck if she thought all of us were to blame for that pervy shit. Oh, come you guys on! Are such children. What's with all the it's ruckus art. upstairs? Something about a swimsuit? Yeah, we're going to the beach pretty soon, so they're trying some swimsuits out. Futaba's going to the beach. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see her take that much interest in going outside again. Oh, then. It seems we're good to go with the swimsuit. <laughs> All flattery aside, I think it looks really great. Now you just gotta get rid of those round shoulders. Come on, straighten out your back. R right. She might be some trouble, but I hope she can make some great memories with you guys. Soji genuinely seems a lot happier. I'm really happy for him. We've got swimsuits! We're totally ready to hit the beach! All that's left is for Futaba to, for, to prepare herself mentally. I can do this. I can... I think. Maybe. So you're not confident. Shut up, Inari. Ah, it's finally starting to feel like summer vacation. Still, I've been thinking about some things now that matters have calmed down a little bit more. Like what? 
The psychotic breakdowns, cognitive science, and the one in the black mask. I wonder what they want. I doubt it's anything good. That said, we don't have enough information right now. We'll need to investigate more. I'll help out too. Can we talk about this some other time? I'm so damn sleepy. Okay, good night then. Futaba-chan, good luck tomorrow too. Everybody's so precious. Nice. Another Becky call. Oh my god. She calls me so often now. She, uh... I've never had Becky call me this much. Hi. Hi. Hey. The smooth jazz Thank soundtrack so bust in. This soundtrack is the best. I can't stop listening to it like on repeat every day. It's a problem. Uh-oh, Kawakami's sick. She's gonna give listen. me the corona. You know how you listened to my story the other day? You listened to my secret. I've been feeling more at ease since then. I've never been able to tell anyone about it, so I figured I should actually do some housekeeping today to say thanks. Sorry, I need to take a break. Give me back my money. Want to rest a bit? I'm so touched to hear that you care for my well-being, master. Uh, I'm at my limit. So exhausted. I can't stop coughing. Have you seen a doctor? I'd like to, but... I don't have the money to cover the cost of a medical exam. Just kidding! I just wanted to slack off a bit. I mean, there's nothing left for me to cut from you, so the truth comes out, you know? Now that I think about it, I'm glad that you're the one who found out about me being a maid. Are you going to be alright in this dusty room? And have you been eating well? You need to eat fresh vegetables and none of that instant stuff. Vitamins are super important. You're gonna tear- you're gonna turn out like me if you don't take care of yourself. I guess I should get more sleep. I feel all achy. Takase-kun's guardian said they need more money, so I had my boss give me more shifts. I had to beg it, beg him for it, though, but... Are you okay? Oh, it's fine. Nothing you should Besides, worry about. I'm, uh... I feel more at ease now that I have someone who knows about what I'm going through. I'm talking about you. I don't know how to feel about her. Still... I can't tell if it's an act or like she legitimately has a crush on one of her students. It's awkward. Allows you to also request Kawakami to make curry or infiltration tools for you. All right. What? I'll see you later then. That's broken. Mm. Courier infiltration tools. I'm pretty good on infiltration tools. I just need a lot of curry. You can never have enough SP. I guess it's a good thing I splurged at the doctor's. I finally got some cough medicine that works. Hey, you gotta do some cleaning and ventila uh, ventilating on your own even when I'm gone, okay? If you neglect stuff like that, it makes you more likely to get sick. Uh, how are you feeling though? I mean, I'm tired, but that's nothing new. Wait a minute, we're supposed to be talking about you. Don't change the subject. Oh, but if you do get sick, I'll look after you anytime. So please don't forget to request me. Ugh, finally get rid of the cough, and now I get these headaches and shivers. Times like these are why we invented energy drinks. I just gotta chug one and push through. Okay, see you later. Oh god, she is going to get hospitalized. She's just gonna keep going this way. So what should we do today? Let's see... Wanna eat together? You know, like how we had Hot Pot that one time. That may be a good idea. It'll be a great way to strengthen our intra-squad friendships. As long as it's with you, Skei! I... I can do that! 
Okay, I'll take a cola and an omelet with rice. Oh, and make that a large, please. I'd like the same. Do you have, do you have the money? I can't just call out Yusuke like that. Wait, but he can definitely eat all that. Yusuke's stomach is like fucking bottomless. Of course I can. There is no doubt in my mind. Dude, you're missing the point here. We're supposed to be helping Futaba, not stuffing our faces. <laughs> I want the same. Extra large. Uh, I ate loads. This game always makes me hungry. Damn, Futaba, I'm impressed. Indeed, your appetite is quite nice to see. I much prefer that to women who don't eat a lot. You better not be hitting on me. <gasps> yeah, <I'm> Yusuke. <laughs> Sojiro, help me! Will you stop that? So does this mean <gasps> our training's going good? <laughs> I, oh god, I love the relationship between Yusuke and Futaba. I'm actually kind of jealous of it. <laughs> I'm like, I want Yusuke to talk to me. But they're too busy flirting with each other. Stop that. Futaba taking my man. I feel like I feel like I have competition. Take notes, Yusuke likes girls that eat a lot. I don't eat a lot though. Fuck. Alright, looks like I gotta change my appetite if I'm uh if I'm gonna go gay for Yusuke and he likes that sort of thing, you know? Uh, I think so. Let's go with that then. Hey, let me make you guys some after meal coffee. It's on me. Oh, Thank you. Soji bro. I want iced cocoa. You can't handle bitter stuff either, right? Iced cocoa sound good? Yeah, definitely. Extra cold, please. I don't think we've ever had a lunch this lively. Soji bro, so happy. It's lots of fun. Just to be sure to eat porridge after hot pots with extra parsley. Don't forget about the extra parsley. Hey, what do you think? We should do uh, a beat. What do you think we should do about the beach trip? Does it look like she can go soon? Well, she has started to talk a lot more. She's made great progress compared to how she was at the beginning. Thoughts, Futaba? Will you be able to do this tomorrow, perhaps? Tomorrow? That's too soon. I want to prepare myself. When is good for you? I should be good if it's the day after tomorrow, I think. We'll go the day after tomorrow, then. Just let us know if you aren't up for it, Futaba, okay? It's all right. I can do this. Looks like we know when we'll actually finish up now. The beach is finally within reach. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha! So funny, Morgana. Aww. Soji, bro. Okay. I need to. I feel like I really need to. The only reason I want to rank up the confidant level with Soji isn't necessarily for his rank anymore. It's now for, like, his story. I want to get closer to him. I want to see a happy Soji, bro. Becky again every night. She call. Oh my god. Hey, hey. Becky texts me literally every day. Oh. Kindness still not four in anything. Oh my god. Yes. The step from three to four is brutal. I'm dying over here. I feel like I should go out and buy some stuff, but I'll do... I'll go on a shopping Hi. spree later. Our bond isn't gonna deepen. Oh my god. Hey. I'm spending a lot of extra money on Kawakami here. I really need to get water really quick. My throat's like burning up. She doesn't look very well. Yeah, Kawakami does not look very well. Something that would improve her life. Oh yeah, we gotta give her something expensive. Chat, what sounds really expensive? Hmm. 
Hmm. A sophisticated pen case. I know this is for gentlemen, but like, I don't know. I'm trying to give her something expensive. I think she would like that. Your soul? Soul? Oh, hi, Movie Jack. Yeah, I'm obsessed with Persona 5. I probably am going to end up playing all day. Maybe the vase? Whatever. I don't think it matters what it is, like, if it's a male or female gift or whatever. I just think she wants anything that would be expensive. Truffles are expensive, are they? I wouldn't think so. They're just truffles. You can't go wrong with giving somebody truffles though, so let me just... We'll try it. Thanks. Oh! Have you bought any before? I, yeah, I did buy the truffles once. I had to have, because they were in my inventory. But, like, I don't remember how much they were. I'll what, see you later, then. Where I bought them, I have no idea. Okay. Tomorrow we hit the beach. Help with the dishes! We're not only helping out at the cafe, but we're also babysitting Futaba today, too. It's just so addicting. I know. I want to I wanna play this game all the time. But I don't want it to end either. Want anything, Futaba? Orange juice. 100% natural. That reminds me. You're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Go have fun. And make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, but he came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. <laughs> Fireworks, huh? Hello. What the oh, fuck? Welcome. Oh, you're... Huh? You know each other? Wait, aren't you... I'm Akechi. Why is he here? Oh, yeah. The one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? Yeah. Oh my god. This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. No wonder Sai san recommended it so strongly to me. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh no, that's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. You didn't just oh. come to enjoy some coffee, bitch. And she is? Oh, you must be Wakaba Ishiki's. Uh, what'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. Huh. It seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. Yeah, you're, you're not welcome here. You can leave now. <laughs> just leave, Akechi. Okay, Get out of my coffee shop. Um... <laughs> oh, God! Oh. <laughs> Did I bother you? My apologies. Oh, my God, I almost feel bad. Apparently, my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. Oh. She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her Oh, death. God, this did make me feel bad. Thanks to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. They're making me feel for the mm. enemy. Ah, uh, yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves or an avid supporter. Um, you're Futaba-chan, right? Saisan told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? Hmm. Uh, what's the matter? You are popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. <laughs> Thank you. 
Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Damn, Thieves, girl. if at all possible. Hmm, this is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly jealous. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. I have no words for you. Oh, I'm not gonna be that mean. That's pretty mean. It's just a coincidence. Uh, let's just say I agree. <laughs> Thank you. I believe that fate brings people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought provoking. Well, I think I found my go to cafe. Oh no. Oh no. Just when I think I'm like, I have escaped the clutches of Akechi, he finds me wherever I go. <sighs> I just don't trust Akechi, that's why I don't like him. I feel like he has such a fake smile, man. He gives me no reason to trust him, and I feel like he's gonna turn me in. Come out right now. I'm outside LeBlanc. Oh, okay. I want to light fireworks. Can we? I bought some. <laughs> Futaba, that's so random. You went by yourself? Mm -hmm. I ran into Mona on the way back, though. I'll go get Sojiro. She's so cute. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Of but course he is a big smile. He's a celebrity. Detective. Ouch. Soji Ro, hurry, hurry. We're going to have a firework festival. Oh, hold on, Futaba. I, I haven't even put on my cigarette yet. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Don't get the smoke on me. Super double move. Whee! Will you listen to... <laughs> hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from Morgana her. can move. Dang, I made a huge one. Sojiro, look, look. <laughs> right, it's just be careful, okay? <laughs> Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie, I'm gonna do ten now. No, no! <laughs> Futaba, let's commit arson. She was way into that. We'll do ten now. All right, we're going to the beach tomorrow. I've been anticipating this for so long. We'll be entrusting care of Futaba to you, Crystal. Uh, all right. I'll be good on my own, you know. I only ask that you try not to get separated from each other in the crowd, okay? No worries. I've already made preparations for when that happens. That don't make me feel any better. Make sure you keep an eye on her. It's tough enough going solo, let alone watching over someone else. Still, they're foreshadowing that someone's gonna kidnap Futaba. We can finally have a good time. Lala Chan has my number? <gasps> I actually do want to go work tonight, I think, instead of talking nice. to the fortune teller. We're gonna go work for Lalachan tonight. It's a Sunday night. We're gonna do it. Um, give me a second though. I am gonna take a one minute break before the beach time episode. Um, I just need to like get up, move my legs, go to the bathroom, get water. So give me like, give me a couple minutes, chat. I'll be back. Oh shit. I pressed the wrong button. This button.
I'm back. Are you guys ready for some beach time? Nice. How long am I streaming for? Uh, the intention is for at least maybe three, four more hours, depend depending. I'll just, you know, do a 48 hour stream and keep playing the game until I beat it. How about that? Wait, it's Sunday! Wait, isn't there like a TV program and then I gotta go to the thing and buy a stat drink? Oh! Dang it, there's nothing to buy on the TV. Alright, well, let's go buy our drink. Welcome! It takes guts to drink this terrifying mixture. I guess I'm getting a gutsy drink today. Mm. Nice. Oh my god. I swear I'm never gonna get rank four in anything. Yo, Toaster, what's up? All right, we're gonna go work for Lala-chan tonight. I didn't even know Lala-chan had my number. I'm shocked. I'm not complaining about it at all. Lala-chan needs to text me more. What days are the burgers? I have no idea, actually. I thought you could go any day. I have so many things to do in the evenings, though. Oh, I could have, I could have just quick traveled here. Why oh, didn't I? Honey. Hey, I came hey. here to see you, Lala Chan. Oh. Hmm. Thank you. Bum 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 bum. Hmm. Probably, probably, Dean. It's all you. I guess I'll have you start immediately then. Thanks, Lala Chan. Oh. Oh. All right, I think we're gonna have to do something. Mm. Which customer should I talk to? Uh, red-faced businessman, woman in evening dress, short-haired office worker, scary-looking man. The red-faced businessman. Really? You work here part-time? Oh, you look very young. This might bore you, but I wanted to ask, what do you think of our nation's economy? They use tax money as an emergency measure to restore the economy, but it only increases our nation's debt, which is turned, which in turn burdens us, the citizens. And this, is this a really good strategy for the revitalizing the economy? Man. Uh, I guess we just talked to him about stuff. Ah, I got knowledge for that? Sick! Ooh, I love free stat. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, honey. So your boss has been bullying you again. Beat. As soon as I talk back, he makes sure I know uh, that I'm lower than him. He insinuates he's he'll, denote, he'll demote me. After that, I'll overhear him talking about calling me useless while I'm at work. And everything I've done, all the results I'm getting, somehow he's taking all the credit. So you're saying... 
That's the worst kind of workplace abuse. I cannot believe that, man. <laughs> so many people have quit because of stress, and yet the higher-ups all ignore it. Of all the terrible bosses I could get in the world, why did mine have to be Shinsuke Kishi? Hey, Lala, I wish those fan of these would do something and help me with this. I mean... Like how? Are you gonna ask them to steal all your stress away? <sighs> I guess it's impossible, but it's nice to think about. Hey, hey. Did you hear that? Yeah, we got our mementos target. <laughs> Sweet. Nice work, honey. I love him. <laughs> You'll be celebrating this evening with a beer, but 10% is hella strong. YOLO. 12,000 yen! That is two Kawakami calls. And a half, kind of. Yep. That is two and two fifths Kawakami <laughs> calls. Oh! <gasps> Yo! Finally, something else got to rank four! Let's go! Alright. Wanna head back? Finally! Although I do need guts and proficiency up to four. Those are the two important ones I need to work on right now. Taba will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. Nah, it'll just be me hitting on her. Good. As long as you understand. I'll be counting on you. Hey, can we go already? <laughs> Are you sure you'll be alright? It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. Uh, right. Uh, Sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. <laughs> have fun, but be careful, you two. Soji bro, Soji bro. <laughs> Cutscene for the beach. Where's Yusuke? <laughs> gonna be a one piece. Oh my god! Utaba! This is perfect! There's nothing perfect about that. Stay still for a second. You'll be just fine. people here are you okay Futaba she's not okay I'm fine you guys are here it's almost lunchtime no the squid's staring at me it's cooked so don't worry would you even eat squid if I'm not around <laughs> why don't we eat lunch too <laughs> I'll go get some <laughs> stuff for us then you're eating that even here my staple food. <laughs> this should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? 
When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. No, so, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh! Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wow. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. <laughs> Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. <laughs> I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Strange, isn't it? Uh, they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. But... Lady On... Can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. We'll switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. <laughs> banana. Banana. Uh, the wait up. It's dangerous if you run around like that. Here comes the plane. I don't get how amazing we are. We risk our lives being phantom thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Shouldn't we be having more good times in reality too? Why is he so fucking loud? Right? Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. On and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey. How do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, you gotta steal... you know what? Swimsuits? You moron, that's a crime! What we're gonna steal in reality are... girls' hearts! Oh. I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as Phantom Thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well. Let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. Yusuke? It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right. Let's hurry up and go. Hey, what the hell? Get back here! Don't leave me behind! Someone's gonna kidnap Mona! Wait, we're actually talking to other girls? This is so weird! Wait, but me and Yusuke are a thing! Oh, she's taken! Awkward! just looks kind of bland to me. <laughs> I feel better. Oh, man. Don't say that like I'm the only one who messed up. We were going at it as a team, right? Hmm. Did someone follow us here? Something tells me we're being watched. Really? Oh. You think one of those girls changed her mind? OMG, it's the golden boy himself! A catchy. Oh, and he's already got his own little entourage. Oh, it's not oh, a catchy. We really did teach him right, didn't we? You? Oh no. What are you guys doing here? Oh, sometimes we just gotta get out of the city, forget the nightlife, breathe fresh air, and they gonna... enjoy some eye candy. <laughs> we thought we lost our protege. Who would have guessed our vacay was actually the call of fate? Oh, what's with the look? <laughs> Don't believe in fate? Or did you really not have fun last time? You gonna tell us you saw yourself in all that chiffon and felt nothing? Uh, I don't think I, I felt what you guys were Do it, Ryuji! Oh, honey, I get it. Everyone's nervous when they first start out. Drag, 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 go, go, go! 
<laughs> just an hour at the vanity, three hours at the boutique, and we can just pick up where we left off last time. So, are you ready to steal some hearts? Uh, we gotta go. Sorry. Oh. Was this something I said? Oh, what a tragedy. Another starlet slips through our fingers. Why did we run? No, no more makeovers. <sighs> Ryuji would look good. <laughs> By the way, where's Yusuke? So this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. Yusuke! Uh, what are you doing with those lobsters? While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on just... sale. And so I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Man, you're real hopeless when it comes to cash. Yusuke! Wait, you <laughs> Help. What are you Apologies, doing? but I was entranced. The moment I set eyes on this distinct shape, I was in love. I haven't had my very core shaken as vigorously as this since the first time on entered my gaze. I have to stop. I wish Yusuke would look at me the same way he looks at on in those lobsters. Why? Good for you. <laughs> We're here with friends. Come on, don't lie to us, baby. How about you come for a nice cruise on our boat? There's going to be a party, too. Tons of celebrities and industry people will be coming along. Are you even listening to us? Sorry about the wait. <laughs> huh, so, we were serious about being here with friends. That's what we've been saying from the start. Don't you find it boring spending your time with kids <gasps> like them? It's far more interesting than anything involving you two. What was that? Hey, let's just let the children have fun with fellow children. We'll be going now. <sighs> what creeps? Thanks for coming in like that. Those guys just wouldn't stop pestering us. You did well to hold them up. To be honest, I was nearly at my wit's end. By the way, where are Futaba and Morgana? Whoa, are those lobsters? One in each hand! I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi? Or perhaps roast them whole? Uh Enough of your vile postulations. <laughs> These are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. We did tons of stuff today. All in all, you guys I guess can't coming see to the it. beach was pretty worth look it. At, look at Yusuke. <laughs> Sorry, my camera was in the way of Yusuke doing his thing. Whoa! Whoa! Shit! We should probably start heading home. Agreed. Let's pack up. Futaba seemed fine in the crowd, too. So, it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Hey, Futaba! We're going home! Stop standing around and help us! You know... All this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh-huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking oh. I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's why I'd sleep again. I'd be a repeat of that. <sighs> I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, and <clears throat> further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. 
I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves, that they steal hearts, that I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, the bug. So, why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful hobby. <laughs> you talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Mejed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated <laughs> me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You are our only hope. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. You talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves... I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then, the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned... Yes. That could be the case. Mm. I don't like pursuing this line of thought. But perhaps your mother's shadow was... I don't know for sure. But right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? Well... But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba... If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually... It might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? <laughs> Ow! Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! Uh. This is what our Phantom Thieves are like. <laughs> But I hope we get along, Futaba. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's code name? What's that? Hackerman! It's Let's not go. cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case, Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? Machina. PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? 
super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. Ooh! <laughs> In your face. Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's code name? Pharaoh. I'll curse you. Oh. What would you want it? Hmm. Oracle. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great! Yo, Canada! Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate it. Man, I never even dreamed that the rumored phantom thieves would be so. I am really enjoying Persona a lot, Dragonite. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate. Should we get going then? Yep. Let's go home. Damn. Thank you so much, Canada, and I hope you enjoyed the emotes. Yes. The incident with Medjet seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur Isn't he the our next target? I don't remember what the picture was. I agree. Yo, another sub. Thank you so much, Rob, for gifting a sub to Ruin. I appreciate it. Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash, whether they're connected to us I do like or Futaba. not. This plot's getting, uh... Hey. Weird. I don't know how to feel! A criminal who uses the metaverse to carry out their crimes. This is no longer a matter we can ignore. Especially because they might be the one who killed Futaba's mom. To be honest, I had considered the idea that they might be behind only the rumored psychotic breakdowns. But now it appears as though they're... Uh, this person is killing people as well. Technically, they're making people have mental shutdowns, which then cause them to die. That's what happens when you kill someone's shadow, yeah? Mm-hmm. We were worried about it back with uh, Kamashita and Madarame, remember? Psychotic breakdowns and mental shutdowns. It would make sense if the same person was behind them. The newer uh, the news never talks about the victims dying, so people only only know about the breakdowns. So this shit's seriously a case? If that's for real, uh, <laughs> I almost was gonna say, if that's for real, and whoever's doing it is some kind of assassin, I'm gonna beat the crap out of them. I would suggest we be more cautious going forward as well. We still don't know much even about our metaverse nav. That is true. I wonder why that thing exists. There was a man in my dream. A dream? You still have sleep, dude? I wonder if that criminal is using the app, too. Futaba, this seems like your area of expertise. Do you know anything about it? No, I've never heard of it before. I mean, it's not really even an app. It's more like a mysterious app-like thing. I see. It's okay, though. I might not know much about the nav, but I can still navigate you guys on the path to victory. I'll guide you to whatever criminal you're looking for. You can rely on me. Awesome, dude. You're way more reliable than Mona. Damn it, Ryuji. As we get more and more into the story, it's like we get more and more um, relationships between the characters, and they just like keep on getting better and better. I love it so much. You always find the worst possible things to say. <laughs> it's funny. You live in Yongin, right? You know about the old movie theater there? Well, the old couple that runs it is apparently getting threatened by land spectator speculators. They're trying to save the theaters in the way of some building they want to put up. We can't just let them force those people out, right? I feel bad for them. That old couple is so afraid of the threats that they don't even want to open their theater. Anyway, our target is a guy named Yosuo Jochi. Let's drive him off and save that old couple. Two targets in mementos now. He said the words, does that count? No, it doesn't. Unfortunately. Alrighty. We just talked about it, but... Oh! But where's the guy picture? I don't care about the girls. Where's Yusuke? I'm in there too! You look like you're having fun, Futaba. On's a pretty good camera woman. Is that what it's like to be feel photogenic? You're not used to looking good in pictures? It certainly is a fine shot. I get you. Indeed, this picture has even captured all of the architectural grandeur of my sand castle. Wait, what? Oh, Yusuke's in the background building a sand castle! <laughs> okay, never mind. The picture's great. 
I'll take your word for it, man. I didn't even notice that in the background. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we're gonna do shogi practice today. I've been ignoring Hafumi too much. <laughs> he has the floaty on, too. <laughs> Hi, Hifumi. Um, I'm going to Los Angeles for a school trip soon. We're going to the beach, so I bought a swimsuit, but dressing like that in front of people. Oh, sorry for bringing up such a personal topic. You have more aptitude for this than I imagined. I also sense an ambitious spirit within you. I should have taken into account your improvement throughout our lessons. I have something in mind, but let's play a match first. In fact, let's play right now. Let's do it. Um... <laughs> I really do enjoy teaching you. You're such a quick learner. Today I thought we'd find you something to help you train on your own. This bookstore is filled with shogi-related books. I've been coming here a lot lately. There's also a curry restaurant just around the corner. I recommend their, their katsu curry. I always eat katsu curry before an important match for good luck. Ifumi. Oh, hello. I hope your match went well today. What are you talking about? Today's our day off. My apologies. I forgot that there aren't any matches scheduled for today. Out shopping with your boyfriend? <laughs> How nice of... Everybody assumes that I'm the boyfriend of everybody. Oh my god. Now Hifumi too. I'm everybody's boyfriend. I shouldn't be surprised. You are a famous shogi player after all. Well, I won't intrude. Bye. Sorry. She was only glaring at you because you're with me. She's my senior. I defeated her in a recent title match. Must have been the Katsu Curry. I didn't mind. Well, that's very kind of you. The truth is, I'm not very well liked by my seniors. The more attention I get, the more enemies I make, and the more lies are spread about me. Oh. You know what? People are sore losers, all right? They lose in a match. And you know what? That ain't your fault, all right? Poor Hifumi. She getting bullied. Because people are sore losers. Perhaps it's odd to compare myself to them, but I wonder if it's the same for the Phantom Thieves. People are so divided about them on the internet. Some love them, while others hate them. I can't help but see similarities between us. What do you think about them? They're cool. I feel the same way, actually. It's amazing that they're do still doing what they do even though so many people criticize them. They give me courage. But their victories can't be won with, with uh, will alone. How do they change a person's heart? I'm interested from a tactical standpoint and... Oh, I'm sorry, we are really are quite off topic. I feel like I've become much more talkative as of late. I usually don't talk this much. You're more than just someone I can practice new moves with. You, you're someone I can confide I in. I look forward to it. If you don't mind this sort of thing, I'd like to go and chat with you again. She's a sweetie. I like her. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize we were rank four already. All right. Damn. I thought it was like rank two or something. There's a book that I'd love for you to read. Let's go. Oh. Until next time. I have to read a book? Hifumi, please. School starts in like two days. Thank you for accompanying me today. My intention was to show you just, uh, show you how great Jimbocho is, but I ended up just talking about myself. My apologies. I was shocked though. Ordinarily, I don't talk that much, I assure you. Perhaps it's because I never had friends at school who I could talk to about Shogi. I hope this won't discourage you from spending time with me. Really, I would be delighted to do this again. I'd love to. Thank you. Other than used books and katsukuri, there are many things I'd like to recommend in that city. If you have the chance, perhaps we could explore more of the city next time. Well, I'm afraid I must go. I'll see you at the church. She's so cute. I thought there would be more right now. Dude, La Mystica. I've been shocked. There's been a lot of lack of, like, for reals okay, lately. Uh, yeah, I know this is out of the blue, but, uh... Speaking of for real, but yeah, last stream we had a Persona 5, there was zero for reals in a seven hour stream. Today, it's been almost four hours and only one for real. I'm dying here. 
I think Ryuji lost his touch. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Like, could we all meet up at LeBlanc tomorrow? Why so sudden? I mean, uh, August is almost over already. That worried tone. Ooh. Could he still have summer vacation homework uh -oh. left to do? Was that Morgana? Whoa, how did he know? I actually called it. Anyway, I I've already hit up Makoto and the others. I'll be counting on you to get me through this tomorrow. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Might as well get some sleep while we can. supposed to be human I should be if we get rid of the distortion in the depths of mementos I'm sure I'm sure it'll all be fine sorry did I wake you up what's wrong oh um my sunburns were hurting and that woke me up stop lying to me bitch all the sunlight because I'm black don't you get it Are you okay? Oh, um, I'm not sure what to do when you give me an honestly concerned response like that. <laughs> I'll by be way, less concerned it's next not time. Like I'm bothered by this or anything, but hypothetically speaking, okay? What would you do if I turned out to be some weird thing? It wouldn't bother me. I'd be bothered by it. Uh, if what I saw from earlier is true. Is it okay for me to stay with the Phantom Thieves? And even if I'm with the team, I'm useless at the moment. It's nothing. Well, I've gotten pretty used to my life as a cat, too. And to be frank, this storage room isn't bad either. Then again, I can't wait to turn back to being a human so I can move out. Maybe I'll live a life of luxury in a suite on the highest floor. Hmm. But rather than becoming some weird thing, maybe staying as a cat isn't so bad either. Is Morgana like... You and me made a deal, yeah? That means I can stay here. Isn't that right? Thought so. Don't forget what you just said, okay? Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if Morgana... It looked like he developed a shadow. I wonder if he... I don't know what to think. All right. Hmm. Come on. Let's hurry up and get to sleep. Night. It'll be fine, right? What if Mementos is actually Morgana's giant palace? Oh, I'm done. As for me, I'm done for. Talk about a cliched way to end your summer vacation. I can't believe you hadn't even touched your homework until last night. Well, everyone's free. Is to Morgana their sitting on Futaba's choose. lap? I guess some people just can't help themselves. I'm sorry. Come on, I think he's learned his lesson. More importantly, why don't you folks take a break? Boss! Oh, you're a lifesaver. I'm gonna go pick up some groceries. Mind the shop for a bit. The sports club has aggressively applied kinesthesiology to the team's practices. By incorporating their lab's findings on human efficiency into the training regimen, they have developed a... Oh, that reminds me. Isn't there a female athlete from our own school who's made the news? An athlete? Oh, do you mean the one in gymnastics? Kasumi! Yeah, her! The one everyone's saying is super cute. She is a cutie. Oh yeah, Yoshizawa, right? Wasn't she gonna be in the summer meet? Or is that already over? Ah, about that. Makoto? Well, I just happened to overhear a couple teachers discussing it when I was heading to school the other day. 
Yoshizawa-san's results in the meet? They weren't exactly stellar. I see. There seemed to have been a great many people expecting her success there. It's gotta be tough for her. Yeah. Ain't there one more meet left this year in gymnastics, though? Shit must be rough right now. But if she can nail that one, who cares what anybody at school oh. says? Oh, that also reminds me. It's been said that Persona users can't have so palaces. Yeah, well, so that theory's been debunked because Futaba literally gained a persona in her own palace. I used to think the same thing until Futaba happened. And? He seemed really mad. I asked him what was wrong, and he showed me some posts on an underground site about our school. It pretty much said the school's planning to abandon any honor student who isn't actively making Shujin look better. Whoa. She awakened in there, Wait but then it collapsed. There was no name, and it sounded it collapsed like because just we defeated her mother first. Though. But could this be about Yoshizawa-san? Which was her treasure? Who knows? Still, ever since the case with Kamashita, the school's been frantically trying to improve its public image, right? At the very least, this abandonment of honor students would fall in line with the school's real mission. I can't deny the possibility that they would do this to Yoshizawa-san. They dump all their hopes hmm. onto their athletes, and if they don't cut the mustard, they're out like the rest of the trash, huh? I'm confused. Regardless of whether it's true or not, such behavior is extremely self-serving. <laughs> Just like we thought this whole time. But there's still tons of shit wrong with society. Yeah, we don't know what'll happen to Yoshizawa's spot on the team. But at the very least, we can keep up our efforts to prevent the worst case scenario. Hmm. This is getting really weird. Next up, our spotlights on a topic everyone's talking about, the Phantom Thieves incidents. The Phantom Thieves shocked the world by silencing a globally notorious hacktivist group. Their popularity goes beyond our own borders, with foreign media following them closely as well. Many are heralding them as dark heroes and gentlemen thieves for a new age. We're worldwide news now. This is getting pretty crazy. So the whole world really knows about us. Damn. That's impressive. Man, it's hot. I really like Sumi, but I feel like that conversation about it is really forced. It didn't seem forced at all to me. It's starting to give me a headache. Oh no, we're causing Soji to have a headache. <gasps> There's a crossword puzzle. So the more famous we get, the more mementos opens up, yeah? I can't get that out of my head. And that's why you couldn't work, uh, you couldn't focus on your homework until today, right? Yeah, exactly. Sounds like an excuse to me. Still, I've been wondering about that too. I wonder why it works like that. Does Morgana know anything? I don't know. I don't even remember how I first learned about mementos. Then there's no way for us to find out. It will likely become clear if we continue as the Phantom Thieves. The most important thing now is the identity of that criminal using the metaverse. That might be the person who killed my mom. I'm gonna find them no matter what it takes. You know, we used to be lacking in a, quite a few areas, but now that we have Futaba helping us, a great number of possibilities are now available. Yes, we gained a fantastic addition to our team in the most expect unexpected manner. Aw, you're making me blush. We'll be counting on you, Futaba. This feels way better than having some dumb cat guide us. <sighs> Sorry, Morgana. Hey, hey. You guys ready for crossword puzzle time? I got the last one all by myself. Let's see if we can do it again this time. Oh, great. Nope. I have no idea. I'm never going to get this. So the the word under my camera that you can't read is legality. It says medicine of varying legality. An illegal drug, basically. So what's an illegal... No. You know this? Do I know this? 
And to nothing, literally my brain is coming up with a big giant blank. What's the five letter one? Poppy product, which I don't know that one. And then this is import illegally. I have no idea. Is it really as simple as marijuana? There's no J though. No. Narcotics? Mm, could be? I don't mind if chat answers this one. You think narcotics? Alright, chat, we'll try it. Because I don't think I'm gonna get this one. If it actually is narcotics, I wouldn't have gotten that. I would have never guessed this. Yep. Good job, chat! I would have never gotten that. <laughs> Alright. I see. Nice. Good job, guys. You did it. I feel like we're really far away from leveling up knowledge. Alright, fortune teller night? Or Sejiro Knight. Soji hates me, I bet. It's only legal with the prescription. Narcotics are all controlled substances. Oh, okay. See, I don't know much about medicine because I've been very fortunate in my life to not be on like any pill or like literally anything. So when it comes to medicine, I literally know next to nothing. I, I'm very clueless when it comes to medicine. I'm a very fortunate person. I'm going to shrivel up. Like I know of the term narcotic, but don't I never really knew what it meant, or that's why I wouldn't. It's not really in my vocabulary much. I work in pharma's uh, pharmacology, pharmacology, so you know that one. Oh, that's good. At least somebody knows that. I definitely don't get that stuff. Do a verification. I feel like I'd want to shop around real quick. Hold on, I'll come back to you. I need to go shopping. Is there like more books I can buy here? What do you want? <gasps> Flowerpedia. Gimme. Yep. Anything else I can buy? Flower shop? That's the ramen shop. Welcome. Mega fertilizer. Yes. We already have one of these mini cactus. That sounds cute. I want to buy that. I also should hang out with Mishima. He's somebody that I've been failing to rank up like ever to. Welcome. Oh, I can restock on my mug and my star mirror and kitchen tool set for the master chef. 48 sided 3D puzzle. Yeah, let's do it. Um, and then I have one of everything. Okay. I'm just buying all the gifts because I have a lot of money and I'm feeling quite spoiled. Okay, I'm ready now. Um. Yeah, we'll do it anyway. You have a mini cactus, you can confirm that it's cute. I want one! Aren't they like super easy to take care of in your household? They don't need a lot of sunlight or water. Let's go. I forget, I forget how cactuses work on a bloom. Wow. The prices are at, uh, the prices at a used bookstore are cheap. Wait, sorry. Are also low. There's a lot here. Which ones would be good as reference? Uh, autobiographies of great people. Mm -hmm. The lives of people who have left their names in history. True. Those would be would worth reading once. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot to learn from their stormy lives. Also, you know those self help books? With those, you feel like you just uh, feel like just reading them is enough. 
You end up not actually helping yourself. I'd like to learn the ideas expressed in those books and use them to help my customers. Study of Destiny. <laughs> Water is once a week and keep it near a window mother, easy. Would be connected I can do to those that. incidents in the city. We can't leave this be. What's gotten into you? Well, this is truly our time to shine. Though this scoundrel has the same power as us, they're triggering people's mental shutdowns. If they truly exist, who can stop them? Only us. This is getting interesting. You seem fired up. We've got a new addition to the team, so it's time I flex my veteran skills. Uh. What is wrong with Morgana? We need to talk? What's up? That's like the worst line you can say to somebody. Hi, chat. Hey. We need to have a talk. Get ready. We're going out for lunch. Just the three of us. Oh, that sounds nice. If you're paying. You want me to come? You don't have any plans, right? Just come on. It'll be my treat. Oh. Not only can Futaba go out now, but your summer break's almost over. We gotta do something. I asked especially for sushi. You better be thankful. This place is supposed to be super delicious, too. Sushi? Take me with you! I didn't get to eat the takeout sushi last time, remember? Man, that thing never stops meowing, does it? Uh, 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 uh. He's demanding sushi. Can the cat join us? But at the restaurant? I do feel sorry for it, though. Well, I guess I don't mind bringing some sushi home. He knows me so well. Let's see. I want some medium fat tuna, fatty tuna, salmon roe, anago, and, and... Oh, are you going to be able to remember all this? You might want to take notes. Okay, Morgana. So, how is it? Good? Futaba's going to mm, town. Don't wolf it down like that. It, no one's going to take your food. <laughs> what did I tell you? Drink some tea. <laughs> Restroom! Huh? Oh, oh restrooms. Uh, they're that way. Did she just eat so fast that she threw it up? <laughs> What a busy girl. Girl? <sighs> Back in the day, she, her mother, and I used to go eat out often. <sighs> this brings back memories. I had completely forgotten about it, too. No. I was close. I thought I was gonna die. Well, time to resume. You're still going to eat? Futaba. Uh, I'm all full. I'm throwing in the towel. Which is it? I'm gonna use the restroom and then pay the bill. Check, please. Coming right up. We should pay it for Soji, bro. When I got into middle school, my mom and Sojiro took me out to eat sushi to celebrate. That sushi was so good. Today's was pretty good, too. I hope the three of us can come again sometime. You're at this part in your first playthrough, too? Aw, I hope you're enjoying the game. Me too. When should we do this again? I wish she could have had today's sushi, too. <sighs> I want to find out what happened to Mom. I won't forgive the guy who triggered her mental shutdown. So, you better help me out. I want her as a confidant already. 120,000 yen? <laughs> you're joking, right? Looks like we won't be getting sushi to go. Soji, bro. Oh no, it's the first day of school tomorrow! Welcome home! I've been waiting for you! Huh? Wait, where's my sushi? Where's my fatty tuna? 
Oh no. Where's my Inago? Oh no. That's a lot of sushi. Yeah, that's that's a lot of money. The sushi was so delicious, we even ate the cat's so share. That's why. If only Sujiro had more money. There's actually one place I want to go more than sushi. Any idea what it is? What is it now? Come on, play along with me. You're lacking humor. You want to go to Akihabara? Oh, actually, yes. I want to buy a game, but I'm scared to do it alone. Do you think you can help? Of course. You're a nice guy. Okay, it's late here, so let's just meet there. I know how to ride the train after that trip to the beach, so I can get there fine. Well then, I'll be waiting. Wait, we're meeting in Akihabara? Is Futaba really going to be okay? We'd better get over there. Cool. I've always wanted to go to Akihabara. All right. Let's do it. Yeah, that's a lot of money in sushi. <laughs> Is this where we're supposed to be meeting? Is she not here? Try checking around. Are you all by yourself? Where did you come from? <sighs> hey, over there. Did you run away from home? What's wrong, little girl? <sighs> that looks bad. What are you gonna do? Let's ignore her. Yeah, hurry up. Uh... Well, can you come down to the station with me for now? Huh? Who are you? Hey! Do you know this girl? She's my friend. You're not lying, are you? Very well. Huh? Utaba? Are you okay? S sorry. I thought I conquered my fears back at the beach. What happened? There wasn't anyone I knew with me, so I panicked. Felt like my heart was gonna pop. I got so scared all by myself. Then I just sort of curled up into a ball. Then all these people started oh. staring at me. And the police came. And then it was all over. Look, Futaba. If you're ever in trouble, just call this guy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I feel kind of calm when we're this close. You're okay being like this, right? Are you a Remora? Oh my god. Are you? Maybe. <sighs> Couldn't even go buy a game by myself. I'm a failure. Maybe. But I'm okay outside as long as it's with him. Is he some kind of key item? Please, be my key item. I'll try and get better at navigation if you do. Uh... uh is this a deal? Yeah, a deal! Is that good with you? Yeah, we're spoiler-free, Charde. That's what blind in the title means. All right, so now do we get a confidant? Yes. Officially. Let's go. We were impressed with the intel gathering skills of the Phantom Thieves as well. We also know that this would have been impossible unless you had a skilled hacker. Wow, Sai, tell me more. Who was doing this? It shall become the wings of with the birth of the hermit persona. <laughs> the I hermit persona. Morals interesting. All right. over with let's go where need bye game weren't you bawling your eyes out just a second ago 
Yeah, but I have my key item now. <laughs> Victory conditions met. What a Come gamer! On, I'm I'm Dom's key item. Where were you two? Akihabara. What? <laughs> That's incredible, Futaba. I I guess. Oh, I just hope you can keep that up. Maybe you'll even be able to go to high school someday. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's enough of that. High school. I bet you're exhausted after dealing with all those people, huh? Let's get you to bed. Hey, we're gonna head back. I really hope Futaba's not one of those people that I have to hang out with at night only, because I will cry. I have so many people to hang out with at night. Whoa, the approvals rating's insane! It's over 60% now! Aw, oh, you're making me blush! I'm not talking about you! No, this is definitely thanks to Futaba silencing Medjed. See? How about that? It's kind of frightening how strong this momentum is. It's encouraging. Right? This shit's like the perfect motivation. Everyone's got high expectations of the Phantom Thieves. Let's make sure they're answered. On top of all that, this case has shed light on something important. You mean that criminal. Well, I suppose I, at this point, we can refer the, to them as the one person, uh, as the one behind the mental shutdowns. That's the one who killed my mom. We can't let them be. Let's talk more in detail about this tomorrow at school. But Yusuke doesn't go to our school, so like... No sushi, and we get dragged around by Futaba. What a terrible day. Wow, Morgana. The Phantom Thieves have become amazingly popular. Tons of people have started access- uh, <laughs> I can't read today. Accessing the forums, too. Anyway, I was thinking about how I can make use of this spike in popularity, and I've decided to add a new function to the website. A new function? Are you curious? I'll send people's wish wishes directly to you guys. Well, I hope you're excited. It'll be up and running tomorrow. I can't believe I have to leave Japan now of all times. What's up? Don't you know, it's almost time for this gold trip. In any case, look forward to the new function. What? School trip. What? Nice. Futaba pulling what we call a pro gamer move. But for real though. Is Soji Bro still here? Oh, Soji Bro's gone. Nobody texted me. My life is over. Oh, oh god. And, oh, oh, what do I do? I have so many options that I just am baffled. Limited options, but make curry and, no, I don't want to make curry. I can make lockpicks, I could, uh... I need to level my proficiency. What do you want to do? Kawakami at LeBlanc. Kawakami can only be called to LeBlanc for housekeeping after it has closed. The customers in Sojiro will leave the cafe at that time, so be aware if this... Beware of this if you have any business with them. Okay. Whoa. Wait, I can have Kawakami come? What's up? What's up? How do I do that? Do I call her? Wait, let's try it. Hey! Oh, well, I guess I can't. Man. Not sure yet how that works, so we'll have to play around with it. Okay. All right, well, I guess we'll just keep it going. Hmm. Maybe I should make some of these. I feel like I should. Maybe? Uh, I don't know. These are really helpful. Yeah. Yeah, let's make a happy bomb. 
Oh, I love Beneath the Mask. I was saying yesterday how uh, Beneath the Mask is what I listen to if I'm, like, yeah, working on sewing kigurumis or something. Or I, I was also saying it's like good lo-fi music in the sense of if you're studying, if you're doing homework or something, if you're still in school, that would probably be a great song to have on in the background. It's fantastic. Yeah. Got any movies or books that increase proficiency? I mean, I could just do what I'm doing now and it increases proficiency. Mm -hmm. And I think the... I might have a book. But I'd rather just, like, make stuff because I do need things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did they ease up on the streaming ban? Yes, they did. <laughs> they did about two years ago, I think. That's when it was. I don't remember exactly when. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> yes! We can hang out with Yusuke! Oh! Yay! Nice. This is great! Oh, Yusuke date tomorrow. Let's go. Oh, fuck yes. Well, then. Hallelujah, we can hang out with you, Ske, with you, Ske. Oh. Listen up, inmate. Our master wants a word with you. Didn't he, like, have a word with me, like, a week ago? <laughs> it seems you formed a contract with another new ally. This is the owner of quite a <laughs> different books. type of power. It will help guide you all to further heights as thieves. Uh... So what now, Igor? <laughs> Worry not. You are steadily approaching the realization of your goal. This is not necessarily to prove so, but I shall increase the number of personas you can hold at once. From here on, your tale will make great progress. Hone your powers even further and prepare for the time that will soon come. I expect great things from you. Twelve slots to All for right. personas, holy shit. I'm like really irritated, sorry I'm like touching this a lot, but like yesterday after dinner, a bump formed like Until underneath my jaw. Again. It's like in such a weird place it and it's really bugging me. Return to your world. I just don't know why it's there. So I've been like trying to massage it a bit. I don't know, it's just weird. Morning. Ooh, a uniform. Yeah, it's school. Make sure you study hard. Sounds like a swollen lymph node. I have no idea what it is. It's like morning person's life. in my throat, but like a healthy mission starts with a healthy lifestyle. Placed under my jaw. It mission. doesn't hurt or anything. And on to breaking news. It's just there and it's annoying. To the so Phantom Thieves events it's common. Good thing. Thanks, Chad. General I'm not Holland. dying. The Prime Minister held a press conference at his official Could be allergies? residence to address oh. the problem. I have been developing allergies lately. The government acknowledges the current rumors of a group called the Phantom Thieves. We are currently confirming facts with the police and wish to deal with it in an appropriate... Even the Prime Minister's talking about the Phantom Thieves? You have the same thing right They're now. Allies of justice it is allergy all. season. They if it's related hearts, huh? to that. I wonder if it's true. Hmm. Looks like we're finally being recognized across the country. Uh, let's stay calm, Morgana. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate Even it. Even though you have ambitions, you remain cool, hmm? I bet you stole that from me. Let's find clues on that case as soon as we can, too. And resolve it ourselves. For Futaba's sake, too. You two really get along, don't you? You're gonna be late if you don't get going soon. Good luck on your student duties. The age group with the most belief in the Phantom Thieves seems to be teenagers. Well, no shit. We even received messages about how the Phantom Thieves are all students talk about these days. Do you know about them? 
They're the only thing my daughter speaks to me about. She's been glued to this fan site thing. I thought it was just an ordinary website. She is! Lately, they've added a polling feature to ask who you'd like to see have a change of heart. Given people's heightened expectations, it's been receiving a lot of votes. <laughs> Maybe I should go vote for our company president. Change his heart so he'll raise our salaries. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Oh my god. This is not going in the right direction here. You mean for test results at the moment? Oh no! Oh, it's all over. I hope everything goes well, Lolo. It just came up like after I ate dinner yesterday. I'm not really worried about it. It's just like I keep touching it, wondering what it is because I've never had it before. I'm like, what is the this like ball? Great. Hacking Medjet back and all the other stuff, it was totally nuts. Everyone online was waiting for the deadline to hit. People sure do love the Phantom Thieves. Speaking of, have you checked out the fan site recently? They added a bunch of new stuff, including the option to rank people to get a change of heart. This is so weird. I don't want to go back to school. Second term's already started. Yep. I think this every year, but isn't summer vacation too short? Yep, it is. In Japan, you only get like one month. Totally. It's like it always ends right when you get used to a life without school. And then again, I guess we had some fun things this year. We went to the beach on. <clears throat> All right, let's begin homeroom. Let's see. We've just gotten back from vacation, but starting next Monday is the school trip. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. oh you students are so lucky. You get an entire month off for summer and get to go to Hawaii, too. We're going to Hawaii? Make sure that none of you cut loose too much. What okay? the fuck? Okay, settle down. That concludes homeroom. Uh-oh, you know what's going to happen? School trip, huh? I guess we won't be able to act as phantom thi- <laughs> Takamaki-san! You can speak English, right? Basically, yeah. That's amazing. I lived over there, so it's nothing that special. Hey, if there's something we're not sure of in English, can we ask you about it? Huh? An has friends! All people talking about in my class is the Phantom Thieves. Is it the same for you? Talk about being popular. Anyways, now that a new semester started, let's have another operation meeting. I miss when we used to hang out at the coffee shop. <laughs> it's like it was yesterday. 64%. Dang. We're pretty popular. There you guys are. She brings a laptop around. Utaba, did you come here by yourself? I went to get her since I got out of school early. Oh, you patronizing scared. Inari. What? Well then, let's get talking. What do we do now? Should we go after <laughs> she really big doesn't target? like you, Skate. That's important too, but what about that villain in the cognitive world? It's almost certain that this person exists. What's more? They're inducing mental shutdowns. We certainly can't turn a blind eye. <sighs> yeah, but we don't got any clues. But you know how we're toads popular right now? <laughs> toads. Everyone at school's talking about us. And not a day goes by when you don't hear about it on TV either. <laughs> we totally made it big, don't you think? True. The rankings on the Phantom Aficionado website have been crazy too. Ooh. You mean this? Huh? What the hell? First place keeps changing by the second. People are voting around the clock, after all. If we go after these guys, I'm sure we'll score some big cash at least once. What would you use money like that for? How would we get money out of this? I'd put it into savings. It's either that or I, I don't, uh, you know, I'll put it into savings. I'm a nerd, all right? I've never heard of a phantom thief that saves up money. Stop judging me! With that Futaba, even though it's related to what happened to your mother. Oh it's yeah, that's right. Okay. Money selling from the I'm treasure. I'm definitely gonna punch that guy. 
The culprit forcing mental shutdowns. If you think about it, there's no bigger target than that. If we can change his heart and get a confession out of him, we'll be on top of the world for real. Should we reveal our Almost identities then? Almost said it. Oh, I bet chicks are gonna be all over us. I'm not counting it. Whoa, whoa. You want us to show our faces? I guess that might be okay. I see. If the true culprit confesses, the existence of the metaverse will become known. There would be no need for us to remain in hiding in such a questionable manner. Hey, we're not doing this to stand out, you know. Being unknown is the allure of being a phantom thief. But considering the hype now, it's gonna be one hell of a huge deal if we pull it off. Are there really no clues regarding those mental shutdown cases? If I remember right, wasn't the older Nijima sister investigating it? Yes. I can pry and ask about it, but she'll just tell me to mind my own business and get angry with me. Sai sucks. You can't ask her. Want to just extract that data? Oh. Does she have a personal Pudoba. laptop or something? Don't tell me. I can lend you a storage device with my special gimmick on it. Just stick this baby in and it'll clone the internal hard drive. It'll even bypass the OS password. You'll have to plug it directly into her laptop, though. Can you do it? Sis does bring her laptop home sometimes, but I'm not comfortable going that far. Do it! Do Ooh, it! Is Futaba gonna do something amazing again? Do it! Are you scared of seeing how your sister truly feels? No! Of course not. Do it! Fine, I'll do it. Yeah! Peer pressure. Gotta love it. What? I was in a tabloid magazine, but I gave a gag order in regard to Mr. Kamashita's case. I forgot this guy still existed. Please wait. Please give me some time. I will find evidence on the Phantom Thieves for sure. I couldn't have made it this far had it not been for your assistance, sir. So please, please let me. Uh, no, no. He's Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> These rankings are insane! Yes, if you look away for a, even a single moment, the order changes completely. It's hard to decide who's to, who to actually go after. They're flooding in! We can choose who anyone you want. We, would, uh, we should wait for now, though. It will surely cool off soon. More importantly, how are things on your end, Makoto? Sis isn't, Sis isn't home yet. She may not come back at all tonight. Man, just think I'd just think how great it'd be to narrow down our targets. That's true, but aren't you guys taking this too lightly? All the pressure here rests on me. I'm counting on you. Even you? I suppose I'll do it. Let's leave this to Makoto. I'm sure she'll be able to pull it off. Yep, it does rely on Makoto. Hey, hey! Morgana's telling me to go snoop at the secondhand shop. All right, let's do it. You sound like the voice actress for All Lady On. Oh, well, that's a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not very good at it, but I do give like a, I try to give like a half-assed effort into trying to give characters different voices. Not very good though. Welcome. Tanned leather. That sounds cool. Broken laptop. I want that. I want to give it to Futaba and I want her to make it not broken. I don't know why, but I feel the need to buy three of those. Journalist, Chihaya. Chihaya. There's something I need to tell you. Uh, should I? Okay, yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it. <laughs> I have a lot to show you today. Here we go. Mental training for sports. Oh, and building a successful business from the ground up. I even have a book after the secret to being a good li- about the secret to being a good listener. It was written by a hostess from a club in Ginza. 
Just picking out which books to bring took me half a day. I have tons more back home, though. I've started using these as a reference materials for the, the advice I give to my clients. This way, I can suggest new alternatives instead of leaving them resigned to their fates. Oh, okay. She hires, you know, coming around. Just coming around. What about the divine power? You shouldn't make fun of me, you know. There's a quick, that's a quick path to horrible luck. Anyway, what I really want to tell you is that I've arrived at a new fortune-telling philosophy. Those with strong convi convictions can, in fact, change fate. Oh, oh, and as for the people I sold holy stones to, I've started reading their fortunes free of charge. I'd like to return the money they gave me too, but, uh... Did you spend it all? Well, uh... Am I interrupting? Oh. What? Yokudo-san. It's been a while, Maiden. Uh, what are you doing here? The chairman asked that I come see where, how things are going. Uh, who are you? Um, that's my apprentice. I haven't actually introduced him to the chairman yet. You're telling me you're so busy you needed to hire an apprentice? Oh, um... yes, he's been a wonderful help. I see. I guess I should have expected such great foresight from you, Maiden. Hmm, now then, I should be going. Thank you for stopping by. I'm sorry you had to see that. Who was he? I suppose you could say he's an acquaintance. Anyway, it's a private matter. Nothing you should concern yourself with. Wait, are you perhaps worried about Thank me? You. Oh, I'm so touched, honestly. My luck really improves when you're around. <laughs> I know, in return for that, I'll predict your luck whenever you want. Oh. Deepens your bond with a confidant of your choice. All right. Bruh. Bruh. This girl. Oh. Remind me to go to her every damn day. Goodbye. She's gonna save so much of my time. Holy shit! Damn, girl! A catchy. Huh. Did you get a tan? You seem different. Yes, I got a tan. Yes, I did. A catchy. Good observation. Oh, yes. Thank you for the coffee last time. It is a lovely cafe. I haven't relaxed that much in a while. You should come again. That's nice of you to say. Especially lately, since it seems I'm hated by those who support the Phantom Thieves. Anyhow, it seems your school's in trouble. The media is reporting that the whole school was involved in the cover-up about that gym teacher. Those unfortunate students were made victims. All because adults valued their own conveniences. This is unforgivable. No matter the reason. Let me know if you need anything. I'll do my best so that the case is wrapped up quickly. I hate how much hey. he makes me so conflicted. Seems the administration uh, turned a blind eye to that abusive teacher. It's also hard to believe. The principal claimed he didn't know what was going on at first. We're talking about children's lives. People like him are the ones who should answer for this. I don't like the way they're looking at us. Yeah, awkward. How does he make you conflicted? Because he's the one that's gonna rat me out. He knows too much. Like, he can easily figure out that we're the Phantom Thieves and then he's gonna be like, you guys aren't just doing anything for justice. You're just wanna be heroes, you suck. Me. See that ad in the train? I just don't trust the guy. And I hate his fake smile. Bugs the hell out of me. I think so. Media's gonna show up at school again. 
cover-up by faculty and principal of Shujin Academy, where the Phantom Thieves first appeared. There's a good-looking girl back there, and she has way too much detail, and I have played way too many RPGs for me to tell me that that girl's important. <laughs> it's been a huge deal already. I wonder what's gonna happen to the principal now. You it's like you look at her, and then you literally look at the students that are there. It's like, hmm, I wonder who stands out here. Anyways, we made the right choice going after big targets. Everywhere I go, people are talking about us. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm fine. She's kind of cute. girl just now don't you think she was fine not really she's just kind of cute wasn't she the same girl in the black limo we saw one time the phantom thieves are on fire i don't know if that's right the now. same girl so i wonder if i got a chance if i asked her out makoto said that she knew her it sucks that i can't just say i'm actually a phantom thief to anybody hmm. floof she does you got do floofy too, hair. Teach? The whole cover-up thing. This is the first time I'm hearing about it too. Damn, all the teachers are going to be put in a pretty interesting situation. Even if the police ask you anything, you better not make irresponsible comments to them. Oh, seriously, why does this keep happening? All oh, my relatives are going to call me again. Oh, perfect timing. I think you might have been told this already, but it's about the school trip. You know how the police have been coming to the school again because of that incident? So a number of the senior faculty are going to be called in for questioning, and that day just happens to overlap with the school trip. Oof. Yes, I've been told so. Now, this came up at the faculty meeting, but the plan is to have third years to act as our proxies. I'm so sorry to drop this on you, Nijima-san, but we'll be counting on you. What? You know, a lot of the second years this year happen to be... unique. You must have your hands full with the entrance exams, unique. but I'm sure you'll be fine with your grades. Don't worry, there'll be a couple more people going besides you. If that's the case, very well. Really? Oh, thank goodness. I'll go ahead and pass this news on then. I guess that works out. Hmm. But what about watering can, girl? Listen this time, okay? Oh no, school! The tabloids have been all over it. You might have seen have some concerns, but we're going to do things as usual. I heard the school was in on it and tried to hide it. Were the teachers involved in the scandal too? I had nothing to do with it. Do you really think I have the pa that much power? Okay, that's enough chit chat. If you're that worried, you can always see our school counselor. Maruki! We haven't seen or like talked to Maruki in so long, chat. Damn, I missed that guy. Where's my snacks? Starting today, we'll have Dr. Maruki on call. We went to the trouble of getting him, so don't be afraid to ask. Man. Yikes, the new semester barely started and things are already getting crazy. I want to see Dr. Snack. It's been too long. You guys see? Akechi showed up in the rankings. Okay, that's a, I don't like it, Ketchy, but that's pretty fucked up. Perhaps it's due to the negative comments he made about us. Seems that way. God, this is freaking amazing! I feel bad. Come on, you don't gotta pity a jerk like him. I don't know how to feel about a Ketchy. By the way, how's it going, Makoto? You get into your sister's data yet? I think she's been busy. She doesn't come at all, come home at all yesterday. That's problematic. What are we gonna do? We can't do a damn thing until we get that. Don't rush me. I assure you I can handle this. 
More importantly, everyone at school has been on edge since that tabloid article. Please be careful not to stand out, okay? You don't gotta tell me twice. Hey, are you listening? Oh no, it's the chalk throwing professor. Oh no, it's the chalk throwing professor. Dodge. Yeah. No way. What can I say? I'm just so proficient <laughs> at dodging chalk. That improves my charm! That is so stupid! That is legit so stupid! Come on, come on! <laughs> Aren't people saying that the press might show up? Let's keep an even lower profile than usual. Hello there! You remember our deal? How I was supposed to help you with your physical training? I think we could put that on hold for next week. I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to a training camp, so I'll be out of Japan for a while. I'm going to Hawaii myself. Huh? Oh, right! The second year's trip is next week, too. Now that's a coincidence. We're both going overseas at the same time, huh? Okay, then training's on hiatus until we both get home. Enjoy your trip. You have to tell me all about it later. Kasumi texting me. <gasps> Wait, chat, it's Friday! We can finally buy Yoki Saba Pan! Ah! Let's go! Oh my god! School's been out of session! I haven't been able to buy bread! What do you want? Yes! Fuck you guys! <laughs> oh man. Oh, the doctor? Futaba? Hey, are you free? I am. Uh, so actually, never mind. Hurry up and come home. <laughs> I do want to hang out with Futaba. Um, I think. Is Maruki available? I miss him. No, I've never been to Hawaii. Welcome. That's an expensive vacation that I never had money for. <laughs> ah, yes. I'm sorry. Maruki, you're always busy. I haven't been able to talk to you in like so long, bro. I miss you. All right, you know what? I think we're gonna hang out with uh, the doctor because I wanna just finish off her confidant thing. She's gonna be maxed after this. So we're gonna finish up her story. Rank 10, Dr. Takaimi. Let's go. He's been- he's busy stocking up on snacks, bitch, he better. Doctor, does it matter who likes someone first? This is voice. What are you talking about? There's a boy I like, but my friend told me that I have to let her have him because she liked him first. Poor girl. Oh, that's not true. Really? Then why did she say that? Likely because she's jealous of you. Just be careful because it might result in pandemonium. And demonium? That girl's gotten a lot better. So much so, in fact, that now she's gossiping. She even comes in on days she doesn't have to. It appears she's nearly fully recovered. Which reminds me, the new medicine will be completed soon. Your data has been extremely helpful due to your generic body type and bland health history. Oh, wow, thanks. You've been a splendid guinea pig. I mean, participant. So, thanks again. By the way, how have I been doing? Have I been helpful? For your escapades with the Phantom Thieves, I mean. Apparently when I get to rank 10 with everybody, they just know that I'm a Phantom Thief now. Wait a second! Akechi! There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a theme here, chat. This is the second person I've gotten to rank 10. And they both figured it out when I got to rank 10. Fuck. I think, I think we need to stop hanging out with Akechi. Come on. You and I both know that you were lying about needing to prepare for the entrance exams. I visited Oyamata in jail. A 
swing of fortunes like that could have only come at the hands of the phantom you can't thieves. deal with this and there's a there's a pressure it did isn't the only logical conclusion to think oh, that no. it's you i don't like this i don't like where this is going <laughs> uh, so what if it's true <laughs> a normal person would probably notify the police well i don't care the point is that without you I wouldn't have been able to complete my mission. I would have never finished the new medicine. I'm keeping the secret worse than Ryuji. I know. And I would have never met any of the townspeople. I don't see anything I though. I just help people. Thieves save people in need, just like doctors do, huh? So, I'll go out on a limb for you. I'll have even more powerful medicine ready for you. I trust that you'll use them appropriately. I gotta get somebody else to rank 10 before I get a catchy just to test it on a third person. I am that thy bond shall thou has to win. I gotta test my theory here. Cause I don't know. Uh, increases the selection of revival items at the clinic. Oh. That's good. I guess I'll check right. out what she has now. Alright. I can now use Alice. I don't know what that is, but okay, thanks. I'm not gonna give so. You better make some money in the name of justice. Just don't max him? <laughs> yeah, I think no that's go. what I'm learning. Take I'll get care. him to like rank nine. <laughs> <laughs> Until I test my theory. Because then if it's rank 10, it's game over. Hey. What if you just like get a game over if that happens? I don't know. I'm gonna- I'm not, I'm not breathing. I'm catching on to this game. Did you get the data yet? No, my sister still hasn't come home. Man, she's seriously that busy? Probably because of us. So, uh, do you still want to go through with this? Yes, I can do it. Hold on, I have a message. It sounds like she's on her way home. All right, it's finally time. My heart's pounding. Make sure to be cautious, okay? Be careful. Understood. I'll report back tomorrow. Ooh, I can't wait to see what comes of this. What does confidant hey, ranks hey. even give? Um, actually, really good stuff. He gave me the ability to see enemy weakness, which is pretty good. Oh, we got a call with Becky, and we got a crossword puzzle. Hey, hey. so vague many students greatest love food money uh sleep what does a student like student loans <laughs> let's do another one go here and there what sunny season summer we're doing process of elimination now, apparently, because I- that's- that's so vague. Come on, bro. What do students like? Sex, drugs, and party. <laughs> Good one. Uh, um, there's a V, R, C, there's two Vs. Uh... Go here and there. What is that like? I'm trying to think of like train subway? No. There's an E. What transportation? <laughs> no, not vacation, it wouldn't fit. Wait! Vacation does fit! It does, I think. Oh! <gasps> I thought vacation was too long of a word. Wait, no, wait, I pressed the wrong button. Whoops. Students love a good vacation. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, what would this one be? Go here and there. You know what? I don't need to know it. Good one. Vacation. 
right. I see. Nice. Look at all this free knowledge. Oh, travel. I was thinking transportation. Travel. Yeah, that would be the word. I'm so stupid sometimes. I gotta go check on my plant real quick. Hold up. And then I'll call Becky, I think. Nice. Still looking good. All right, we're good. Hmm. Who is this? This is the head nurse. Oh my god. Kawakami. Kawakami-san's actually collapsed and she's been admitted to our hospital. Do you know our hospital's address? She was pushing herself too hard. Jeez. I'm just a little overworked. No need to make a big deal about it. But thanks for coming all the way to visit me. Uh, how could I collapse at a time like this? I really need to make some money. How am I going to make today's payment? What's going on, Miss Kawakami? I called the school, but no one answered. What? Takase-san, you contacted the school? Well, you weren't answering your phone. And when I thought you finally answered, it was a nurse who told us you were here. It's really inconven an inconvenience for us when you miss a payment, you know. How can you be that much of a fucking dick face to yell at somebody for being in poor health and in the fucking hospital because they're overworking? Excuse me while I want to punch this guy in the dick so hard that he just loses it and it just magically falls off. I'll just cut it off, actually. Now, now, it's not like she wanted to collapse, but our credit card payment is coming up soon, so we'll need you to transfer the money. These are Takase-kun's guardians, the ones I mentioned the other day. They took care of him. Well, they sound like fucking jerks. Who's this? He's one of my students. He came to visit me. Messing around with another student, huh? Ah, oh, you never learned, do you? And after all you did to him. I'm sorry. So, when are you gonna transfer the money? I should be able to send it out tomorrow. Don't pay them. Oh, she liked that. Stay out of this. Don't act so tough, kid. Our precious adoptive son, Taiki, died because of this woman. Honestly, she should have been fired. Ugh. That's not... And yet, she still doesn't know her place, and she can still continues to teach. We're gonna need you to show some remorse for what you did to him, in a material and undeniable way. I understand. I will pay you. It's so... It's not like we're trying to extort you. But who was it that convinced Taiki to start studying when he needed to be working? The schoolwork on top of his part-time jobs overwhelmed him, which led him to that accident. Poor Taiki, it's almost like he was murdered. So you no longer feel regret? In that case, perhaps we should sue the, book of, the Board of Education. Or should we have a chat with your school? Either way, your days as a teacher would be over. Well, we look forward to receiving, receiving your payment. I have to figure out a way to make more money. No, we're just gonna go to Mementos and we're just gonna take his art. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Think through this more. I can't believe I'm getting scolded by my student. Why? Why are you so interested in helping me? I'm not worth it. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna stop worrying about it. The money? I'll pay it. I'll do everything Master tells me to do. Oh, God, this is not the time to do that. No. Meow. <laughs> Don't meow with that face, Kawakami. You're gonna kill me. I'm so tired. All I really want is a way to apologize to, to Kase-kun. If so, if his guardians demand money, then I just have to pay them. That's the wrong choice. Sorry, I'm not quite back to 100% yet, so my thoughts are all over the place. I'm gonna get some rest. I appreciate you coming to visit me today. It made me really happy. Rank seven! All right. Batting cages aren't that important. I've actually never gone to the batting cages in this game. 
I've, I've, I don't work on, I, I noticed that ranking up confidants rank, uh, helps give you stat points. So I've been focusing a lot on confidants and not about stats. And it seems to be working really well for me. Because my stats just naturally go up and I don't do anything. I'll be released first thing tomorrow morning, so don't worry. The IVs here work really well. Visiting hours are over. I'll see you later then. Hey, we didn't have to pay 5,000 yen on the bright side. Looks like you're busy. I'm listing up the evidence that's been taken into storage. It's a chore that any part-timer could do. I don't have time to waste on something like this. It felt like my irritation would show on my face at the office, so I brought it home. Sorry to hear. The Phantom Thief's case isn't so easy that I could pursue it in my spare time. The media keeps making a ruckus about it, so people have been wary whenever we make inquiries. Why I couldn't get anything out of a man who seemed to have intel. I even tried threatening him. All I did was question him a bit harshly. Oh, I almost forgot. I'll be going on a school trip starting next week. The senior faculty are being questioned, so I'll be going in their stead. Sounds good to me. The school will owe you for it. It won't get in the way of your entrance exams, will it? Not at all. Feel free to take a bath first. I need to study. Okay, I think I'll do that. <sighs> she feels terrible about this. I should do it, right? Oh, Makoto? Yes? I want to change my toothbrush. I, I bought a new one already! It's on the shelf! Thanks. No way already. That was fast. I'm not really in the mood to relax in the tub. Oh, it's so close to being done, too. Oh, is this? What is it? I bought a new bath salt. It's on the same shelf, so would you mind putting it in the tub? Not at all. Yes! She did it! Good job, Makoto. She panics so much. Oh god, poor girl. She's gonna have a heart attack. What are you talking about this early in the morning? I extracted the data from my sister's PC. Well done. I'm not entirely sure I did it correctly though. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I have to head to school right now though. Oh, whoa, my bad. Bring it right after then. I'm gonna punish you if you're, if you're late. Looks like it went well. I wonder what we'll find. She's so cute. Oh, before that, we should get over to school. Yay, school time. Seriously? I wish our principal would have would have a change of heart. He knew all about Kamashita, but kept his mouth shut. Ridiculous. Well, let's vote him up on the fan site. I can't imagine the Phantom Thieves wouldn't go after someone so rotten. I'm sure other teachers knew too. Anyone who did deserves a change of heart. Yeah, but wait, what if it messes up our school trip? Maybe we should wait until after. Low key. Oh, yes. Next week is a school trip you've all been looking forward to. Have you been getting ready? Your destination is none other than Hawaii. I hope your passport isn't about to expire. You're heading out on Wednesday, so there's no time to get a new one printed. Anywho, I'm sure you're I'm sure you'll enjoy your time sightseeing in Hawaii more if you have more knowledge. Now then, look closely at this picture. This is King Kamehameha. Kamehameha, the founder of Hawaii. Uh, let's see how Each hand doing. in this uh, famous statue means something, but do you know what the right hand represents? 
creation, victory, prosperity, good harvest. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's just say it represents... It can be any of these. I literally have no fucking idea. Let's say... Prosperity? This is it. Oh, oh cool, bad. I'm a good guesser. That right hand represents the prosperity of Hawaii. I'm basically a genius. You've never seen or said Kamehameha? I have, only in terms of, you know, Kamehameha, but I didn't know if they were the same thing. Greetings from the German voice of Tifa. Oh my God, Anna, thank you so much for stopping by and saying that, I really appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> now I feel like I should listen to the German voice acting because I haven't listened to it. Actually, I've only listened to English and half of the Japanese too. But oh my, hello. And I'm glad that you enjoyed uh, uh, the, the videos or streams. The, 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 that's, that's very humbling, thank you. <laughs> I was reaching out to you with the right answer. Don't you dare give me the right answer. <laughs> and the spear in the left hand represents peace. Oh, peace and prosperity, that's cute. As an aside, it seems that this statue is not of King Kamehameha himself. After King Kamehameha, that's so hard to say. King Kamehameha's death, another king commissioned the statue using a boy from his court as the model. Wow, really? I'm so smart. Nice going. Oh, you know, just more knowledge every day. I hope you will make the most out of your five days there. Let me just say that I have a fondness for macadamia nuts. Macadamia nuts? Oh, my, my uh, sister used to be obsessed with macadamia nuts. It took me a while to put two and two together for words. I definitely wouldn't want it some wooden figurine. I can't understand why people would send things like that as gifts. Here you go. I think I did it right. Uh oh, so we get to see what's on the flash drive now. I'm nervous. <laughs> Leave it to me. I feel like we're gonna get a lot of plot Whoa, right now. You grabbed all these? Are they for Hawaii? If we're gonna lay low, we might as well enjoy- Oh, look at this one! Wait, wait, wait! Gigantic sea turtle sightseeing on some beach. Wait, shit, chat! You know what I just realized? If we go to Hawaii... Yusuke won't be with us. We're gonna be away from Yusuke for, like, days. I don't think I can deal with that. That's... I just... I just realized that. Yusuke? He's not gonna be in Hawaii with us. <laughs> no. Come on. Food's more important than some turtle. Oh, and you're not looking at the bigger picture here. Yusuke's not gonna be with us. You really don't find steak this big and thick in Japan. Also, mahi mahi? Is that some kind of fish? I think it's good. My sister loves Mahi Mahi. It it's the season for schools all around. I must stay strong. Going I'm going to try to stay strong, well. chat. <laughs> yeah? Where are you guys going? I believe it's Los Angeles. He's going to LA? <laughs> oh, you poor soul. <laughs> that you at all, Yusuke. I bet you wanted to go somewhere like Nikko or Nara. Anywhere is acceptable. After all, the mineral pigments used for Japanese art were originally imported. Hawaii and Los Angeles, huh? I'd rather go to Which Hawaii. Go to? Uh, LA is buzzkill. Um, Hawaii. But Los Angeles is hard to give up too. I mean, don't I seem like an LA guy? Like a total gangsta? That makes no sense at all. <laughs> I'm so sad on my water. A resort place than LA, <laughs> so I'd rather go there. <laughs> So we won't be seeing each other for a while. I was so close to spitting it out, man. We'll make sure to buy a souvenir for you. Ooh, Ooh here comes some interesting. It just data. caught me off guard. This is 
just from a quick glance, but it's as perpetrated and connected. It means that mental shutdowns aren't coincidence, that this is a case with a culprit behind it. Actually, it's not just about people having shutdowns. It looks like she's inferring that the psychotic breakdown incidents are connected to the same case. Go Makoto Sis! How long do you think it'll take to analyze all of it? Hmm. There's a lot, so it's not happening overnight. But I'll manage by the time you guys get back. I demand souvenirs from Hawaii and LA for my reward. I don't really get all this, but you're as amazing as always, Utaba. I guess it's called an information war? Oh, it's so high tech and modern. Kinda it's so high tech, movie. chat. We're the Phantom Thieves, so it's not that big a deal. I mean, I can turn into a car and stuff too. <laughs> Come on, don't try and compete with her. Morgana's jealous. What did you say? You're fine the way you are, Morgana. Like, you're cheeky cute? Cute? Videon, I... Oh. Well, we'll continue this when we get back from the trip. I can't wait to see how much the Phantom Thieves popularity is increased by then. No! Yusuke's gonna be in LA, we're gonna be in Hawaii. At least we'll still be kind of close. Why does it look like Akechi's sitting at our bar right now? Don't forget to prepare yourselves for the trip, okay? You're really sounding like a teacher right now, man. What are you even saying that for? Didn't I tell you I'll be coming along? What? The teachers have asked me to chaperone the trip in their place. Wait, what? I didn't hear a damn thing about that. Is there a problem? Our trip's ruined. <laughs> Why would you say that? Yes, I was worried about how many troublemakers will be there. Are you talking about us? Uh, but why are they having you go at, go at all, Makoto? It seems some teachers have to stay behind to deal with that tabloid article. So they decided to get a couple of third years to act as additional chaperones. It seems a few others, others besides myself will be going as well. Oh, I see. Either way, this overseas trip has been truly long awaited. I expect leaving Japan will be a greater eye opener for us. Yusuke, I don't want you to leave me. This is a wonderful opportunity, so we should be sure to enjoy it. Don't forget souvenirs. I'm going to cry. Wait, Akechi is actually, that's actually him. He hangs out in our bar now? Oh my, oh, sorry, bar, coffee shop. He just chills here. Is this your new hangout spot, Akechi? Hi. I hope it's not. Welcome home. I hope you don't mind that I'm turning on your home again. Well, I don't know how I feel. I expect we both had a long day. I was out until now with work, but I think I finally could take a break. You're not planning anything too strenuous tonight, are you? Not much. And perhaps we could talk over some a uh, 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 boss's coffee. I don't want to go to the bathhouse with a catchy. No, wait, no, no. What do you want? No, this is not what I wanted. I didn't want to hang out with Akechi in the first place. And then the game's like, oh, you want to go to the bed house with him too? And I'm like, no! Ah! I'm gonna die. I'd rather die. Oh god, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh no. This is so weird. <laughs> This feels wonderful. It's been a while. Seeing you here is weird. I'm just gonna say it. Come now, even I go to bathhouses now and then. I used to ra I used to go rather frequently whenever I was younger. So. Yay! Of course, these days I'm the detective prince, but my family situation was well complicated. By the time I was old enough to realize it, my father was already gone. My mother was all I had. 
My mother worked at a nightclub. Whenever she had a, to bring a man home, she'd send me off to the local bathhouse. You've been through a lot. It's in the past. I have no reason to blame her either. The only one who deserves blame is my father. The worthless, degenerate excuse for a man who abandoned my mother. I wanted to force him to finally give her the apology he owes her, but that's no longer possible. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean for our conversation to get so depressing. Actually, are you alright? I know the hot water can make people dizzy. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I'm getting warmed up. Don't go overheating now. I wouldn't want you to collapse on my account. Hmm. I hate this. I hate nice. this so much! <laughs> oh, that's refreshing. These really taste the best when you're just out of the bath. Ooh, I think I feel a little lightheaded. Guess I win! Take that. You sure about that? Your entire body is red. I was sunburnt from the beach. Hmm. It's not the same thing. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever taken a bath like this. I've never told anyone else about my family situation either. I wonder why I told you. Curious indeed. Because... We get along? Uh, I cringe saying that. I can't do... Because we're similar. <laughs> now that you mention it, maybe we are pretty similar deep down. We're both victims of the adults who unfairly impacted our lives. You're right. Mm. Yes. I'm even more sure of that after having talked with you. Then again, the, this probability isn't a conversation we should be having naked. Let's get dressed. God, every single time I talk to this guy, I'm so conflicted, and I just. All right. Ugh. Hmm. He gives me so many feelings. I'm like, do I like this guy? Do I hate this guy? I hate him because he wants to take me down. I think that's the obvious thing. I feel bad for him because obviously whenever you hear about people's situations and history and now he has a tough family problem and I'm like, aw, you're human. But like, it seems fake. It seems so fake, right? Because. I can't tell if he's just like fishing it out of me, you know? Like, I feel like I'm half being used and none of this interaction seems genuine. It seems like he could be totally making up a story so that he can relate with me to get me to confess so that he can be a great detective. I don't know, like, I don't, my brain goes everywhere with this fucking guy and I hate it. Just because like, I, I don't, I feel like I can trust him. I have major trust issues with this guy. So I don't know how to feel and it's just so frustrating. I like have this this internal struggle. But my instinct is to just not trust this guy. That's the instinct and I'm going to I'm just going full dick on that. Don't trust him. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Next time let's keep the competition out of the bath. Best to save it for the bot uh Buys, right? I, I, people said that word. I don't remember what it means. Though we could always see who changes faster. First to leave wins. What? This is a changing contest? Goodbye then. Uh. Oh, he definitely knows that I'm a phantom thief. And the more I hang out with him, he knows. He ain't dumb. I'm assuming that this guy already knows that who I am. It's, it, he said it himself, it's obvious. <laughs> Between the delicious coffee and the bath, I finally managed to relax, so thank you. It's nice to spend another day, spend the day as a Goro Akechi for once, rather than the detective prince, you know? I don't know if it's because of the whole prince image, but everyone seems to think I'm some brilliant prodigy. It's nothing, it's really nothing like that, but people always seem to misunderstand. If they saw how I was acting today, perhaps they'd say I wasn't acting... <laughs> 
wasn't acting like the detective prince. They'd probably love it. Ah, I suppose uh, there's a certain appeal to that gap, isn't there? But I suppose you're the only one who sees that side of me. Nobody else particularly needs to, anyway. Honestly, though, I just can't figure out figure you out, no matter how I try. It's probably better that you don't figure me out. <laughs> just don't. Just stay away from me. <laughs> you and I have very common ground in some aspects, but in others, we're totally opposites. It's intriguing. Yeah, that's where my confliction comes from, because our sense of justice is very different. The more I get to know you, the more it makes me think. I wonder why that is. Ah, now I'm veering into strange territory. I should let you go for now. See ya. Akechi's one of those super competitive gamers that takes their habits into real life. <laughs> oh god. That's secretly me. I just feel like I need to make a stance, right? I need to know if I... I need to make a stance on whether I like a catchy or do I not like a catchy? I don't know! Do I? I hate that I'm not decisive. <laughs> Being undecisive about him makes me very irritated. Hey, do you go to the arcades a lot? There's a forum post that's been bothering me lately. Apparently there's a nasty gamer at an arcade nearby. Nasty how? From the sounds of it, he's a frequent cheater. Lately, he's been focused on, focusing on a popular shooting game called Gun About and ruining people's fun. According to the post, he mostly spends his time down at the arcade called Gigolo on Central Street. It might just be a game, but cheating is inexcusable. Nasty gamer. It's definitely possible he'll exist in mementos. A ch Wait, we're going after a guy who's cheating at a video game? This is weird. Okay. Mishima said he's at the arcade on Central Street, right? Let's go see what this is all about. Okay. Winners don't use cheats. What if I told you guys I was cheating in this game right now? Okay. Your, your opinion about Akechi is gray, yes. So I'm gonna be hey. gone for three days. Nice. Oh! Oh no! Yusuke and Hafumi are both in the same class. I forgot, so she's going to Los Angeles with him. I swear if any funny business happens between those two, you're gonna hear from me. All right, Hafumi. I hope you don't know who Yusuke Kitagawa is. I will go full Yandere on your ass. And then I'll be a target in Mementos. <laughs> oh god. Stay away from Yusuke, okay? Don't be hitting on him while I'm away. I swear to god. Please don't leave me. Executed. Please. Hello. Use gate. I see. Hello. I, I don't know what I want him to make. I'm I'm a little bit conflicted. I you know what? I've never uh 
created a card. Let's just have fun. Oh, you just meh. I'll take another one of those. Very well. I feel like that's Hello. helpful. I see. Okay. Well. Yusuke was his favorite character, and Hifumi was his waifu. I I do like Hifumi, but I don't want Yusuke and Hifumi to be a thing. Yusuke and Joker is a thing. Nice. I would like to go gay for Yusuke. Oh, I got kindness. That's cool. Okay, um, it's also Sunday, so don't I get to buy something off the TV station? Oh, wait. No, I don't. The only person I can hang out with right now is... Mishima? No, um, Futaba, which I probably should do. Wait a second. Let me take a look for a sec. Now that I know this exists, I totally didn't know that this existed. So Futaba is... You can look at their next thing. Uh, a chance to fully uh, map a floor of mementos when entering that floor. Oh, I actually don't like that. Meh. Provides a preview of all abilities for a confidant of your choice. Request a massage after going into the metaverse, letting you go out at night. need to rank up Mishima. That's a really nice ability that I should definitely have. Oh, I'll try to hang out with him tonight. Sai Nijima unknown. Wait, what's his last one? Hmm. This is what's weird, is the only two people that you can't see the future of their, uh, their ranks is Nijima and Akechi. This is already suspicious. Like, this is another thing that doesn't make me trust this guy. The game is telling me that me ranking it up is getting me nowhere, but probably something to change in the storyline. as fuck doesn't tell you anything like why you can't tell me that i rank him up four more times and i just get nothing for it like mm, bitch you know that's not right mm. okay anyway who did i say i'm hanging out with Budaba. i guess i should hang out with her but i really don't want to fuck i'm really not interested in ranking up with her uh, but she's kind of helpful. Maybe I should just do, do, do it. Just do it. I'm just gonna do it. Fuck it. Kasumi is maxed. So I have three characters that are maxed out. Kasumi, uh, the politician guy, Yoshida. And we just maxed out the doctor. Futaba, you're so cute. <laughs> Oh, wait, I was supposed to look in... Wait, I'll be right back. I forgot. I'm supposed to look at the arcade or something for the mementos thing, thing, thing. Hey, hey! You don't like Futaba? Oh, no, I love her. I'm just not really interested in her rank up thing uh, yet. Her, her next confidant thing doesn't interest me. Hmm. No, I want to talk to the guy. The cheater? 
Yoshikuni Nijima. Nejima is not the same thing. Not Nijima. Okay, we found him. Oh, that was easy. Okay, now we go back to Futaba. So where was she at? She's in... Yongin. Angry Gamer is his name. He be an angry boy. Hi, Futaba! Yo. Sorry about what happened in Akihabara. I really messed up. Oh, I'm kind enough! Yes! We're kind enough to do this! Let's go! Uh, 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 uh! You did well. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, I still managed to buy some stuff after that, but that was only because you were there. Anyways, um... can we go up to your room? I want to talk to you some more. Let's do it. Angry Gamer is Crystal after Yusuke's LA trip with Ifumi. No! <laughs> I'll go cry. Akihabara was lots of fun. I think I want to try going somewhere else sometime. It sounds really like Sojiro wants me to go back to school. But online classes are better for studying. I wouldn't even have to leave the house. That's a great idea. I don't know how to deal with her yet. Yeah, huh? Ain't it? I can attend class without even getting out of bed. Though, I don't know if Sojiro would really consider that going to school. School. Um... To be honest, I really do want to go back. Do you think I'll be able to? Want me to help? Really? Of course I do! You'd better not go back on your word. I... I'm gonna do my best. Right. I should make a promise list. My mom used to have me do that all the time. She'd write all my goals for the month, like cleaning the house or running errands for her. And then when I'd finish one, she'd mark it off with a big stamp. She'd always used to write comments too. Those were the best. Oh, and once I finished all my goals, she would take a day off work to spend time with me. All right. It's decided then. I'm gonna make a promise list. Time to get my ideas ready. She's so cute. Mm -hmm. All done. So, these are my promises. Go somewhere with lots of people. Getting used to big crowds is key. Two, go to school. I want to see what the inside of a normal high school looks like. Three, learn about my generation. I definitely need more info. Four, have a normal conversation with a stranger my age. Hmm. How's that? Sounds good. Settled. I'm not setting a deadline for this, by the way. I want to try and finish all of them someday. You're gonna have to help me though. I don't work, uh, I'll work ha even harder with my navigation in return. She's so cute. She makes me wanna hang out with her more. <laughs> but I don't really right. care about the map thing. I guess that's cool. Um... If I finish all the promises, do you think I could have a reward? I know it's kind of weird to ask, but having a reward waiting at the finish line will totally push me forward. All right. Anyway, I got this. Though, I'm kind of exhausted from making the list, so... Tomorrow, I got this. Tomorrow. Okay. Well, I'm gonna make, like, a hedgehog and roll out of here. I'm gonna make, like, a hedgehog and roll out of here. Okay. Oi! It is I! Thanks for spending time with me today! Taking out the promise list... Uh, uh, taking out the promise list brought back memories of when I worked on it with my mom. Hey, if I finish the promise list and start going to school, do you think I'd make Sojiro happy? I bet it will. Right? Right? Okay, that's another reason I gotta work on this. I wanted to think of something I could do for Sojiro, but that's all I got for now. But first, I gotta finish the promise list. Doing this alone would be like Omega hard. Like trying to solo a final boss. But now I got you in my party. <laughs> I'm counting on you. So yeah, I'm stoked! Let's start Phantom Quest for Chapter of the Thieves. Sure, we've got a party of our of only two, but don't worry about that. Bye for now. Nerd. 
Ah, you're back. It's cute though. I'm so bored. What are you talking about? Analyze that data. My PC's doing all the work. That leaves me with nothing. We are preparing for our school trips. None of us have the time to entertain you right now. Oh shoot, I need to go shopping. All we need is a toothbrush, right? What are you panicking for? There's a lot I need. Shampoos, lotions, conditioners. Oh, that reminds me. I should pack a canvas. This trip will be a prime painting opportunity. <laughs> Better not be a foamy. Will one be enough though? That's more than enough. No, I should bring three. Inspiration may strike at any moment in time. Now, regarding canvas size, bigger is better, yes? What are you asking us for? What I mean is, you shouldn't take shit like that with you. Ryuji, he's an artist, let him do what he wants. <laughs> oh god. Akechi's not here today. Oh, Lala-chan needs help on Sunday nights. We could talk to the fortune teller too. Um, but you know what? It's either the fortune teller or Mishima, but I feel like I actually need to spend time with um, Mishima if I can. I've been really neglecting him a lot. Never mind, I can't. He's not here. Well, I tried. Oh, he's probably packing for the trip, I imagine. I hope I don't need anything for that trip. Oh, you know what? I should save. Holy this. shit, I haven't saved in a while. I haven't saved since August 19th. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Only um, four hours of gameplay. <laughs> I get too into the game, okay? Eh, we'll do it anyway. Yes. Something that's the latest trend. I feel like I should give her another one of these star mirrors. Thank you. Good. At least I know it works with her. Goodbye. Have you made use of her fortune readings yet? No, not yet. That's wild. That's wild. Nice work, Phantom Thieves. Look at that Akechi kid, he's catching a ton of shit for what happened with Medjed. Justice can't exist so long as the Phantom Thieves do. Big talk from someone who can't even catch him. Even politicians are claiming the Phantom Thieves are dangerous. They're all full of hot air though. The Phantom Thieves are totally trustworthy. Mm. They're really throwing Akechi under the bus, man. I hate that it's gonna make me feel bad. Cause I don't, I don't wanna feel it. bad for him. But I do. Fuck. If I don't feel bad for him, I'm gonna feel like an asshole. Ugh. Stop making me confused about my life, Akechi. Everyone knows about the cover-up. It's not really a big deal anymore. You know what is a big deal? My gun about... My gun about rank going up? Oh. Video game, yes. Gun about the super reel? That's the one with the gun-shaped controller, right? Everyone's talking about it. The multiplayer's so good. The arcade on Central Street has it, so... So does the one in Akihabara. You should give it a try sometime. I played against someone really good the other day. I couldn't land a single shot on them. Nerd. <laughs> oh, the game just skips? Yep. No, okay, I thought it skipped three days, like we didn't get to go to Hawaii or something. Hey. Wait, it did. Wait, what? Oh, I'm confused. I thought we were leaving for the, the school trip today. Oh. I'm lost. 
Nice work, fandom thieves. Monka. Maruki doesn't want to hang out with me. Every time I try, like, Maruki is like a wall that I can't... Maruki! Ah, yes, I'm sorry. Come on, bro! So Futaba wants to hang out, but... Yeah, there was a line that it started on Monday, so I was like confused, but it's okay. The first one is go somewhere with lots of people. Oh, I've got the perfect place. <laughs> Akihabara War is revenge of the Futaba. Mm -hmm. You're going to Ab Akihabara? Be careful out there. Oh boy, a date with Futaba. Why am I nervous about it? Hey, hey. Hey, did you see that tablet earlier? Whoever drew that picture was a real pro. Not as good as Inari, though. He's got a particularly pervy view on art. What? Did she just say that Yusuke has a pervy view on art? It is not pervy! What? No! Re There's a super limited sale at the PC section. Three terabytes for only 500 yen? What a steal! Oh, get it. Futaba's gone. Where is she? Mayday, mayday! I'm trapped in the home appliance kingdom. The three terabyte war rages outside. There are just so many people. I don't know if I can last much longer. <sighs> he did what it paint on and you nude? That's not pervy! <laughs> That's not pervy at all. That's art. What's the first thing you learn in art school? Whenever you, whenever you learn how to draw, you learn how to draw nude figures. It's not pervy. We have a great sale going on. He's not a perv. I get it, cause I did that in art school. <laughs> I was about to come find you. I didn't think I was gonna uh, I was gonna see you until the end of time. But then I thought about you while I was wandering around the store and BAM! A wild crystal appeared! Good to see you again. So you're relieved? What an incredible coincidence! Me too! Hmm? Wait a tick! I just finished a promise! Go somewhere with a lots of people! Am I awesome or what? It's all because of the three terabyte war though. Oh, and because you brought me here. I, Futaba Sakura, hereby thank thee. All right. I don't know though. I panicked hard when I was soloing that dungeon. I think not being with you is kind of scary. All right then, I'm gonna add another goal to my list. Being okay without you around. It might be quite long quest line, but I'll finish it someday. She's so nerdy. Okay. I love it. Going home. Look. Not nervous. You took one course in art history. That one course is all it took for me to not care about nudity and art. It's just a thing that artists made, nothing pervy about it. That's what I'm saying, man. Oh my God, that's why I get so bugged by it. It's not pervy. That's how you learn how art works. And it's, this is artistic. <laughs> Use case normal. <laughs> Although what is weird is like, the only thing I'll say is it was very bad how he originally approached Dan. <laughs> Like, it's okay to want to, um, draw nude art because that's how you learn about the human body. That's important. 
but like he went he went about it the really 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 wrong way he was very bad <laughs> <laughs> he like stopped Anne for like a couple weeks and then he didn't know how to approach her. So his social skills are a bit questionable, but it's really charming. I find it really charming. His social awkwardness is charming, okay? <laughs> I beat the go somewhere with lots of people goal. First try too, not bad. I'm still not sure how I'm supposed to be being okay without you around. But at this place, I'll clear it, clear it up in no time, right? Uh... We'll both do our best. Oh, I got this. I don't care how hard the quests are. I'll take them all. She's so cute. <laughs> Normal people buy lobsters at a beach for no reason. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't have said Yusuke's normal because he's definitely not normal, but that's why I like him so much. <laughs> that's, it's like everything I find charming about a person. <laughs> I guess the point is, I gotta grind for now. Leveling up for a big encounter is basic stuff. I'm gonna do a little research, see if the, uh, see if there are any other ways I can power up. Ah, this is all kind of exciting, huh? Talk to you later. He did buy them for the appearance. They were artistic. Hey. I'm not giving you any money, okay? Okay, Soji. I'm sorry. If I gave you some wrong impression or something, I don't know. I'm thirsty for info. I'm thirsty for you to shut the fuck up! What if I want to hang out with Soji Bro today? Time right now. Next time, then. I don't know what I want. I have no idea what I want. I just wasted money to come here. I don't have Chihaya's thing yet, unfortunately. I don't really like hanging out with the twins. I'm just very indecisive right now. She wants the juicy info. Oh, I'll give her the juicy info. <laughs> How the heck would you know, right? Right? The higher ups are starting to get tired of one off articles. That doesn't sound like a me problem. Well then. Oh? So that ace detective is serious, huh? I see. Oh yeah, there's something I need to apologize to you about. You know it's part of my job to research particular things. Well, uh, I ended up finding out about your criminal record. I realized you weren't just some ordinary kid back w with my chief. So I did some digging out of curiosity and I found a ton more than I was expecting. She snooped. Sorry. I have to say, though, the ruling made uh, in your case was really odd. Some kind of deal must have gone down behind the scenes to make sure that was the end result. That must have been tough for you to handle. You're just a kid. <laughs> well, just forget about the past. We're in the same boat when it comes to being labeled. Because of your incident? Exactly. I've made a vow to avenge my partner for... Whoops. Lalachan, refill! Now it's your turn to tell the truth. You can't go rooting around in the kid's past and expect to get, keep your own secrets hidden. Wait, don't blame me for that. He doesn't have anything to do with my private business. You can trust me. I mean, it's not like I don't trust you. Hold on a sec. Why am I getting treated like the bad guy? 
Look, you're gonna feel way better talking to someone who understands exactly what you're going through. Besides, you'll exploit if you keep all the alcohol-fueled anxiety bottled up in you. It's true. That's true, and I guess this is the fairest course of action for our business partnership, huh? Just don't tell anyone, okay? Back when I covered politics for my publisher, I had a partner who helped with photography, Kayo Murakama. Kami. We were a pretty well-known team in the industry. We blew the lids off countless scandals together. That is, until that day came. We were on the trail of a certain bureaucrat who was involved in a slush fund to support refugees. He kept himself pretty well guarded, so it was almost impossible to get any solid leads on the guy. Then one night, I got a voicemail from Kayo saying he had gotten hold of something big. But that was the last I ever heard from her. The next day, the bureaucrat, that bureaucrat was found dead at a love hotel and Kayo had gone missing. Well, the cause of death... Oh, that's Lala-chan, sorry. The cause of death is unknown. The authorities couldn't tell whether it was a murder or a suicide. As for the killer... Shit. The police accused Kayo. They said she killed him in a crime of passion. That's impossible, though. She never would have slept with a disgusting man like that. And more importantly, it's pretty damn fucked up to make allegations like that without any evidence. I think it's the first time I've heard somebody swear in this room. Damn, we saying fucked up now. Let's go, Persona. Okay. I like it. Sorry, the case was closed, but we never found the truth, and Kayo, Kayo was labeled a professional disgrace. And since we were partners, the company decided it would be best to move me to another department. I'm gonna prove Kayo's existence, though. That's why... In existence? Oh my god, I can't talk. Kayo's innocence, though. That's why I'm conducting my own private investigation now. That sounds like defamation. How's your search going? Not great. The incident happened almost over a year ago, so almost everyone's forgotten about it by now. But thanks to all the info you've been giving me, I ha should have more focus. I should have more time to focus on my investigation. I won't let this opportunity slip through my fingers. All right, we're even now. I didn't enjoy it though. You sure about that? It's been ages since I've seen you smile this much. Well, maybe you're right. I haven't been felt this alive in a long time. <laughs> okay, then. I'll write a great article to commemorate our sharing session. Exclusive, the Phantom Thieves' lofty ideals in connection with a secret society. Ah, just kidding. Don't worry. I'll, I'll definitely come up with a better headline before we go to print. She scares me sometimes. Allows you to go uh, to begin with a low security level when infiltrating a palace. All right. I don't really care about that kind of a skill. Hmm. Still, there's just one thing that bothers me. There's no doubt the chief is on to my investigation. <laughs> Maybe we should keep acting like a couple so we could trick him. How's that sound? Oh, leave the kid alone. Hey, it's getting late. Shouldn't you be heading home by now? Lala-chan. Hey kid, can we talk? I'm sorry about real earlier, really. For me digging up your records and such without asking, I mean... I don't like any of these options. True, this was a two-way street, and don't worry, I wouldn't like this stuff uh, about you to anyone. It's my duty and pride as a journalist to protect my sources at all costs. I'm actually making great progress on my private investigation thanks to you. And I'll be needing your help later too, so I can help fi so I can find out what really happened to KO. So, yeah, here's to helping each other out. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of her. I don't really like hanging out with her that much cuz it doesn't seem like she got great skills. They're just meh. I wonder how much longer this heat will continue. It's exhausting. Yes, it is! Akechi, good to see you! You know the rankings that are popular nowadays? Are you interested in them, too? Not at all. You're not interested. Are you the type to go against the trend? <laughs> Did you know my name is listed, too? It's apparently due to my recent disapproval of the group. Yeah? Do you still feel the same way, Akechi? 
Before I knew it, I'd turned into a bona fide villain. Well, yes. But still, I thought that if I became a target, I could figure out their methods. The idea was appealing when I thought about it. Of course, there's no guarantee I'd be safe. You should check out the list sometime. Well, talking anymore will make us late. See you later. He doesn't seem to care that he's hated. It's all over the news. He has mastered the villain smile for sure. Thank you! Somebody else that agrees, he has such a fake smile. It's like, it's not a smile that you can trust. Ah! Drives me nuts, okay, anyway. Check out this Phantom Thieves chocolate wafer. I saw it in Shibuya and couldn't help myself. It comes with a sticker, right? There's so much uh, Phantom Thieves merchandise all of a sudden. Although if you ask me, oh, sorry, I skipped it. Uh, Phantom Thieves isn't a very cool name. I don't know, I like it, it's so mysterious. Do you think it's a bad idea to post my own name to the fan site to get a change of heart? I just want to meet the Phantom Thieves. People, people, people! Please. <gasps> okay, let's get started. Maruki, I miss you so much. God damn it, where have you been all my life? The school trip, uh, the school trips tomorrow, huh? I always get so excited uh, the night before my trips. You leave tomorrow, right? It'll take six or seven hours to get to Hawaii, so it'll be morning when you arrive. Oh yeah, watch out for that jet lag. Hawaii's time is 19 hours behind Japan Japan's time zone, which means you'll get there on the morning of the seventh. You're leaving at night, but arriving in the morning of the 7th. That might be a, quite a shock to your systems. Jet lag is one thing, but our perception of time itself can, be beco can become distorted sometimes. Have you ever looked at your watch and felt like the second hand stopped for a longer than a second? How about you? Do you know the name of the phenomenon where the second hand looks like it stopped moving? No. I literally have no idea. Um, let's just say it's a... Chronostasis. That sounds like a good word. This is it. Right. Hey, I'm a good guesser. You see. When a person changes their viewpoint, there's a moment of time that goes unaccounted for in their mind. In order to fill that blank, the brain experiences a fictional moment. That's where this phenomenon comes from. The human brain really is incredible, right? It can make you feel that like time has stopped. No I'm just so smart. What can I say? By the way, thank you guys for all the follows. I really appreciate it. Nice going. Yeah, no, and I say that all the time. How much a catchy looks like uh, Light. He really does look like him. The first time I ever saw him in the game, I was like, oh my god, is that Light? Uh, so we're rank four in knowledge. Hello. But the one I need the most is Guts. I need Guts. All right. I accidentally got knowledge up to four. That's cool. I'm just so smart. Well, see you. I want to hear all your stories when you get back, okay? Have fun. <sighs> oh, Morgana. Oh my God, this is going to be the best time. We're going to be four days without having Morgana bully me around like he's my fucking dad. I shouldn't be mean to Morgana. He's been through some shit. It should be fun! Ryuji, you know you're not leaving until tomorrow night, right? Wait, for real? Okay, I'm counting that one. That's that's definitely like a bona fide, like that's a that's a true for real right there, okay? I'm counting it. Alright, here we go. That definitely counts. Enough of the chit chat. You should be concentrating on class. I don't care about that after what I just heard. I'm totally out of motivation to work. Sounds like business as usual. Well, time to research sightseeing spots in Hawaii. You got over that pretty damn fast. 
Oh yeah, are there any famous places in Los Angeles? Hollywood! It has a vibrant art scene as well. I expect the trip will prove quite stimulating. That don't hold a candle to Hawaii's beaches, though. There are a multitude of fabulous beaches near Los Angeles as well, you know. Huh? It's close to the ocean? Do you know where LA is? Well, it's the capital of America, so in the middle of somewhere, right? What about Hawaii? Dunno, some, some ocean, I guess. You're hopeless. How long are you all gonna keep this up? <sighs> Ryuji is truly, truly, truly hopeless. Yo, KMR, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime three months sub. I really appreciate it, man. <sighs> thank you. Hi. <laughs> Yo, can we get some wide peepees in the chat? Thank you so much for the sub! I didn't know I lived in the middle of the US. Apparently you do, Nickel. You live in the middle of the US now. Wait, no one's messaging me to hang out! Oh no, it's the end of the world. Oh no! Oh no! I don't know how to deal with this. I should go to Big Bang Burger. I haven't been there in a while. And I do need to raise my gut stat. Actually, why do I still have a card with Takaimi? Wait, she's maxed out. Oh, speaking of, while I'm here, actually, I'm gonna check out. Hey. Please head to the exam room. So she now has new things to sell since I maxed her okay. out, right? Which one? Whoa. I developed a new medicine. It cost me a lot to make, but I'm confident that it'll be very effective. Whoa. Whoa. You want that one? Here you go. Buy more of the regular ones. Go. That's Take very care. expensive, but I have I have yen, it's fine. Okay, well, um I guess we're gonna go to Big Bang Burger. It seems like a cool option. Grizzle thought she had a lot of money until this moment. I still have a lot of money. Let's okay. Do it. Look, buddy, I got 452,000 yen. That's still a lot. All right, all right. <gasps> no! Wait, I don't want to order takeout. Oh God, I didn't even know that you could do that. I thought I, okay. Oh, I don't want to take the challenge. Yeah. Thank you for the follow. I keep drinking so much water today. Holy shit, I need to pee again. When did you last Thank go to you the Thieves' Den? Um, I think since I unlocked it. <laughs> oh, that's a burger I can definitely take. Now then. Do it, do it, Joker. Joker, 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 let's go! Now then. <sighs> yeah! Suck it! Oh. Ate it like it was nothing. Congratulations. I got first mate badge? What the fuck is that? Better be good. Dang, get some burgers too. Mm. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I knew you could do it. <laughs> Dang it, we're still not rank four. God damn it. Nice. 
More guts? Oh, knowledge? How does eating burgers give you knowledge? Oh, and other th- Whoa, what? And charm- What? Does this give you one of everything? Wanna head back? Dang! That's really good! It didn't make me any nicer. No, it didn't. We'll be parting ways tomorrow, Yusuke! No! I feel like we're breaking up or something! I pray both trips go safely. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Yusuke. And Futaba will be relying on you for the analysis. Leave it to me! Just let us know if anything comes up, okay? A okay! Well, then we're off. Look, look after Morgana for us. Have a nice trip. Bye, Morgana. Don't miss me too much. Morgana's been troubled lately, ever since that dream. Hold on, I really need to pee. I'll be right back, Chad, I'm sorry. This is like the best song to just like leave on forever. I love it. I'm back, friends. Breaking up to have a fling with Hifumi. Look, don't, don't do this to me, okay? I. If that happens and Yusuke betrays me for Hifumi, I'm gonna be devastated. You're leaving tomorrow for your trip, aren't you? Hurry up and go to sleep already. Dude, Morgana is like legit sad i don't want to go to sleep hey 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 if i were to no it's nothing are you okay morgana no you can make infiltration tools by yourself now no. it's nothing just go to sleep You want to talk? Nice. I have a feeling that something... I feel like this is very foreshadowing. I feel like something bad's gonna happen to Morgana while we're away. Morgana is Don't go cutting loose just cuz I'm not there to keep an eye on you. Look at Morgana. This cat is not okay. I'll look after Futaba and the cat while you're gone. You owe me one.
We'll talk more about our next job once you get back. I can't wait. Good. I know I'm not a huge fan of Morgana, but doesn't mean that Morgana's not my homie, you know? I'm so sleepy. It'll take over six hours to get there, so why not sleep on the plane? I'll do that. Oh, it's almost time to check in. <sighs> Looks like it's gonna take off on time. I feel like a lot of flights headed to America tend to run late or get canceled. Hmm. Is it just me or is Ryuji not here yet? Ah. I wasn't expecting to make a mad dash like this. Oh no. Coming late even on a day like this? That's all you're bringing. Well, it's only four nights, right? Ain't it enough? It'll be fun either way. Yeah, that. Well, I guess so. Hey guys, they want us to gather near the boarding gate soon. Why don't we take a group I forgot, shot Mish I forgot that off. Mishima was actually in my class too. Oh, sounds good. So he's gonna be here. You be our cameraman, okay? Let me join in too. You too, Makoto. <laughs> All right. But it's not a picture with Yusuke. Here goes. Uh huh. Uh, where am I supposed to look? Let me see. Let me see. Damn! Look at Joker's anime oh, fucking. His glasses. What? Holy shit, she's right. Oh no! How could you tell, Futaba? Ryuji, you've got crap in your eyes. You surprised? I snuck an app on Crystal's phone. What? I can see... I can see all I want through his camera. You're looking now, right? You can't underestimate the original Medjet. Oh my god! That is so creepy! I am so glad she's not an enemy of ours. Ah, Futaba, privacy, please. We're gonna be like taking a piss and Futaba will be like, so I heard you were taking a piss. Oh my God, his mask, why is it Morgana? Nice coffee coming right up. on our initial descent into Hawaii. We ask that you please return to your seats and ensure that your seatbelts are safe. Whoa! Ryuji! So, how long will you be staying? Yeah, I'm so excited! <laughs> I have no idea, though! <laughs> Tropical air. Oh, oh my god. You can find your buses that way. Damn, you speak Japanese? Whoa, I see it! The diamond thing! Oh man! The ocean is so blue! <laughs> cute yes we're here Hawaii I am so embarrassed oh, is this a smell <laughs> of Hawaii actually I've been wondering since the airport but uh, what is this smell supposedly the lingering scent of carpet cleaner it's coconut scented. What? Plus, I'd say the scent of plumeria for the lays are amplifying the tropical atmosphere here. <laughs> what are you, the king of random facts? <laughs> I'm the type that likes to look up stuff beforehand. Then uh, tell me a cheap but good place to eat. Do that after we figured out room assignments. We can't go out until we get our keys. I want a room with this guy. 
Uh, you belong to a different class, Sakamoto-kun. I can't? It complicates roll call. Everyone butts you out, after all. I bet there aren't many people who'd be okay rooming with you. Oh, wow! Shut up! We both stick out like a sore thumb, you know. Takamaki-san, have you decided on which room to stay in? No, not yet. Oh, it's those girls. In that case, how about rooming with me? And if it's uh -oh. okay with you, do you want to walk around together once we're free to go about? We've never gone overseas before. I don't so trust those girls. So we be reassuring if we add someone who knows English. Oh, sure, of course. Well, see you guys later. Are you gonna room with? I don't Come know. On, can we'll you see. Just hurry up and make your decision. Oh, then is it okay if I room with you? Uh, I guess we room with Mishima. I'd rather be alone. It's decided then. Mishima's our no, roomie. Don't do anything stupid, okay? This isn't Japan, you know. So this is Waikiki. Well, there sure are a ton of people here, and a lot of tall buildings like hotels. It's a little too clean here. Feels like an artificial resort. Still, look how clear the ocean is. The palm trees definitely give off a tropical vibe, too. I thought On was pretty impressive, but compared to the foreign ladies? Meh. Nah. Then stop looking! Wow! You think so too, don't you? Like, these ladies are massive unlike the girls in Japan. They're not my type. You like him slim, huh? <laughs> Moving on. Ryuji Take likes thick girls! <laughs> Confirm. Oh, I saw it from the bus too. But he likes some thick. Are diamonds a local product? <laughs> Wouldn't it say online? <laughs> ah, there we go. Wait, people long ago mistook volcanic rock for it. That F. Say fuck. Might as well look up recommended places in Waikiki too. Oh, right. I wanted to eat pancakes. I wonder if there are any online recommendations of scenic spots. We should check for cheap and popular restaurants then. Hey, we're on our phones and chatting. This is no different from when we're in Japan. <laughs> Even if we're overseas, we can see all the news in Japan if we got our phones. It's like, God, this ain't what I was expecting. We should do something that's more Hawaii like. Yeah. What's Hawaii like? Uh, hula dancing? <laughs> uh uh, I ain't down for that. <laughs> Do it! Do it, Ryuji! A true man does hula dancing. We can finally take a breather. Oh, by the way, you know how the polls for the fan site ranking started, right? Yeah. It's been really lively, huh? I'm the one who made the website, but even I'm surprised. I can't believe I'm part of such a huge thing. I'm so glad I've been rooting for the Phantom Thieves. On the contrary, did you hear about Akechi, that detective against the thieves? The good looking one. His <laughs> popularity plummeted after Medjet was dealt with. Supposedly, his official blog's up in flames. He posed as some hero of justice, but that's what he gets for not seeing eye to eye with them. Uh, to be blunt, I can't focus on this trip. I keep thinking about the Phantom Thieves. Don't you think about them too? Yeah. You sure are calm. Something this amazing rarely happens, you know? But then again, I think I'm feeling a bit <laughs> the tired good too. Wood kick. <sighs> Let's go to bed. Thanks, I, I hate it. Dude, our rating is up to 70%. Holy shit, we're popular. Man, it's nothing but Japanese people around here. I thought we were gonna be getting alohas coming from all directions and stuff. It costs money to enjoy that atmosphere, you know? There's not much we can do as students. I guess it's the same no matter where we go. Hey, 
What's with the low energy, Makoto? I just had to listen to the taxi driver complain for 30 minutes straight. Yeah. I'm used to dealing with students' troubles, but I never expected to have to do it overseas as well. That I think we sucked. have to wear school uniforms. We should be doing some more exciting stuff. I mean, we're in freaking Hawaii, for God's sake. Isn't the school supposed to plan stuff? I want to go diving. It seems there wasn't enough time to come up with any kind of coordinated travel plan. That lack now, of Ryuji, that's always his school uniform. To them using he has the pants as on, as at well. least. By the way, you're rooming with Mishima, right? How is it? Anything interesting? Uh, he won't shut up. All fan site all the time. Even in Hawaii? Yup. Fan site. You know, I do hear people talking about the Phantom Thieves every so often. Are they really mentioning us? I think Yo, so. Hunter, what's up? We've already made our international debut. Man, just talking about that makes me want to go back to Japan so bad. You really have no chill. <laughs> Come on, let's try and forget about those things for now. But people are waiting for us to fix society. We don't got time. <laughs> We're relaxing over here. Ain't that right, Yusuke? Wait, what the hell? Overseas travel provides a great opportunity for new insight. I'd prefer we stay <laughs> here a bit longer. What are you doing here? Wasn't I'm gonna have a heart attack! To Los Angeles? <laughs> Apparently, they couldn't land the plane due to a terrible storm brewing on the west coast. There were no signs of it letting up, so our destination was changed on the spot to Hawaii. Oh my god! Did you just bring rain wherever <laughs> you go? Could it be that what happened at the fireworks festival was his fault as well? <gasps> Don't go bringing any storms here, you got that? I'll do my best. And by the way, there's nothing planned after this. This is what the best day of my do? life! I thought I was gonna uh, spend four oh, days yeah. without Yusuke and I wasn't souvenirs. ready for my it. Mom asked me to grab some stuff <gasps> for I totally forgot about that. We need to pick things up for Futaba and Morgana too. I was hoping to do some shopping myself. <gasps> I'm so happy! <laughs> settled. Is he here? What Morgana would oh my god! Want. Man, our group's totally the same even out of Japan. <laughs> I'm gonna cry I actually am crying. Oh my god! <laughs> This is Big sad stuff. Was in Hawaii too. Oh, I got so happy. Yeah, it's been getting real popular in Japan <laughs> lately. I guess they wanted to branch out. Now that you mention it, I read a news article recently about the success of Okumura Foods. Ah, yes. The company that owns Big Bang Burger. Oh, what? Okumura? Ain't that the guy who's at the top of the fan site rankings? Is that true? I guarantee you. Yeah, Hifumi's also here. That's that what that would stuff. mean. Although I don't think she's gonna show up, maybe? I don't know. Cause she's like an optional character that you can unlock. I don't I don't know if they're gonna have her show up. We'll see. You're amazing. Right. Hmm? What's the matter? Why couldn't I room with uh, Yusuke? Probably nothing. Knowing Just that he's here now. Supposedly, all of their overseas competition has mysteriously pulled out. Never mind. I'm surely just overthinking things. Sis's habits seem to be rubbing off on me. I'm so happy. Hey, why don't we take a pic together? You know, yes. so we can remember the trip and all. Take a picture! Because Yusuke is here! Oh my god! Do it! Oh, I can take it, I can take it, I can take it! Are you sure you don't want to be in it? Thanks. I only ask that you ensure the composition is well balanced. <laughs> Ugh, can you not worry about that stuff for one second? Go for it. Smile. Look at how cool Yusuke looks. Mm, we still have some time to spare, right? This Where'd guy needs to stop. There's a convenience store down by the beach. How about there? Ugh. That sounds lovely. I would quite like a short rest. All right, let's head over there. He's not in my class. That's true. Huh. What? Do you think the food around here is kind of salty? Can we just pretend that Yusuke's in my class. Right. Oh shoot! I forgot my sunscreen. I'm going to go buy another bottle at the convenience store. I'll go with you. I guess we will need to wait for them to come back. 
I'm so bored. How can you be bored? By the way, you think we're the thieves everyone here has been going on about? It'd be pretty freaking crazy if that was true, huh? Uh, there's no way. Huh. I had not heard of such rumors. It sounds wonderful. But we are already here, so why don't we confirm if that is the case? Oh, good idea. Let's try asking around while we wait for Ron and Makoto. Yusuke is here! Okay, Yusuke. Well... I'm curious as to the extent to which people are discussing us. I've heard of the Phantom Thieves effect. I'm a big fan! It's so awesome how they kick the bad, asses, bad guys' asses. I wonder how they steal hearts. Oh. Dude. Dude. I was so upset that Yusuke wasn't going to be... I can't get over that he's here right now. I, I can't... What are, what are the odds? What are the odds? I'm even surprised that, like, I don't know, he's allowed to hang out with us, too. I guess that's not surprising. You don't have to stay with your class. Isn't he supposed to be wearing a school uniform, too, though? Whoa. We have to wear our uniforms, but Yusuke doesn't have to wear his. <laughs> you never heard of the Phantom Thieves? You kids are from Japan, right? All these Phantom Thieves special people like Samurai or Ki Kaisha? Oh my god. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> you cute, Ryuji. You cute. Where can I go? That girl! Huh? Hey, ain't she kind of cute? Maybe we should ask her some questions, too. Miss Miss Watering Can. Uh, free time is almost up. Shouldn't you be heading back soon? Are you a Shujin student? That's right. By the way, your blonde friends seem very excited on the airplane coming here. Hey, you're that girl we saw watering the plants. Yeah! Sorry to surprise you. I'm another third year who was asked to come chaperone this trip. I accepted the task to take my mind off of things, but I wasn't sure how to spend my free time. We're here! I think I should be going. See you. Her dress is cute. Sorry, were you waiting long? Hmm. That girl you were talking to just now, do you know her? No, that was my first interaction with her. She said she was a third year, same as you, Makoto. Mm-hmm. I've never really spoken to her, though. Ah, it looks like our free time is over. Let's just so head random. back to the hotel. Whoa! Kawakami? Oh, what am I doing? I feel like such an idiot for getting psyched for this. Then again, we are on a trip, so... Excuse me, Miss Kawakami? About the post-beach plans. Ah! Um, did I find you at a bad time? Not at all! What's the matter? Kawak... I don't... I don't know what Kawakami is doing! Found it. Oh! One after another, too. What did you find? Still working, can't tell you. <laughs> she can handle this without me. Oh, so much. All I'm good for is driving them around in mementos. I'm basically useless. Kitty, your mumbling's distracting me. If you got something to say, just spit it out. It's nothing. What were you saying? Let me go. You feel so nice. Oh, I do not. So smooth and silky. It's kind of hard to believe fur this soft belongs to a human. Don't make me say it again. I'm a human. Couldn't you just be assuming that? I had the wrong assumptions about my mom for the longest time. It's not the same. 
I understand myself better than anyone. That's true. <sighs> Morgana's having a midlife crisis. There are even more posts now. Oh, wow. Mishima. The president of a company called Okumura Foods is rising very quickly up the rankings. You're looking now? Come on. You can't let this chance pass you by. It's rumored that Okumura Foods exploits their employees. Stuff like underpaying staff to reduce labor costs. That's how they have so many stores. What's up? Hey, Ryuji. Yo. Yo. Why are you here? Just hear me out. The guy I'm rooming with went and brought his girlfriend back to the room. Oh, boy. It's totally awkward staying in there with him. I'm just gonna sleep here tonight. Even though there are only two beds? Yeah, just sleep with me. It's a Kamiki? The girl I was sharing a room with took off to her boyfriend's room. <laughs> I know that feeling. And she took the key. I stepped outside for just a second and the auto lock kicked in. Wow. I can't get back in my room. Huh? You're looking at stuff online even over here? Ever since the Medjet case, many people from overseas have been accessing the website. Isn't it crazy? The Phantom Thieves are finally making their worldwide debut. Oh, where would you get the patio? Overseas requests? Uh, I don't think we're the ones you since should Since gonna get that. the couch, yeah. They took down Medjet. I wonder who they'll bring justice to next. It's not just Japan anymore. The whole world's waiting to see the Phantom Thieves' next move. That reminds me, what time is it? <sighs> oh, so sleepy. I'm feeling pretty pooped. You think this could be that jet lag thing? It'll be too much hassle for me to go anywhere else. I'll just sleep in here tonight. Wait, what? I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. Are you serious? Don't worry, I trust you guys. I saw that one coming. There are only two beds. Even if someone sleeps on the sofa, one of us is gonna have to sleep on the floor. So who's that gonna be? Oh, hey, playing cards. Why don't we use these to decide? Ryuji, just be a man. Just, just, just take the floor. Yes! What? <laughs> I'm all the way in Hawaii, and I'm stuck sleeping on the floor. <laughs> hey, where'd Mishima go? He's in the bathroom. Ain't he been in there a while? He fell in the toilet. School trip. Shiho was really looking forward to this. On. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring the mood down. Oh. But it's already been almost six months since then, hasn't it? <laughs> this all feels so strange. Right? Hard to believe the rowdy kids at school are now famous all over the world. Don't you think we still have a lot to learn about each other, though? You know, things like what kind of people we like. So, time to come clean, Ryuji. Me? Uh, well, she's got to have a good personality. I'm okay with anyone who's modest and nice. What about if two girls with equally good personalities confess to you at the same time? Ooh. If they're equally nice, uh, then it'd have to be the one with the hotter bod. <laughs> Ryuji, simple man. So looks are what's most important to you. What? Your first answer was just superficial. The second answer was your true beliefs. Huh. So you really are that kind of guy. Simple man. That ain't fair. What about you? Come on, spill the beans. What kind of girl is your type? I, I'm gonna do this based off of how I feel about guys, though, because I'm I'm pretty straight. <laughs> I I'm a personality person. I don't care what the fuck you look like. I like a I like someone who's smart. Wait, are you talking about her? Well, we answered honestly. It's your turn next. Wow. So, what kind of guy do you? Mishima, are you okay? So, what kind of guy do you? Oh my stomach. <laughs> Are you okay? 
That doesn't sound good. You know, wasn't he drinking the tap water earlier? That's like the one thing you're not supposed to do when you're out of the country. No, I believe that is a wise decision. Though it was some third-rate tabloids article. Unnecessary information was leaked after all. Besides, Never drink the tap his water. investigation of the Phantom Thieves showed no progress since then. Yes, there's a possibility that he'll betray us out of spite since he was let go. Well, we'll make it so that it was a heart attack. As usual, he'll be Yeah, it's not about it being a not good water, it's about it's not what your oh, body is used to. I wouldn't have thought of that. Well played, sir. It no longer matters if we deal with one or two of those connected to us. I actually, I got sick whenever uh, I had my first trip to Canada. I actually got sick from drinking the tap water here too. <sighs> Our trip is almost over. By tomorrow night, we'll be in the airplane heading home. Just something I had to get used to. Damn it, this isn't how stuff was supposed to go. What do you mean? Ended up walking around same as we always do in Japan. I mean, we even ate out of freaking Big Bang Burger. It's like we never left. <laughs> Wine all you'd like, but that's what the trip was supposed to be. But weren't some other guys getting all cozy with their girlfriends or some shit? I think. And that's it. That's what this trip is missing. Come on, we totally got to get moving during our free time in the afternoon. What are we going to do? Ryuji. Make a once-in-a-lifetime summer memory. Hawaii's famous for its beaches, and, you know, what happens in Hawaii stays in Hawaii. We can get some girls' numbers during the day, then sneak away to him at night. <laughs> you in or what? Only if it's Yusuke. Me too? It'll be great. Neither of us have girlfriends who'd get mad about it either. I, I guess it's true, but... Come on, I know you're acting all cool, but you're totally coming with. No question about it. I just want to hang out with you, Who could that be? Uh, actually, you don't gotta answer that. It might be something about you know what. Come on, Mishima, let's go. Wait, what just happened? It's only going to be the two of us, Sakamoto? <laughs> don't give me that look. We're going to Waikiki. Try and get a little more excited. And... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what am I gonna do? Where's Yusuke? I got a message from Ryuji. What was that message earlier? Was it from Futaba? Wait, don't tell me. Was it a girl? Come on, you gotta make memories with us instead. We bombed it on that beach in Japan after all. This is my last moment of free time. Who should I spend it with? This implies that I should have other options. I only have an option with Ryuji! But where's Yusuke? This game! I don't hang out with girls! I want Yusuke! God damn it! Dude, there are a lot of babes here. I only hang out with Yusuke, okay? Um, that look in your eyes scares me. Yo, you're finally here. Let's go make this vacation one to remember. Will this really work? I want to hang out with Yusuke. Why doesn't this game give you an option to hang out with Yusuke? Ugh. I don't think that's what he meant. All right, we want to go after solo girls that look bored. Got it? Let's roll. He's Petey who fooled me. No, he's no. It's hard enough as is. Seeing those couples just makes my damn blood boil. 
Wait a sec. You smell something good? It's coming from that food stand. Go for it. Uh, <gasps> Yusuke! Ain't that Yusuke? Yo, Yusuke! Oh, it's you. I miss you. Hello. Hmm. That stuff good? Sh shrimp? It is resplendent. Even in Hawaii, it's the same old Yusuke. What's wrong with that, Ryuji? He's not perverted! He's not a weirdo either! Come on! Where's like a I love you, Yusuke option? Ugh. <laughs> That's an understatement. Yo, would you take a look at them? They're incredible. Oh my god. Come on, we'll rock, paper, scissors for him if this goes well. Crossing an ocean just for this. <laughs> Yusuke's so not interested. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, y'all from Japan? What a weird accent. Anyways, the four of us got some time on our hands, and, uh... You're including me in this? <laughs> well, if you ladies aren't doing anything, how about we go somewhere more fun? Please, show us around Hawaii. Sorry, we don't take too kindly to youngins. I'm all about the wealthy, refined, older men. I wouldn't have minded if you were those phantom thieves, though. For real? <laughs> oh, well, you know, we... Ryuji. Uh... Bye-bye. Ryuji was about to take the fucking bait! <laughs> they brushed us away without a second thought. <laughs> <laughs> How about you ask the Phantom Thieves for help, huh? They're all about stealing hearts, right? Oh, good. You can make those girls have a change of heart. Oh, I never thought of that. Ryuji! <laughs> God damn, dude. Ah, uh, no. This is absurd. Can you excuse like I don't want to know you guys? Man, shit went south real fast. <laughs> Let's go on a food binge. Shall we eat? <sighs> Let's just head back. <laughs> yeah, I'm beat. <laughs> Our wonton battle has ended in failure. What do you mean? <sighs> it was terrible getting dragged around by Sakamoto all day. <laughs> do you think I'll have to go through this on future school events as well? You'll survive. <laughs> Thanks. I guess I didn't exactly turn down the invite either. I don't know. It's fun hanging out with Sakamoto, but he might be too different for me. Is getting a girlfriend my only way out of this situation? Yup. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, we need to wake up early tomorrow. Let's get some sleep, okay? Oh, we're flying back already. I'm just I'm I'm really, really, really happy uh. that we got to spend time with Yusuke and that he ended up in Hawaii. That was the best plot twist in the world. Aww. It's not like anyone's coming anyway. Plus, if someone doesn't come, you can just tell them it's a cat cafe. You know, that line's not gonna work. Maruki at my coffee shop, hello! Uh, hey. What did I tell you? Get that cat out of here. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, please, there's no need, I'm sorry. Wait a sec. I was told that uh, Crystal is lodging at a cafe. He's looking for me? And I just happened to be passing by, so... Uh -huh. I see, you teach at his school. Maruki! Hello! Not really, huh? I'm just a counselor. Well, in any case, I apologize for the cat. Normally he stays upstairs. Oh, it's fine by me. I love animals. They don't seem to- they don't seem to share the sentiment, though. Hmm... 
No clue. He's just some alien level stranger to me. Say. You talk with your cat. That's so neat. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. My apologies. I just found it impressive is all. <sighs> Sorry about the cold shoulder over there. Just take the cat upstairs, okay? I'll call you back down when it's all clear. Come on, Futaba. We'll just be in the way down here. Let's go. I like Maruki. I need more Maruki <sighs> moments. That book. Oh, this? It's on a subject called cognitive science. Any interest in this? Any interest in this? <laughs> what? Your... I'm sorry, but you need to leave. Don't worry about the bill. Huh? I'm sorry if there was anything... Sojiro. I'm okay. He stays. What good is driving your few customers away gonna do you anyhow? <laughs> so, that book, is it what you teach, uh, sir? I mean, mister? Hmm. Uh, well... No, not at all. I'm not a teacher. What's it for, then? Just personal interest of mine. I've been studying it for years now. It's difficult to grasp at times, but it's quite useful. Fun to study, too. It's fun? Yeah. Well, of course. It's a wonderful division of science that can help many people. That makes it pretty fun, right? <laughs> Mom thought the same thing, too. Mom? Her mother studied it, too. What I don't get is why you're studying something like that, though. Well, you are a high school counselor, right? I guess it does make some sense being related to your field and all. Your mom thought that too, huh? She sounds like a wonderful woman. <laughs> Hell yeah! My mom owned! She loved me so much! <sighs> Past tense, huh? I see. Right. Well, I'm sure she'd be very proud. All right, let's Come on, go. Mona, let's go! Off to a mendless room! Hey, wait! Sorry about that. Would you care for another? <laughs> Thank you. Your coffee truly is amazing. Huh. Man, things sure are changing around here. My mind just went in a giant circle, but I think we're okay. The school trip is finally coming to a close. I think we're okay. Yusuke! He was here! Yeah, I just wanted to circle it. My brain just went. <laughs> the school trip is finally coming to a close. I, I never thought I would. Thought I would have the chance oh. to go on one this year as well. It's voiced awkward. Barely even felt like I was out of the country though. Even Yusuke showed up. Isn't it I'm great? I'm simply glad the storm didn't make its way over here. It may not have been the most exciting trip, but we still had a good time. Honestly, though, I'm thankful we didn't have to deal with the storm. They truly are dreadful. You know, I saw you guys hanging out all by yourselves last night. There a problem with that? <laughs> no. She's judging. You just looked kind of bummed. That's all. Shut up. And why are you so interested? Something good happened to you? Um, no. Aha! So you're in the same position as us. Hey, say something to this lonely girl, won't you? You're the lonely one, Ryuji. What? But we were together all of yesterday. He's right. You're way more desperate than either of us, Ryuji. Yo, thank you so much, pregnancy, for the five month reason. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. <laughs> That's enough, you guys. It felt like this trip went by in a flash. I'm not sure if I want to go home or stay here longer at this point. Hey, why don't we shop for souvenirs together before it's time to go? Ooh, count me in. Allow me to join you as well. Although I have no funds for souvenirs. <laughs> you scared. 
You're going to be able to get back to Japan, right? You're scared. <laughs> what do you think Morgana and Futaba would Kirk. like? <laughs> the traditional souvenir from Hawaii is usually chocolate. Oh, but Morgana can't eat chocolate. Well, he tells us that he's not a cat, so maybe it's fine? If we're gonna get him souvenirs, we gotta pick stuff they'll really wig out over. Why don't we split up and look around then? Look! They have coffee with butter in it! Do you think it tastes good? There's acai powder over here. Doesn't it feel like you could just spend forever at places like these? I know what you mean. <laughs> On lobster and baggage fees for huge games. We've come all the I way know. to Hawaii. I think it'd be best for our gifts to focus on impact rather than taste. Wow, well said. In that case, that's use case for you. Find something we wouldn't buy ourselves, but we'd be happy to get as a gift. I'm not seeing anything. I mean, this is Futaba and Morgana we're talking about. Their standards for happiness are way too high. Yusuke, you find something? An hourglass that measures three minute increments. Uh, w why? Well, Futaba loves instant yakisoba. It brilliantly meets the requirements of an item I wouldn't buy for myself, but would please me to receive. But can't she just buy one of those in Japan? Oh crap, we're almost out of time! Okay, Yusuke and I will find Futaba's souvenir, and we'll leave Morgana's to you. Hello? Senpai! Oh, she's so cute! <laughs> Aloha! a much more appropriate greeting. Aloha. Huh? Who's that? Find anything suitable? Hmm? That girl. Ah, sorry to be a bother. I'm Yoshizawa, a first year. It's nice meeting you all. Oh, you're that gymnast. Yes. That's right! Our club is here at a training camp to get ready for the next big meet, and I just happened to find him. The last meet was only a short while ago, though. You're already training for the next one? You seem to be making quite the effort. Well, I absolutely have to get the results I'm looking for at the next competition. The team's been training with a famous coach who lives here on the island. She's working us especially hard. We end up in tears almost every day. Your dedication to training even when overseas is admirable. We should all learn from your example. Yep. Good luck at the next meet. We're all rooting for you. She's so cute. Thank you. Your kind words may be what keeps me from crying today. Oh. Hey, uh, it's fine if you do cry, though. You know what they say. What doesn't thrill you makes you stronger. Ah, I almost forgot we're out of time here. Uh, well, I'm gonna go pay for my stuff. Ooh, I ought to do that, too. See you later, Yoshizawa-san. Yes, it was nice meeting you all. Ryuji. Your friends seem like a fun bunch. They're great. Sometimes. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. Well, I know I'm going to win for sure this time. I'll prove to everyone what I'm made of. Considering the rank I got last time, though, I also got this souvenir as a sort of insurance. Good luck, Charm. I bought it earlier today at this branch of a Japanese shrine here in Hawaii. I always used to buy some kind of charm before a big competition. My sister was even more stringent with her own superstitions. The thing is, I forgot to pick one up before the last meet. I'll be fine now, though. I just know it. I should probably get going. I almost forgot that I still need to pick up souvenirs for my family. Sorry for keeping you so long. I'll see you later, all right? Why is she so cute? Aw, we're going back. But my date with Yosuke!
Oh, a cutscene. With the principal. Is he gonna have an accident? Like, why do I feel like he's about to have a mental psychotic breakdown? <laughs> Yeah, he is. Why him, though? Yo, welcome back. You get tanned a bit? How was Hawaii? Aloha. <gasps> He's been Hawaiianized. <laughs> yeah, I can understand why. Well, you guys were off having fun. Things here have gotten a bit more complicated. So I've heard the surprisingly hot items at the moment are masks and calling cards. Here's a graph of the profits for stores handling these items. I don't know what to make of that cutscene. Thank you for the plus, eh? thief goods seem to be in especially high demand. I didn't know they sold that kind of stuff. Should we try too? I mean, selling Phantom Thief merchandise? Yo, that guy, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I really appreciate the support, man. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Like Phantom Thief Curry? Maybe I'll toss some dry ice on the side, you know? Give it that phantom -y effect. <laughs> uh, I'm just joking, all right? Why, Soji? I how our guests consider this recent phenomenon. Hello, Sek, how are you doing? Coon? Well... Oh, a catchy. There he is, the anti-thief detective. I hope he slips up and self-destructs. <laughs> I can sense some chivalry behind their actions. They are clever to take the silent resentments of the public into account and relieve them. I believe that may be the secret to their popularity. Well, this is surprising. Your stance seems to have softened. I think it's an this act. This doesn't change the fact that they are dangerous. However, no, I shouldn't say any more. Come on, you can say it. Say it. Oh no, I won't be falling for that. I've learned my lesson after the previous backfire. These thieves are more popular than the police or politicians. What's the world coming mm. to? Rude. What are you so angry about? Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Take care of any customers that show up. I finished the analysis, you know, of the data. Wanna meet now? A sketchy. Seriously? Jet lag? Fine then. Tomorrow. I have to stop my stream because it's been a long time. I shouldn't be streaming this long, so I'm really tired. But I want to keep playing! The plot's getting good! Ugh, <laughs> I have to stop though. Oh, Morgana's still depresso. You look sleepy. Attention all ye jet lagged. Someone from Shujin came to LeBlanc yesterday. What? Who? Uh, he had messy hair and glasses. I don't know, it just sounds like Crystal to me. Thanks. Oh, that's right. Maruki did stop by. Was his name Maruki? I think so. Dr. Maruki, the counselor. He said he was studying cognitive science. He's in that field, too? You don't think he's connected to the incident with Futaba's mother? 
Oh no, I didn't get that vibe from him. He seemed actually interested in cognitive science. It wasn't like he was just using it. You two got talking then? A little, he seemed nice. For a stranger to connect with Futaba is no easy feat. He must have quite a talent for this. I'm not sure talent is the word for it, but yeah, he's cool. What, you want to get him to counsel you too? I see no point in having my heart probed by an utter stranger. <laughs> Truth, man. Still, I'm curious as to how he managed to negate Futaba's usual resonance. Oh my god. I don't want people probing my heart. I don't know, we just talk normally. But he's a good listener, right? Maybe you should end up talking more than usual. So it's true, you d he does have some extraordinary effect. Surely he must have some greater insight, the better to SP the in innermost truths of the heart. Holy shit, this dude has ESP? To see or perceive. Makoto, is there any way you could arrange for me to meet him? What, me? You want to meet him that badly? Please, I feel there is something here I must confirm for myself. Well, I can make anything happen instantly, but I'll see what I can do. My sincerest thanks. My, I'm looking forward to finally meeting him. Maruki is strangely getting tied into everything now. I very much care about this plant, yes. Give me all of the kindness. I am a very kind person. Yes! A photo I took in Hawaii? Where's Yusuke? That's not the one in- that's not- what? There's no Yusuke in that one! And why do I have a flower on my head? <laughs> that's a cute picture. Ah, the hibiscus, truly a flower of singular beauty. The vivid color complements the water, too. Right? Too bad Ryuji had to ruin the shot. Dude, get real! A guy can't wear a flower in his hair. It's weird! I don't know, that guy next to you wears it, wears it like a champ. Oh, one more to share. <gasps> Look at Mishina's, Mishima's dumb face. Wait, that's Yusuke's purple shirt! Ryuji, why did you do that to Yusuke? That's not what his face looks like! No! <laughs> I didn't realize that was Yusuke! Uh, the heck is that? It's intense! Not my style, though. If you're gonna be that rude about it, I'm not lending it to you. <laughs> Wait, you actually bought that thing? Yes, for sketching purposes. You're kidding. Did you seriously have the cash for that? When I showed them how much money I had, they lowered the price. Truly a land of generosity. <laughs> I'm sorry. God, I love Yusuke. <laughs> wow, that's like a max level, ha level haggling maneuver. For real? Man, I wish I had gotten a price cut. It was nothing of the sort. I simply asked my passion, expressed my passion to them. Language barriers are surprisingly easy to break through as long as you, they, as you convey your feelings. Oh, I'm losing my shit. Oh, God. Hey. I don't want to, Morgana. Hey, hey. Morgana. <sighs> Let me live my life. Oh. You just got back from your trip and you're already studying? How diligent. I have souvenirs for you. The principal of Shujin Academy has passed away. Huh? He suddenly stopped while crossing the road and was struck by a large vehicle. Death by external trauma. They say suicide seems to be a strong possibility. Principal Kobayakawa committed suicide? But would someone about to kill themselves try to go to the police station? He even used a taxi to get there. Do you mean 
This might be another incident? Even if he had a sudden shift in his state of mind, it's still unnatural. I can only suspect that he had a change of heart. Are you saying he was targeted by the Phantom Thieves? But that's impossible! How are you so certain? W well, uh, in prior cases, the changes of heart seem to be done to make people confess their crimes. It's hard to explain, but this incident seems contradictory to their usual modus operandi. Did Principal Kobayakawa seem any different to you lately? I don't really know. He rarely contacted the students, after all. I see. Could something have happened during the school trip? Oh, <sighs> you're studying. I'm sorry to bother you. Makoto? Hmm? N never mind, it's nothing. Just don't get dragged into trouble, okay? I'd better tell the others. Yikes. <sighs> it's our first time back at school in a while. I'm so sleepy. You over your jet lag? I am. For real? That was cool. Don't mind me, just gonna add to the counter. Okay. Oh yeah, never mind that. Did you know about this? The fan of these are popular now. I was surprised when we got back to Japan. People are actually paying attention to who we're gonna target next. Ain't that amazing? It's very amazing. What can what can we possibly say, Ryuji? Whoa, did I open two? Yeah, I did. Let's see. I'm getting real psyched. This is where we work hard. Let's do something big again and surprise the world. Good morning. <gasps> Good morning. Oh, hi, Kasumi. Oh, morning. You're back today, huh? Yes, it's good to see you both. Uh, may I join you two on the way to school? I want to talk a bit more about the trip, and I want to hear all of your stories from Hawaii. You got it! Should we start with all the heroic stuff me and this dude did with the people in Hawaii? Yes! Uh, yeah, that sounds great! <laughs> this poor innocent girl. 81% on the fan side. Dang! This escalated real quick, chat! I gotta stop. I gotta stop playing. I gotta stop. Ugh. This has to be about you know what, right? With the principal. Ahem. We will now begin the emergency morning assembly. As many of you may already know, Principal Kobayakawa passed away yesterday. I wonder if that suicide rumor's for real. It happened in front of the police station, didn't it? I think I was passing through there at the time. The principal had been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. He only wished for everyone to be able to lead a normal school life. And because of that love... Love? Bullshit, he was covering something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the Phantom Thieves took him down? The Phantom Thieves? Do they kill people? I mean, Kamoshida did say he was gonna kill himself to make up for everything he did. That would be amazing. Either Yikes. way, they it serves that principle right. Hell no. We didn't do jack shit. Are people gonna blame us for this too? I would like to see live up to our late principal's wishes as proud Shujin students, and... <sighs> Yikes. This is, uh, gonna give Maruki a lot of work. He's gonna have a lot of students in the council. Yeah, wanting, wanting counseling, probably. 
I had noticed traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the data from my laptop? No matter how I think about it, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping you. But she would never do something so foolish. And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? We don't kill. What does this mean? <sighs> but I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. Will you believe me now? I have no reason to believe everything you've said. Ah, son of a However, bitch. It seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. I will acknowledge what I must. It's more efficient that way. Uh. All right. In any case, let's move on to the topic at hand. If you saw my investigation data, you would have had the same suspicions I did about Okumura. And if you looked into his palace, you should have seen the answer to those suspicions. Tell me, what did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? Why did it turn out as it did? I need you to tell me everything. Uh-oh, this sounds like our first failure. That's how it made it sound. What do you mean, turned out as it did? Hmm. Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. People are already talking about it online. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So far. People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. Could it be that we're responsible for Principal Kobayakawa's suicide? No, on. What do you mean? If we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart, maybe this never would have happened. No, he's been being but used. Then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down. There's a lot of opinions online. It's only natural that he died. Covering up crimes is wrong. The comments I've seen are similar as well. Only the Phantom Thieves are on our side. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take down the police and the politicians of this country. Wow. It's not just the news. There's even Phantom Thieves merchandise now. So I never weird. expected we'd end up such a big deal. It seems like the public would rather believe in us than in the adults. People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. This is kind of scary. Are we really doing the right thing? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess he got what was coming to him. No one deserves that. That's... <clears throat> well, guys, let's get back on topic. Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? I really should have stopped when we got back from Hawaii, you huh? tell the Minari. Why me? First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. Yusuke can just talk all day. Just keep talking, Yusuke. Tell us all about it. It seems she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation but she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. The corporation Okumura Foods, more prominently its CEO, Kunikazu Okumura. Okumura? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere. From Big Bang Burger. What? Big Bang Burger? For real? <laughs> you know, they only got famous sometime in the past few years. They even had a branch in Hawaii. It says here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. That would seem to be the case. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing them. I get that, but still... We have even more evidence than that. Tell them, Futaba. They already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAF. He has a palace for sure. That settles it then. He's totally our next target. That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings after all. 
Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's evil. If we jump into this too carelessly, beyond that, this Phantom Thieves fad is unsettling. Yeah. Yeah. The excitement levels don't feel normal. We might want to let things calm down a bit first. You too, Han? You're just gonna go against what people want? Huh? No, but... For real? Again? L looks like we're not gonna agree today, then. Sheesh. That's twice Sergio, in like 30 seconds. What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this. Even you, Ryuji. You just back down the second someone disagrees with you. What? I guess all you've been talking about is using the Phantom Thieves' name to pick up girls anyway. Ooh. Being hyped up because of the popularity is fine. But getting conceited over it is unacceptable. Hey, aren't you acting for your own benefit here too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde monkey. Oh! You little... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Fine. Kid, stop, stop! I can take on some small-time target like Okumura on my own. Sorry, but it looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. Well, well she was she more was useful more than useful. you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's hey, inexcusable! I'm going to show you who the useless one actually is. All right, then. Bring it on! Stop! Ryuji, stop! Looks like I don't belong here after all. Oh well, my god, Morgana! This is goodbye. What's gotten into you? Uh, Morgana, wait! See you. <sighs> I bet he's back in no time. Morgana sounds like he's going through his rebellious <laughs> yeah. teenage years. to be <sighs> Morgana's having a midlife crisis all right I've managed by myself before and I can do it again now we just need to take down Okumura before those guys do huh that kitty why did what I can't believe this oh no the public believes in the justice of the phantom thieves they have no interest in that principle I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. <laughs> Again, I won't allow mere criticism to break my spirit so easily. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated either. My suspicion after the hacker's case last month is now conviction thanks to the principal's death. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves' doing. I remember the data you showed me about Okumura Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. If only there was a clear connection between him and the Phantom Thieves. Well, it would be problematic if there wasn't one. So, you're jumping the gun here. You really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? I'm Ouch. surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. It's all for the sake of the case. You may have the backing of the SIU's director, but you've been far too aggressive, Sai-san. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. My superiors told me the same thing. We first need to know what methods the Phantom Thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. This opponent can't be caught by following the rules. What need is there to stick to formalities? So, you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society. Catchy don't like I hope that. You realize that's no different than what the Phantom Thieves are doing. I catch you don't like it's that. A shame. Uh uh. Especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. Damn, boy! I really messed up. We're gonna. Believe in me, we do not have time to waste on a solitary feline. Is this really impossible alone? Oh, how horrible! What? I, I can't see who's there, Hester. Ugh. Aww.
Stop. Hey, have you seen more? What's happening? Yo, Reaper, thank you so much for the eight month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Sorry, I'm having I'm having an existential crisis now. Ha! Huh. Should we look for him? I want to, but maybe we're worrying too much. I just kind of expected he'd I come have to home stop when he playing. got hungry. Oh, maybe he went to someone else's place. Let's ask. Morgana's still not back. Huh? Hasn't, he hasn't come home yet? The food's still in his bowl. Do you think he really just took off like that? He's a cat, so it's possible he got into an accident. Does he really seem to be the type who would go off and die on us like that, though? I'd just be- it'd just be one day. Y'all aren't worrying too much. He probably just saw him doing his own stuff. I mean, he used to live alone, remember? Just don't worry about it. I'm sure he'll come back if something happens. Aren't they all being way too cold about this? Yeah. Oh well. Have a good day. Uh... Thank you for hanging out, Zach. Appreciate it. I really need to eat too. I'm hungry, and this game just keeps going. There's no one like the Phantom Thieves. Uh. You think the Phantom Thieves murdered him? Think about Kamashita's victims. The principal's just as guilty for keeping quiet about it all. People who take advantage of others for their own personal gain need to disappear. In fact, we need a scumbag cleansing to purify the world. Ugh. Oh, that's disappointing. This is still going. I haven't had a break! I should have saved when I got back from Hawaii! Yesterday, my wife threw me threw out one of the books, my books without asking me, the Okamura Way, and it was even signed. With his logical management skills, he revived his company that was on the verge of bankruptcy. He then started Big Bang Burger, a bold and creative venture. Okamura's words are a philosophy on life itself. How could she sell, uh, sell that to a secondhand shop? But in times like these, getting one's mind to switch gears is key, wouldn't you agree? A secondhand shop is mostly meant for sale of goods and supporting charitable causes, Do but what does a pawn shop offer that a secondhand shop does not? Let me think about this. Aren't these both technically true? Uh This is it. Very good. Thrift stores are comparatively less focused on money management, but larger businesses could donate unused stock to them and use them as a tax write-off that way. Ah. It takes an incredible business acumen to figure out how to be both profitable and charitable at once. I think I've gotten all my questions right today. I am so smart. I feel like I got a, lot, a little smarter from being able to answer that question. That's right, give me more knowledge points, bitch. I'm gonna be so intelligent. Oh god. Oh my god, Poutine. Oh my god. Ah! Thank you so much for sending me Poutine. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, Morgana. This is the first time Morgana's not been in my desk. It's weird. Thank you so much for sending me food. I just remembered there are rumors that President Okamura may be getting into politics. It is true that the current administration is competent in a number of ways. I would love to have a charismatic man like him leading the country. Oh, 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 oh. Well, fancy, I guess. Hey, come straight over once our once school's over, okay? What's wrong? We're gonna wait together in case Morgana comes home. Anyway, come straight home. I wonder what's up with Morgana, though. He should just hurry and come back. 
I'm being forced into all these things and I don't have time to breathe. So this girl. So this fluffy haired girl is already. She knows about the nav. Mona's still not home. I'm sure he'll come back when he gets hungry. On to our next story. They kind of do sound like Daleks Late a little last bit. night, multiple glass windows were found shattered at the Okumura Foods corporate headquarters. Hey, this is that Okumura. Other damages have also been reported, including the destruction of a statue depicting Mr. Okumura. Hmm. Wonder if someone's got a grudge against that guy. However, there were no signs of a break-in. Identifying the culprit is expected to be difficult. You think Mona charged in there by by himself? Wait, we're sitting right next to each other. Oh, but Soji's there, so we can't talk. Okay. I'm worried. Yeah. Either way, let's go to the Okamura Palace tomorrow. I'll contact everyone. I want to save my game! <gasps> Finally! Oh my god. Finally, I can. Morgana went into Okamura's palace? Is that true, Futaba? He did say he'd go home. Does that mean he's in danger? The chances of that are highly likely. Yeah, we all, we all should go after him. The palace is most likely at their corporate headquarters. I'll look into it even a little bit more. All right, let's, let's do it. We got to look into those mental shutdown things too. I prefer a little more caution, but this is an emergency. Then we'll do it tomorrow. Don't forget everybody. Finally, we can save our game. I can't do anything without Morgana still. Okay, that's gonna be the end of the stream. I have been streaming this game for way too long. This is unhealthy. My obsession with this game is unhealthy. I can't, I... This is a abusive relationship that I have with this game. <sighs> All right, so next week of streams is going to be a different schedule since we beat Final Fantasy VII Remake. I do plan on doing two Persona 5 streams next week. Some, I'm not streaming Saturdays anymore either. I need my weekends back because I've been so tired lately. So stream is Monday through Friday, normal schedule next week. And I don't know which two days are gonna be Persona 5 yet. I'm leaning toward Monday and Friday or uh, Wednesday and Friday. I'm not sure yet, but I will update my schedule on Twitch since you can now see schedules for streamers on Twitch. So I'll update my schedule every Sunday so you guys know what game I'm streaming. And we're gonna have one Animal Crossing stream this week too. So an Animal Crossing stream, two Persona 5 streams and two 14 streams. That's gonna be our schedule, but I just don't know where I'm doing those yet with days. Um, but either way, there's been a lot of love today. All of the new subs and follows. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it a lot. Um, let me see who I'm gonna host, but yeah, really, I just want to thank you guys genuinely for all the love and support lately. It's really been amazing. I'm gonna go edit my Final Fantasy VII video because, well, I have a lot to edit. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know how much of the game is left, but I honestly don't know what- I don't want to know how much of the game is left. That's kind of a spoiler. I don't want to know where I am. I just want to enjoy the game and not know how close I am to the end of it. Um. Uh, oh, uh, my friend JCAT Gaming TV just started his stream, so we're gonna go shoot him a host since he just started. Um, they're playing Final Fantasy XIV with Sassy, so go love them, friends. They're my, they're dear friends of mine in my stream team. They're absolutely amazing broadcasters who play XIV if you're interested in that. Thank you guys again for hanging out and for all the love today. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna take tomorrow off stream and I will see you guys Monday for something. I don't know what that stream's gonna be yet, honestly. Um, thank you guys for hanging out. Bye! <laughs>